you know, when I do a big playthrough, let's face it, there's people out there who still do. This is how you don't play videos. Is this the outsider? Yes, this is the outsider. You know you love the city. Outsider content. Yeah! Woo! Right up my ass, baby. I love it. Whoa! Oh, no. Shout out to the outsiders, and I'm okay with them now. I don't care. I don't give a crap about you. This is how you don't play anymore. I don't. I, and originally, it used to be like, oh, this is how you don't play? Fuck those people. They're stealing my content. They're taking it out. You know, I would rage and do videos about it. And what would happen? It would just make it worse. It would just make it worse and worse and worse and worse, right? So there's no reason to waste time on it anymore. That's why you don't ever hear me address the shit anymore. If they want to do edited style content videos, you know, abridging my playthroughs and say I suck at a game, I don't give a fuck. I haven't cared for a long time. Let them do it. It's funny because today, I don't care if someone makes a this is how you don't play montage. I don't care if someone does that kind of stuff. That doesn't that doesn't affect me at all. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't affect me at all. Um, why do I care if you make fun of my gameplay at this point? Fuck you, you know, those days are long gone. My viewers are gonna watch my stuff no matter what, so say what you will about the quality of the gameplay, they don't care. So make your stupid montages about gameplay and shit. It's not gonna, it does, if anything, I've proven still being here after 11 years, those videos are not gonna end me. If anything, a lot of them give me more attention sometimes, so I don't care, let them do it, right? Thank you very much, The Outsider. This the thing is, if you're watching this say you don't play, and all it does is make fun of my gameplay, I'm totally okay with that at this point. I don't care anymore. You know, years and years ago, I used to be an idiot, and I would say, oh no, people making fun of me, and if this is how you don't play is a big deal. It's not really a big deal. Make fun of my gameplay, I don't give a shit. You know? Uh, Commodore92 to me $3 said, any form of edited content you're okay with people making about your stream? I, I, I said it a million times, I don't care what anyone does. Okay, we want to make a montage of Phil failing, a montage of Phil raging, whatever. One thing again to make fun of me for stupid shit that I do on my stream. You want to live restream and joke about it? Fine. Lampoon me all you want. You want to make this is how you don't play videos? Fine. Make fun of my gameplay all you want. I could care less if someone illegally restreams me, if someone makes a, a, neg a negative video about my gameplay. Who cares? Things change over time. Ten years ago, so I'm thinking, man, people are stealing my content, making negative montages about it. Now people will not watch the original content. And ten years later, why do I, would I give a shit about this is how you don't play? today i don't let people make them i don't give a shit let them all do it you know what i'm saying as i've told you guys i've never watched this is how you don't play in its entirety ever ever um this is how you don't play how did it start started because i didn't really care about the quality of my playthroughs i thought the whole thing was a joke so i would make really bad quality you know over the top stupid commentary playthroughs of games not taking them seriously <clears throat> acting like a fool and essentially what happened was overnight <clears throat> when i turned off the comments this is how you don't play die not to say that people don't still try to make them but when people try to do this stuff it's just not popular anymore no, there's no this is how you don't play that's that come out in the modern era that get any kind of traction compared to how they used to i mean we're talking videos they used to get tens or if not hundreds of thousands of views and now they can barely get to ten thousand views half the time no one really cares about that crap anymore all right no. I don't do that, and I should say that. I never do that. People tell me all the time, oh, Phil, someone claimed this, someone struck that down. It's never me. It's literally never me. I've never done it. I don't do that. I People can do whatever they want with my content. I'm not going to stop them because I don't have a lawyer to sue people. I'm not going to bother with that shit. So anyone who ever, ever gets affected by that, I swear to God, God's honest Bible truth, it ain't me. I don't know who's going around all the systems impersonating me and shit and getting away with it. It's never me. Holy shit. That is an epic fucking intro, dude. Welcome to the Outsiders channel. I hope you guys are ready for some outsider fun today. As I make fun of the buffoon named Darkside Phil. Right, I tell you, tell you how terrible he is as a content creator and a gamer and a person. I'm just going to sit here and do a big expose on him right now. Here's a quick example. I want you to watch what the player does here as he boats around. I taste the Vanier magic led him to new forms of experimentation. We're back. New levels of depravity. Look where we are, we're back. Okay, so in this example, the player is exploring the hub. They've been correctly taught the shock arrow mechanic. And thanks to the design work done by Kai Zeng, they've also been told that shock arrows mean interesting themes and that there's a lot of different variety and a lot of different gameplay, right? So we've made a convincing promise to the player. So watch it one more time, and I want you to watch just what the... Oh, it is time, everyone. Phil here with a game that I was incredibly highly anticipated. Likely my maybe most anticipated game of 2022. I'd probably say Elden Ring as well as Callisto Protocol were also ginormously hyped games for me this year. But 
God of War, the reboot from 2018, was my favorite game of that year. It took what I felt was already a great gaming franchise and just took it to the next level. Loki. So there's been a lot of guesses and a lot of assumptions about what Loki will be doing in this game. Will Atreus actually be called Loki at some point? You know, the only thing that I will say, this is based solely on me speculating. I feel that at some point Atreus will lose control because he has the, the blood of the god of war in him, right? Kratos, that raid, that blood rage. And he's going to lose his mind, and he's going to end up doing things that everyone's going to regret. Whether he'll actually go full Loki or not, I have no idea. But I'm kind of feeling, you saw that partially in, in God of War 2018, where he was getting with that bloodlust, and he just wanted to kill people around him. And he was saying, oh, we're gods, and we're better than everyone else. I think that'll actually continue in this. Fight the choice is yours. You can hack a radio and blah, 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 Appreciate that. Fair enough. Without further ado, let's boot it up. I got a couple shout outs to do, but let's get this show on the road. We got SMR Tad, who did a super chat saying, What's the over and under on Kratos smacking his son for being a whiny, rebellious teenager? I don't know. He was kind of whiny and rebellious in 2018. Enable screen reader, press square button. Oh, look at that. A nice stick. What's he going to do? I'm going to roast some uh, marshmallows? Yes, he's, look, he's going to do it. Now it looks like he's whittling. What's he going to do? Make uh, some arrows? Great commentary. What exactly would you like me to commentate on? This is going to be sweet in 60 frames. Remember, it only ran at 30 frames per second on PS4. This is going to look really nice at 60 frames on the PS5. I just hope my, P my fucking capture setup can handle it. <laughs> I'm, I've never been a graphics a graphics uh, aficionado, I guess. I just never will have. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Dashing through the snow on a two-wolf open sleigh. O'er the fields we go. Murdering all the way. Chopping off Norse gods' balls. Shoving them up their ass. <laughs> hey, Atreus, I know you're a team, but don't give your dad no sass. Oh, what the hell? I wasn't paying attention to who they were talking to. I was singing. So I don't know what we're talking So as a recap for those who don't remember... The lore of the first game is... Alright, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Alright, shut up. <laughs> I won't stop talking. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. Blah, 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 blah. So basically, she's an idiot. I mean, that's it. She's just a moron. There's nothing else to even say. She's just so overcome with rage that her son is dead, even though she's the one who set him up to become mad and created the situation. She should be mad at herself, not at fucking Kratos. <clears throat> Someday. Yeah, but admittedly, any 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 winter named after a he thimble doesn't strong. sound so bad. <laughs> a thimble winter, like a tiny little thing for fucking sewing. Wow, it's really de deadly. <clears throat> yeah, we already heard that dumbass. Wasn't funny the first time, you piece of shit. <laughs> What's going on with his mouth? What the hell? You earned experience points for his death. <laughs> Whoa, thanks. Who let the souls out? All right, that's, I'm sorry. That's completely inappropriate. I shouldn't be saying that. That was God of War 3. I will not allow you to pick a fight with gods. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard... Madara, there's always going to be an echo. How do you not know this yet? <laughs> How do you not know that? I use neck phones. The neck phones have to play the audio to my ears. You will pick that up on the mic. And if there's a, a scene with music playing or with the combat, you'll never hear it. 
But if you're just hearing straight up dialogue in a cutscene, you're always going to hear an echo. Like it's been like this for about a year, over a year now. There's nothing I can really do about that. I wish I could. The only thing I could do is lower the volume so much in my neck phones that I can barely hear. And then you won't hear an echo. But there's just, sadly, there's no control over it. You know, it's just, my content has to have that or else I'm going to get ear infections. You know, sucks. It's just, uh, it's life. I don't know. And there he is. Nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. What do they expect me to do to pass that? Anna? Yes. It's all about gender equality now. You pick it up too. <laughs> Everyone, good yeah. Boy. Oh, she said good boy. Wow. Wow. You're going to let her treat you like that, huh? I see how it is. He's, I always thought he was maybe gay, but he's actually a simp. <laughs> wow. Okay then. Something strong and dangerous. It disappeared. Be on guard. Oh yeah, being all the way on guard. Totally, Dad. <laughs> totally on guard, Dad. <laughs> oh. Oh what? <laughs> getting banged. Both <laughs> <in the> directions. <laughs> side if we find it and if anyone might know who i'm supposed to be it's him if he's out there we gotta find him how can we not those hmm. are many ifs address what do you know you'll see soon what's weird is they keep letting you move the column back and i'm wondering why would you ever want to put the column back is there any reason because it didn't seem to do anything for us right by the way we have hit 200 likes on the stream which means it is time for a celebratory bubble blow Thank you, guys. There we go. Thank you, guys. Double bubble blow. Very good. <laughs> All right. Continue here. Got a different one, a different thing here. So they want me to use the Leviathan axe? They do. Uh Oh, look at this! What do you think? A zip line. But he says he has evidence. <laughs> I hit the one behind him, you saw that? Oh. They keep attacking the dudes. And yeah, they got super armor. What the hell? They basically I'm hitting with the chains, but they're still hitting through anyway. Which is kind of frustrating. They have they all seem to have super armor. From behind, of course. Oh my god, I can't dodge any of it. You trap me on the edge and I have no health. No one there. New terrors only flourish, says Mimir. Alright guys, this is part three of my ongoing uh, God War Ragnarok playthrough. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am so far. I have no idea why the chat's so quiet. The chat is like deadly silent. We're in a hot new release. We have higher attendance than usual. The chat's dead silent. I, I can't make you guys talk, but I have no idea why you'd be so quiet right now. I really don't.
AK Trader says the chat's bored because this sucks. Well, guess what? You're now banned. Shattered room. Yeah, I don't know what the significance is of those bugs. Huh. Serious 7 did another super chat. Says, most are probably chilling watching you play. The game is like a movie. We've been waiting four years for I know that I'm chilling and watching. As long as you guys are here and you're enjoying it. Again, it makes me weird. It makes me weirded out when people are like so deadly silent. It's like a new release. The chat is full of viewers. <laughs> right? But no one's talking like, whoa, what's going on? All right, thank you, Serious 7. I got another tip here. This one is from a $2 tip. Uh, have you watched Sons of Anarchy? The voice of Thor is Ryan Hurst. He was also in Bates Motel Season 2. I haven't seen Sons of Anarchy in like a decade. I, I was watching it at one point. I think I owned the first three or four seasons on Blu-ray. It's been so long, I don't even know who that is. I just don't. I don't remember. So, <clears throat> All right. Thank you for this, the tip. With all the mining, ah. the land's bound to be a Now we have a shortcut bother. up here. There's a Think chest. From here? All right. So, obviously we know what to do. This is how we're going to get the water wheel moving. And this is how we're going to make progress. But guys, this is the adjourning of my first three videos. My first three hours in God of War Ragnarok. I love it. Obviously, it's really good. Uh, the graphics are outstanding. The combat is fun. The story is good right now. Um, I'm having a great time with it. You guys have been a great audience for this first premiere stream, so thank you for that. And again, quick reminder to those watching On Demand on YouTube, if you've been enjoying this first session of God of War Ragnarok and you can't wait for more, please, by all means, if you could like the videos and leave comments on them, that would help tremendously for engagement. This will probably be one of the more viewed playthroughs I've done in a long time, and it would really help the channel if you could do that, okay? Thank you all. It's been an outstanding first session. The good news is this is not the end. There's more coming later today. I'm doing another two hours. So for those who are enjoying this, there's a lot more coming um, without delay. Okay, guys? So far, really enjoying it. Thank you so much. Until next time. From Final Laugh 87, ladies and gentlemen, a $50 tip. Thank you so much, Final Laugh. I really appreciate that. Whoa, look, a giant whale. So, I received a $23 tip uh, from someone saying they're Hillary Clinton and saying disgusting sexual things that I'm not going to repeat to anyone. They're really nasty. Hillary Clinton would not do those kind of things. <clears throat> Taco Kisses, another super chat, trying to get me to, to wear a Nazi hat. I don't have a Nazi hat, but what I have is a ban for you because you're a jerk. So enjoy that. Notorious Nazi Phil. We must secure the existence of our people and a future for white children. Yeah, I know. We need, I need, to set right a very old wrong. Oh, okay. This is for the side quest. So we don't have the key yet. We gotta come back. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I know. Street Chat's like dead. No one's talking. I don't know why. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Wow. What the fuck? He did three giant swings. I dodged two. He does a third afterward. You know what I need to do? Use my shield. I've completely forgotten to use my shield. And that's my fault. I have the parry equipped. And I'm not using it at all. So that's really dumb of me. Let's try it again with the parry equipped this time. <laughs> The problem is the area is too small to dodge properly. See? The area is too small to dodge properly, and the enemies all have super armor. It's very annoying. Ah! 
I parried and it still hit me anyway. You saw that, right? I parried because it froze. It hit me through the parry. Uh. See, we can't do this yet. Yeah, we can't do this yet. It's probably the way out after we open the door. So. Are we in Asgard? No, we are not. This is the Dwarven Realm. We did not we did not go to this realm in the first game. Some new but we are here now. The Dwarven Realm. I forget what it's called. It starts with an S. I don't remember what I was doing. I have the brain of a fish. I forget every 10 seconds. If you like this. So I'd really appreciate it if you could do those. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's continue. Bubble blow time. I just got some in my eye, which is not good. I'm wearing glasses, and it still went past the glasses and went into my eye. Don't ask me how that's possible, but it did. Good thing I have a paper towel right here. Hold on. <laughs> went around the glasses and popped in my eye. Okay. It's safe. Sweet. So, guys, great progress today here in God of War. I had a ton of fun. You know, I hope that you guys are enjoying the playthrough as much as I am. Thanks again to anyone who watched, anyone who supported in any way, whether it was simply watching on stream, liking the stream, watching the videos on YouTube, liking the videos, leaving comments, supporting with Super Chat, Super Stickers, memberships, tips. Everything today was great. I don't have a single complaint. I love the game. The graphics are great. The combat's great. The exploration is super fun, right? We're solving all these puzzles and everything. <clears throat> DC has a haiku to end the day. About the smoothest of combat. He says, the rush of combat, fluidity in combos, gore executions. There you go. Yeah, everything's good. Like, seriously, no complaints at all, right? Having a great time. And I certainly hope that you guys are enjoying the playthrough as well. Remember, I'll be playing this fairly regularly for the next month, month and a half. So if you're enjoying this, the good news is that there's a lot more right around the corner. My next streaming day, I'm playing it. For a major stream, we're going to probably use that key, see what that opens. We're going to go to the final smokestack, destroy that, and then move on to the next story element. All right? So, thank you all. Great, great, great day today. Great premiere. Let me know what you think in the comments on the video. And until next time, two thumbs up. Thank you. Peace out. See you then. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to God of War Ragnarok, the other side. That would be a great time to remind the audience watching this on demand on YouTube, of which I know there's going to be a good amount. If you are enjoying the playthrough, if you could like the videos and leave comments, it would help tremendously. The first batch of videos did pretty good in that regard. I would really appreciate it if you could continue to keep that up for engagement purposes. It'd be great to build up this channel a little bit with a new playthrough, so thank you in advance to anyone who does that. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Day one views. Day one inflated views. Make the money. A lot more coming, huh? Everything sniping. Can you get that, Atreus? Please, do something. Let him just stand in there. Give him what for. I win. Oh, never mind. He's instantly dead. Oh, he hit me from behind. Oh, I forgot I have this. I just got this ability. Darn, I wasn't even using that. I totally forgot about it. Off the edge. No! Got caught in the corner instead. Oh, great. I really don't want to waste it. I'll just die and redo it. I don't want to waste the revive. So basically what's going to happen is enemies are just going to infinitely keep spawning behind you and you just have to deal with it. It's kind of frustrating, honestly. Hilarious, I got people coming on the stream saying, did I drop Sonic Frontiers when I have a public schedule posted up on both my channel page and my Twitter? And I talked about it on today's podcast earlier today, but they're still asking silly questions like that. Hoi. What it is, is I, could e I could answer your question directly, or I could provide you the means by which you could get your answers easily so you don't have to ask that silly question ever again because you'll have the answer. See what I'm saying? The Cicada says I am a toxic male today. As you can see, I am playing the toxic male. 
That's right. Up here. So I got a couple tips. Uh, both a dollar each. The first one says, I'm Jess, and I'm from the UK. My dad and I think you're funny. And then did another one. Two dollar tips have come through. Well, thank you for that. I just hope that if you're from the UK and, you know, you're younger, if you're getting your parents' permission, since it sounds like you and your dad are watching together, then uh, hopefully that's the case. Thank you very much for the two tips there. Uh -oh. Excuse me. That's absolutely disgusting. I'm sorry about that, everybody. Memes. I didn't even know that the go left was a meme. Everyone always said my, my, my left was act, act, act. And then I was like, no, it's not. It sounds nothing like that. And now, apparently now it's a goat laugh, which I'm still like, what does a goat laugh sound like? You'd better start picking heavy things up and putting them back down. Duh! Wow. So... Series 7, thank you for the tip, but I don't know if you're aware of this, all right? Your, what's happened is PayPal is saying you sent me an e-check. I don't know if you know what an e-check is. An e-check payment is not the same as a regular tip payment. E-checks take three to five business days to clear, meaning I won't even see this at the earliest for about a week. So probably Friday of next week, uh, this might or might not come through. And I don't really feel like I want to count it. When it you know what I'm saying? I don't know why it came through as an e-check, Series 7, because you've tipped before, and it didn't come through as an e-check. So I don't know why this particular one did, because your previous ones did not. And that's confusing me. Unless you accidentally did it like that by accident, I don't know. Um, because it's a sizable tip, but e-check, essentially, you could easily pull this back at any time in the next week. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying you're going to do that. I'm just saying that's kind of a bad precedent when most people don't do that. You know what I mean? What I will do, I am going to read out your, your message. So, Series 7 did an e-check tip, and he says, hold on. Where did it go? I'm just getting home from work. I'm glad to be catching your stream. No spoilers. You're getting in some good parts of the story right now, so be sure to watch your back. Thank you. And I, I appreciate that sentiment, and I appreciate the message, but it basically isn't... It doesn't count, because it's not real for a whole week, you know? Now, the thing is, with an e-check, I have absolutely no idea um, if they're going to tell me when this actually hits. Me, hits. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how it works with e-checks. I'm, I'm going to check right now, but I don't think it shows up. If you bring in all that money from kids to go to your school, and it's not enough to run the school, there's obviously a problem here, and it's not with me. It's with your money management skills. No. Nope. So I don't get it right now. It shows as pending, which means it doesn't count. Yeah. Yeah. He says he deposited too much into his PayPal this morning and he emailed something about it, but I know it will go through. So here's the thing. I, I gave you credit. I shouted it out. But, you know, I feel like that would not be fair to those who tipped normally to say that adds to our total for the day because it might not. Like, there is potential that in a week that could go away. And I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying that's kind of unfair. What I would say is... um. You know, we could count that for next week when it comes through. You know what I mean? So I shouted it out, and absolutely I will. If an e-check comes through, I will shout out your message and everything. But, you know, it, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it does clear for next week. It sucks to a week, you know? It's he said it's fine. All right, thank you. I hope you understand. This isn't me trying to be a jerk. I shouted you out. I give you credit. I appreciate your support. I just don't know why it came through as an e-check. It's so weird. Because that basically is like high risk. You know what I mean? So thank you for your support. I appreciate that. Hopefully it will come through on Friday of next week. And in that case, we'll count it for then. Okay? Okay. No, it's not being nitpicky. Why are you being stupid? There's a difference between being nitpicky and being safe because I've been messed with many, many times over the years. You know? 
And again, I'm not saying Series 7 is. This is not an accusation. It's just me being careful. So. All right. See, look, there's so many bugs. There's a butterfly. All right, I guess we're going this way. They said, Phil, you know, we contribute to you, but it always seems like it's a black hole because it always seems like no matter how much we contribute, you're always still having problems. You're always still in debt and, and nothing's getting better. I agree with you. <sighs> What's like Shooter? He says, I'm playing it too. Semi so says, man, I wish Gotham Knights was 60 frames. Me too. If Gotham Knights was 60 frames, I don't think anyone would complain about it. <clears throat> I think that the graphics are kind of the, the, the reason to hate on it. And that's sad, because otherwise I like the game. Dude, he like no damage! Look at how much how many times I fucking hit him! Fuck this fight! Fuck this fight! Are you out of your mind? I hit him a million times, she's not even at half health yet. Why do I want to play this anymore? This is shit! God, why is with these fucking game developers? How do they not fucking understand what's fun and what's not? It's not fucking rocket science. It's not rocket science. Oh my god. They are so dumb. How are they so dumb? How do you not know the difference between challenge and tedium? Between fair and fucked? How do they not know? Oh yeah, Ramrod says, people online are saying this boss fight is bugged. You end up fighting the co-op version in single player, which is why it's so hard. You only think you are winning. I died instantly. I had full health. I had full health. He insta-killed me with one hit. Wow. I can't even move because there's ice... They can walk through the ice, I can't. The little minions can easily walk through all of the ice and I can't do anything. I get hit by the ice. Oh my god, you fucking idiots who made this are morons. Wow. Watch your potty mouth, boy. We haven't seen a blacksmith in ages, it figures, right? I totally thought, oh, we're going to go see Durland. There'll be a blacksmith. There'll be all kinds of stuff there. That's what I get for being stupid. Assuming things. <laughs> Lordex Law. Stop being negative. I just came back from a break. What do you think would happen? Do you think people would be happy that I was on break and stick around? Of course not. Some people left because there was a break. They're going to come back slowly. What are you going to do? Relax. So look I'm not mad at you, Dale Wilson. I don't know why you would even say that. Besides trying to get attention for yourself. Okay. Rockfist to me five dollars. I represent New Age Blacks. Good for you, dude. It's way the fuck out there. Do you see it? Massive stun. Look at that. Oh my god. He has no help. I couldn't see. The problem is the game is auto locking on to enemies that I don't want it to lock on to. Like, I didn't intend to lock on to anyone in this fight, but it kept locking on to the little guys instead of the big guy. And it screwed me over in a lot of ways. Because I had him. I totally had him. But it kept locking on to the little enemy, so I kept losing track of where I was fighting. And then I ended up dying and having to use my revive, which sucks. That was kind of a waste of the revive. That's frustrating. I didn't Obviously, I didn't want that to happen. Thanks, everyone. Until the next time we play in a couple of days, this is Phil signing off for Ragnarok. I'll see you then. Peace out. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. This must be something for later. Can't do anything with that now. All right. Dear, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. 
Oh, Trace is trying to calm him down. No, nah, seriously, can you imagine if you were like a prisoner for that long, how fucked up your brain would be? Not surprised the guy's so fucked up in the head. Just leave me. Whoa, what are those? Reinforcements from Asgard. The oh, really? The want to investigate my disappearance thoroughly. So we're gonna have to fight more of those guys, the Bifrost right? boys. That's what we're gonna call them, the Bifrost boys are coming out. They're gonna go get you, boy. The time for such concerns has passed. We must leave now. Here we go. Oh, the Bifrost boys are here, boy. <laughs> Yo, we're here for the Bifrost. Whoop! Oh no! You got juggle, son. Damn, good old Bifrost boys. Coming through. Geyser. We've already been here, right? This is where we this is where we began. Yeah, this is where we began with the boat. We're back at the beginning now. Okay. <laughs> there was only one Bifrost boy. I'm very disappointed. They didn't come in a, in a big group. <clears throat> The Bifrost boys coming. We're going to get you, Tia. We're coming for you. <laughs> Good old boys. Come on down from the south. Go on. Fuck you up. Come on. Here we go. A treehouse. <laughs> Lord Tear. You're really alive. Am I? I want Am to... I? Okay. It's all a dream. Tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, uh, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. Where's Brock? Oh, Brock's in there. Why did... Wait a minute. Why did it just do that? Why did it force you out? That's weird. You have to... You have to choose to enter yourself? Why? That might be a trick of the game. Father, where it has to load something specifically and so they force you to do a second instancing you see what i mean because why didn't you just go in with them so i get the feeling that was a trick of loading or something like that <clears throat> so can we talk about what to do next there is much to consider we will speak in the morning oh okay in the morning confer privately with mimir Hold that thought, Atreus. I received a $25 tip from Haseo. He says, I'm loving God of War Ragnarok. This is my favorite game so far. I wonder where this will rank in you your Game of the Year doing? awards. I'm thinking. All right. He's, he's thinking. Well, stand over there and do it. No, I got it. Thank you, Haseo, for the biggest tip of the day. $25 tip. So far, so good. I mean, I'm only a little over eight hours into the game. I am loving it. I think it's outstanding. Um, I'm loving every moment I get to play it. You know, I am alternating it with other stuff, but I'm having a good time. And I hope that you're enjoying the playthrough as well, as well. And I thank you for your support. I'm glad to hear you're enjoying it. Thank you so very much. Here's your tip animation. It's a special one for God of War Ragnarok. And now it's time for Gunner Glasses. And then we can open the door. All in that order. Okay? <clears throat> very nice. Sorry. Sorry, Atreus. I'm a little busy. You're just going to have to wait. You have to be patient. You're a teenager. I know teenagers don't like to wait, but sorry. Look at this. This is probably the longest anyone ever left Atreus doing this, isn't it? Find another content creator who had Atreus doing this for longer. It's the make Atreus wait by opening a door challenge. I challenge you right now. <clears throat> Jade, I'm glad to hear you had fun at the convention. Yesterday, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Haseo. Open it? No, I'm not going to open it. I think we're just going to leave him here. In fact, it's time for a break. I'll see you guys later. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll open the door. Would you just let me do it? Yo, he couldn't do Wait, he couldn't do it anyway? Are you serious? He actually couldn't do it. What the hell, dude? He couldn't open the door after all that. Wow. So what was your plan anyway? So you've been wasting your time is what you're saying. You're completely wasting all of your time. I understand. <laughs> what was weird is that that was kind of a weird plot device in the first God of War that 
Sindri just handed him the mistletoe arrows as a reward after they killed the dragon. It's like, why did he do that? Out of nowhere, you're just going to hand the mistletoe arrows that only specifically work against Balder? Like, wasn't that weird? It was just an odd plot device that it happened like that. Is that a bug? So, Mersh from Nightwave Radio did a super chat saying, Isola Mersh from Nightwave Radio, I have a tip for you. Taking a long drag of a sig. Stay away from Metakur. Terrible guy. He faked cancer. I had to make a list of my my own fans who supported his stream. Don't make me put you on that list. Why? Are you? I think this guy's behind a bit. Um, I've outright said there's no way I would be on the guy's stream. Like literally, he did a response to me saying I didn't want him. We didn't want to be interviewed by him. That was full of the N word. Like like he said it like ten times. I was like, uh, <clears throat> no, I'm pretty sure this is not the kind of person I wish to associate with. Someone who thinks that casual use of the N-word is just fine. Um, is probably not a, a very good person. So I don't think so. Thumbs down, motherfucker. All right, nigga. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the funniest shit ever. I swear to God, he accidentally calls Hulk Hogan a nigger. When stationary nigger. Arnold fills a, fills a nigger, right? Like, that was just reason enough for me to say, no, I'm not doing it. You know what I mean? Like, there didn't even need to be another justification. Just him acting like a piece of garbage doing that was enough for me. So, no, I'm definitely not doing that. Don't worry about it. Thank you for the super chat, Mersh. <clears throat> I appreciate that. Now that's fucking based. Game. Then again, it's a little odd that we're about nine hours into the game. And the only time we've ever seen Freya is when she tried to murder them. And there's been no mention of her really outside of that, right? You would think with all the stuff that they've been doing that if she's really on their heels trying to kill them all the time, how did they not have another interaction with her at all at this point? A little weird. I guess we'll see what happens. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Guys, some people are talking that people aren't talking that much. I don't know what to tell you. We have almost 250 people. We, you know, we had way more before my, I took my break. I don't know what to tell you. The game's a hot new game. I'm playing it. I'm really okay. enjoying it. It's one of my favorite games I'm of the year. Dead. I can't make people show up, and I also can't make people talk. So it's not a big deal. I'm here to talk with you guys if you want. Please tag me in the chat, and we'll talk. But outside of that, sitting in the chat saying no one's talking is not going to help anyone, including yourselves. Okay? Um, Let's see here. Ronnie says, A bit off topic, the annoying part of Plague Tale was their never-ending babysitting with her brother. Yeah, I mean, that was the first game, too. You know, they were both pretty much the same plot. I ever admit this injury. X Shooter, what's going on? How are you? Good afternoon, Matthew. How are you? Amazing GT says I'm enjoying the gameplay. I'm glad you are. So, I mean, but you're not sitting here complaining. There's literally some people sitting here complaining. No one's talking. It's like... You're sitting here complaining no one's talking when you could be talking to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, Shadow, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream as well. Awesome. A little detour tour there to see what it was. Excuse me. Thanks, everyone. Chilling. If you are watching this on demand on YouTube... I certainly hope that you will consider, um, perhaps, do we have to go back to Sindri's house? We can't just go directly here to Alfheim? No. That's weird. I guess we have to go to Sindri's house first. Then we can go to Alfheim. So anyway, if you're watching uh, this on demand on YouTube on DSP Gaming, I hope you'll consider giving the video a like if you're enjoying weird. the playthrough so far and can also leave in comments and let me know what you think dies. that would help for engagement every thank you thing has a soul and every one member of the audience well yes okay so let's see what game this is ready a kvassar work of brilliance that is misunderstood for the interest of the reader ready stick rope tar black skin hand print print baby crying shower stink shower uh, death Beach, grubs, delicious, bomb, piss, game, suck, death, <laughs> stranding. <laughs> yes, it's pretty easy to figure that one out. Goodbye. Floor off the ledge. There's more. There's more coming. The hell is this? Special one? Oh yeah, you're special, all right. I'm gonna show you how special you are. <laughs> you 
die extra fast. Nice and special. Hi, ah, you just want to say thank you for saving me. Let me show you how special I, I think you are. <laughs> Come back to my room, my quarters, my, my private chambers. Sponsors, the Prezina Greens. <laughs> Real men are drinking here tonight. Wow. <laughs> you called him a fairy. By <laughs> How do I stop being fairy? How do I cancel it? I don't know how to stop it. How the fuck do I stop it? I can't stop being a fairy. I can't stop being a fairy. Let me show you something inspiring. Oh, oh. Huh? let me show you something inspiring. Take a look at this. <laughs> Spoiling. Whoa. I just double L1 tap it and broke the shield here. Right side! Incoming! Aw, oh, stupid bullshit. How do you get rid of this? I forgot. It won't go away! <laughs> the shit fucking thing's following me! Oh god. I can't hit the fucking thing! Try to die, I got hit. God damn! They're all comboing me now. Not good, I have zero health. I don't remember how to get out of the way of the projectiles. What the fuck? Something hit me from off screen. I couldn't even see it. Oh, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Yeah, one of these guys come out now. What the hell? I can't even do my stuff. Oh my god. I can't grab it. Oh my god, this is so annoying. It keeps spawning enemies in the same room. At angles, I can't hit them. What the fuck? It can pass through his body. What is that? I'm not even pressing a button. I swear to God, I didn't press a button. <laughs> what the hell was that? This one, for some reason, I can't grab it at all. Well, I'm gonna die now. I'm no help. Oh my god, I barely won. This one, for some reason, had super armor. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything to it, because it had super armor, so I couldn't interrupt any of its attacks. I just kept attacking through what I was doing. That was frustrating. We fought those enemies, I think. Okay. By the way, it appears I received an $11 tip at the last possible minute. I did. Silly hat time. There's no time. Thank you very much, whoever that was. It didn't have a name. It just said silly hat time. I appreciate that. The problem is, now we don't have time for a hat. And that's what I said. Like, you know, if we had had tips earlier, we would have had time for a poll and a hat and everything. The, the stream is literally ending right now. <laughs> so I can't give you what you want. The, po the stream is over. Okay. So that is it, guys. I don't know. I don't think. Can you manually save? I think you can. Let's save up. I guess we're going to save over this one. All right, guys. Great stream of God of War today. Good progress for sure. <clears throat> right? Um, sadly, I wish that there had been. Um, I kind of feel like there's just not a lot of side content right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it feels like it's been very linear up to this point. People are saying, do the Sonic hat. Fine. I'll put on the Sonic hat for like 10 seconds as I talk. I play the game. And again, final reminder for those watching on YouTube. With a big playthrough like this and a big game like this, all right? It absolutely will help this channel if you like the videos you're watching and you leave comments 
even again, if it's as simple as say, hey, good playthrough, or just doing this for the algorithm or whatever, it helps. So thank you in advance to anyone who's been watching and stayed engaged with the content now that we're like, you know, what is this, like 11 videos in or something like that. Um, and thanks to you guys watching here on stream as well for your ongoing support of the playthrough. All right, until next time, in a couple days, thanks a lot. See you for the next session of God of War. Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. Right, to see what's up there. To be honest, I don't even remember what we're here for. Aren't we here to look for a mural, like Grom's mural? And wasn't Grom's mural the one that foretold Ragnarok and all of that? And I guess what we're looking for is the secret area behind it, because we found out earlier in the game that all the murals we found in the first game actually have secret areas behind them that only Atreus can access because he's a giant, right? So I think that's what we're doing? I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin. Oh, himself. wait a minute. In the first game, doesn't, doesn't Kratos walk into the light and then he hears Freya's, uh, Frey's voice or whatever? And then he leaves, he leaves the light and then Atreus is like, oh, you were in there for like hours. Look at all the elves I killed while you were in there. Where were you? You left me alone for so long. <clears throat> I forgot, but again, it was in a different part of the game. It wasn't this part of the temple, so I totally forgot all about that. She What's up, Jace? Oh, uh, Jasper's good today. I, I was just so. uh, chilling Your with him in the hallway the light. before we play. He said you went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yeah, see? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. <laughs> you must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. That yeah, was his wife. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. There we go. They're referencing One the scene directly. Imagine. Well then, Groa's Tritic awaits. See, it's weird because this is supposed to be the same light, right? This is supposed to be the same life in the first game? No? Maybe not. Maybe this is the Well of Souls they were talking about, so it's different? I don't know. Because this is not the same area from the first game by any means. Very different. So, did you ever meet Groa? Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. I think they're trying to teach you about life in general. Life is not black and white. In any war, there's always two sides, and each side believes that they're correct, right? So, <clears throat> anyway, the weird, the, the weird thing about this is I distinctly remember this column of light. I distinctly remember the scene with Kratos running into it. <clears throat> if you remember... They had to significantly fight their way up a giant area to get to here, right? And then there was like a big gauntlet of enemies to get to it. Kratos eventually goes into it because I think they needed an item or something. If I'm remembering, were they charging an item or something they needed? That's what they were here for to begin with. Um, so he goes into it. And like I said, when he comes out, Atreus had killed like dozens and dozens of dark elves all around this light. Their bodies were all stacked up. The thing was, it looked absolutely nothing like this. The room looked nothing like this at all. So either you're telling me they completely rebuilt the room from scratch to be different, or they retconned what it looked like in the first game. Which I don't understand why they would have done that. It was only four years ago. It's a little weird that they did that, right? Hmm. Nightmare! Left flank! Nightmare? Way down there. You missed. Where'd it go? What the hell? Oh, this was the super armor one. I tried to parry, I got fucked up. I don't have to use the axe against this one because I need the shield. I tried to. I can't parry for some reason. I'm trying. I want to do it again. I'm trying to parry and it's not working. And I don't know if I'm just probably horribly mistiming it. <clears throat> Let's try again. I mean, this is the problem when you don't play this often. You lose all your timing for everything. And I am. I'm, I'm totally losing all my timing for everything in the game. Uh, 
I didn't want that. I did the wrong attack. God damn it. Okay. We well, keep dropping. I'm just curious if there's any items. Because you can... Oh, no. Look at tier. Oh, come on. Get unstuck. Get unstuck. Whoa, he disappeared. Tier disappeared from the game. Oh, come on. Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> Why does this seriously always happen to me? Man. You, you didn't vaporize from existence. That's good to know. <laughs> only me, man. It only happens to me. No one else has to put up with this. Completely destroyed and vaporized. No one's talking. The entire chat is completely dead silent. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand it. I really don't. What happened there? I tried to I tried to parry that, but I didn't time it every time. Yeah, no one's talking in chat. I don't know why. The stream's still going. No one's talking. I don't know why. Willow also loves the game. Cool. I'm really enjoying it. I'll be honest, guys. Can I be honest with my audience? Especially those who are watching on demand as well. Um, I appreciate everyone who's checking out this playthrough. I know a lot of people are playing the games for themselves, so they're staying away this launch week. I mean, the game's only been out for six days so far. But immediately for a new game, if you guys haven't noticed, the attendance on streams has not been great. And I don't know if that's because, again, everyone's playing it for themselves. Maybe if someone already saw it. Because remember, people already were playing this early. So it's possible you already saw someone play the whole game and you don't really care. Um, I'm loving it. I think the game is outstanding. I don't want people to think that because the views on the streams, or maybe I don't know how the views on the on-demand videos are doing, honestly. I haven't been really looking. But I don't want people to think that that's representative of the quality of the game. The game is absolutely outstanding. It's weird to me that my streams of other games are doing much better than this. I'm getting, I'm actually getting more viewers for Gotham Knights. I'm getting more viewers for Modern Warfare 2 random multiplayer streams. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of odd because the game is so good. Views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. Could be. Madison says maybe because there's such an oversaturation of streams of this game, that definitely could be what it is. It could be that everyone's playing this game. And a lot of people have already watched people play it. Because, again, I'm only, what, 12 hours in, and it's been a week. Most people who played this game probably played it, like, four days in a row and beat it, right? That's not me. You guys know me. I take my time. Uh, I take my time to enjoy. And I'm going to be doing a lot of content. Like, right now, this is pure side content. I'm going to be doing this because I like the game, okay? Um, so, it is what it is. If you don't like it, that's fine. I'm doing tons of other stuff for variety, uh, it's just, it is odd that this is like the hottest game out right now. And I think everyone kind of agrees it's pretty much a game of the year contender, if not a shoe in But it's pretty crazy that if you, <laughs> honestly, like Sonic Frontiers, I'm getting more viewers than God of War Ragnarok. Anyway, if you are one of the people who are here, if you are one of the people who are here enjoying, thanks. Thanks for being here. Remember, many ways that you can help liking the stream right now we have almost 300 people on the stream we have about 76 likes we get 100 likes that would help if you're continuing to watch this uh on demand uh as an ongoing playthrough thanks for sticking up and watching because there's gonna be many more parts coming remember liking the videos on demand leaving comments to let me know what you think about the game you could even simply just say hey this is just for the algorithm to help you phil that helps the channel okay so if you could continuously do that for a game like this i would really appreciate that okay Whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you That ask? is in... I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay. That is in line with Norse mythology. In Norse mythology, Loki was always in tune with the animals. In fact, he frequently shapeshifted with the animals. Yes, he even had romantic relationships with animals. I'm not shitting you. That's part of Norse mythology. Okay. Philip is a given name derived from the Greek Philippos. There it is, it's Philippos. Okay. Yeah, I think it's either it either means like lover of animals or lover of horses. It's a weird thing. I like they do to fly, huh? <laughs> is it the biggest horse cock uh, you've ever seen? That's what. Ah, that's it, boy. All right, and Rob Rex now is banned from the chat for asking me what Pokemon I'm sexually attracted to. I'm most sexually attracted to cat the horse. I received a $5 tip from One Millimeter Man. He says, honest question, would you do an interview with Keemstar? 
We were born the same year. You're the same age. You're both Italian American. You're both from Mid Atlantic Northeast USA, and of course, both gamers and content creators. I think you give me an honest interview and throw in a few jokes. Fuck no, I would never do anything with Keem Star. That would be a complete waste of my time. He would basically leverage it to just make content for himself, likely continuously talking about me and trying to make content for weeks on end, even though I wouldn't even be involved in it. Uh, he would still do it. I mean, just take a look at the things he's done with previous uh, people who he had on his show and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not stupid. I watched the whole documentary about the guy, and uh, I'm not going to waste my time with people like that. So absolutely, positively, no. I will not be uh, doing anything with Keemstar at all. Period. And by the way, he's very pissy about that too, which is why he doesn't like it. He, but Keemstar is the kind of guy, he doesn't really get told no since he throws money around, right? So the fact that he offered me what he did earlier this year, and I outright basically said, if you can't even call me on the phone like a human, why on earth would I want to do any business with you? And he doesn't like that. To him, you know, he's like in control of every situation. And the fact that basically I burned his ass, you know, totally pisses him off. And he, you know, it's what I mean. Like, it's funny, though, because he still wants to do it. I'm serious. I know for a fact he still wants to do it. He still thinks that, like, having me on some show or something would make him a lot of money. So he still wants me involved, even though I refuse to, to be involved. Um, but he's, he, uh, you know, at a moment's notice, he would still take me on to do the show. I know he would. <laughs> but I'm not doing it, ever. I have no desire to do anything with that human. Unless he changed for the better. Like, if the guy totally changed, all right, and was like, I'm going to redeem myself. I'm not going to be this scumbag anymore. I'm not going to abuse and, and exploit people. If he completely changed, maybe I would consider it. But that kind of guy, you know, he really he's ever going to change. Let's be honest. Launch casting. So this is the tougher version. It absolutely is. I can't, uh, I actually cannot get him to bounce. I can put him on fire, but I can't get him to bounce. It doesn't work. There we go. Well, I went to break it. It didn't even work. Wow, Atreus, you missed completely. Wow, he's really hard to hit. I'm going to go back to the blades. He's ridiculously hard to hit. Can't fucking see nothing. Where is he? Oh my god, he's interrupting everything I do. This is the super armor is a major problem. A lot of enemies in the game have total super armor. And just interrupt everything you're trying to do. Fuck. I'm gonna die here because my moves keep missing. There's no health in the room either. Yeah, this sucks. Kill him. He died. No, dodge. Okay. Get the health, get the health, get the health. Fuck, I can't get it. It's right there. Oh, the game locked on. I didn't even do that. The game locked on to an enemy. I didn't want to lock on. That sucked ass. Look how much... What? So I died because the game locked on to an enemy I didn't want to lock on to, and I couldn't unlock. Well, that's dumb. So my major problem with the game is every enemy now seems to have super armor. You're noticing that, right? Like, every enemy we come across has super armor. It's incredibly frustrating. I dodged, didn't come out. Whoa, again, what happened there? He dodged in, dodged out, and I couldn't see anything. Oh, great. Here we go again, in from behind. What are we going to do to that? Behind him. I gotta kill this guy. This is the guy that's fucking up the mini boss, baby. The others are just normal guys. I dodge him, but he's still hitting me. Now they're just all ganging up on me. There's nothing I can do about that. 
Aha. Wine. Huh? Get some health. I don't want to fight this guy, and it's locking on again when I didn't do that. Oh my god. Very frustrating that the things are happening that I don't want to happen. I don't want the lock on. I totally don't want it. What's the matter? Wine. You weirdo. Wow, what a great conversation. Wine, wine. Huh? What? Wine, 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 wine. How many guys are in this fucking room right now? There's four. I thought there was only two or three. There's four guys in here. No wonder. Can't grab him now. Man, this is frustrating. Please die. Okay. Body slams fucking ass. See, see how they're all tanking? Basically, they're not flinching to my attacks. They're just tanking everything out. That's annoying. It's kind of artificial difficulty because you're comboing them. Shut the fuck up. You're comboing them, and you're trying to free flow through a combo like you would have done in the previous God of War games, but they're all tanks. You know? That's very annoying. Plague Rules, I sent you a tip via the link in the description. I don't see an option to insert text. How does one do it now? It's been a while since I last did it. When you click on that, it's going to open up a page to tip, and it's going to say, what's this tip for? That's where you put your name and the message. That's how you do it. Thank you, Play Cool. I received a tip, $2.23 tip. And it's, uh, I guess it's anonymous because there's no name and message. I don't know if that was you, Play Cool. Maybe that was you. Thank you for the tip. Yeah, so that's annoying because if you're going to fight a group of enemies like that, right? You basically want them to be able to be juggled or comboed. And then it's up to your skill level should be determined on... Uh, it should be determined on basically crowd control. You can't crowd control that group because they all have super armor. How do I crowd control when every time I hit you, you just absorb my hit and attack me anyway, right? That's frustrating. To to it's too bad I don't have some cheese for your wine. There we go. Clap says, why is the chat dead here? Listen, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Like, certain games, people talk a ton for some reason while I'm playing God of War. People clam up. I don't know what... To, I really can't explain it. I just... The thing is, I, I, I stream, I play the games. We got attendance. We got people who are engaged and having a good time. Um, I don't know why everyone doesn't talk. I, I don't, you know. I'm here to engage and have a conversation with people if they want to talk. If they don't, I can't really help that, I guess. You know, guys, if you wanted to, like, you know, talk to me and interact, I feel the stream would be better instead of just completely disengaging from the content of the stream and ignoring me. It's probably a better idea to talk to me. I'm just saying. Not that you have to. I'm just saying it would probably make the experience better. Probably. If you didn't ignore the streamer. A dummy. Drax says, I guess the reason they, they are, all the enemies have super armor is to avoid chaos blade spam. Yeah, but the point is, not only challenge, but fun. And I hate to say it, but it's kind of not that fun to have to dodge and dodge and dodge and dodge. You want to do freeform combat. Yeah, I have the blades. Let me use them. What's the point of having blades that have these amazing combo ability if you can never use the combo because everyone has super armor, right? It kind of undoes the whole point. That did not work. It did not. Oh, I've got to remember to ask Tyr about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world. I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about... Myself? Or about yourself? No one cares about you. <laughs> no one wants to hear about yourself. Stop talking about yourself. Shut up. No one cares about you, boy. Here's some stuff. What's making that noise? Oh, there's enemies. Oh, shit. A lot of enemies. I better go rage mode to get some help. Why am 
I stuck? I wanted to interrupt, but he teleported away. And I can't see. Right. I'm gonna go with the axe now. Well, I was going to, what hit me? This hell, I can't see! What the hell happened? What the hell was that bullshit? I was fully behind cover, and somehow his projectile went through the cover and killed me? These guys are frustrating. Like, I don't like this enemy type in this one. I think they were better in the first game. Well, I was going to, what hit me? This hell, I can't see! What the hell happened? So I criticized the game. We got someone in here who wants to shit on me now. Okay, well, go fuck yourself and leave the stream, you stupid idiot. I have a right to at least criticize the game if I feel that there's something frustrating. I do feel that that's frustrating. So if you don't like it, just don't be here. Bye-bye. Idiot. So the gauntlets... The one thing that, that I really like about my streams is that I can disagree with my viewing audience and, like, we don't, we're not nasty to each other. Sadly, there's some people out there who just... They can't accept another opinion you know what i mean like i have opinions about this game my viewing audience has opinions and we could talk about it during the stream and not get all snippy and nasty with each other well some other people oh you don't agree with me you're completely wrong you're a dick <laughs> but we don't do that it's called respect folks <clears throat> all right indeed we will have a celebratory bubble blow for hitting 100 likes on today's stream thank you everyone i appreciate that thank you so much let's uh, do the bubble blow hey man there between me and Tyr, who'd ever guess I was the giant, huh? <laughs> Indeed, lad. <laughs> Tyr's a god, an Aesir god, but it's kind of weird because he doesn't really look like the others, does he? He's so much taller and bigger. You would think, oh, he's a giant, but he's, I guess he's not. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for the support today, guys, and I hope you enjoyed your bubble blow. Um, I think we've done everything now, right? Oh, no. There's actually something else. Never mind. There's something else over there. Don't level bullshit. <clears throat> Let's for thoroughly investigate now that there's no... Uh, oh, what is this? I did not see this because of, the, of the, uh, the storm. All right. We got something important here. Here we go. Look at this. Okay. Fair enough. I missed stuff. I will accept I will accept the harsh criticism of my audience. I missed some stuff. Look at this. Stuff over and over. It's sad. X shooter did a super chat. I can't remember how did Kratos get his red mark. There is a story to that, but I can't remember it off the top of my head either. It's part of the lore of, of God of War. I think it's one of the major things that happens. Uh because originally it was just war paint, right? But then I think through the horrible things that happened with him and the gods and his family, I think that has something to do with it. There you go. Carliga says his brother had that as a birthmark. He copied him in order to honor the souls of his family embedded in his skin, just like the white ashes. It's from God of War 1. There you go. There's your answer. I knew it had significance. It does give me a lot more defense. You know what? I'll equip it. We'll try it. Uh, Carliga says... Excuse me. Haseo says the white skin is when he killed his family by accident. That's right. And they became ash and the ashes stuck to his body. That I remember. That's why he's all white. His pale skin. The red markings are Spartan war paint. And I guess they're, it's supposed to be honoring his brother. That's interesting. Lilith is hoping I play the God of War 2 or maybe the PSP games at some point. Right. We'll see. Like I said, I own the collection. I could play two if I wanted, but people don't really usually ask for it. Of course not. I just thought it'd be nice to learn some music. Okay. You could teach me, and no, it's stupid. Never mind. That's right. It is stupid. <laughs> How dare you suggest something like that? Kratos and music? What are you nuts? Behind you! Look out! 
Stop whipping my ass! Like, literally, they're whipping my ass. I'm gonna have to go get freaking health over here. <laughs> I saw it. Oh my god, I'm getting attacked from every direction. Can't see anything. Oh my god, he hit me in the nuts. Is there no healing in here? Oh my god, again. This is constantly getting attacked from behind in this game. Like, it's seriously constantly always back attacks. Right? Constant fucking back attacks, man. There we go. Cool. The axe is doing way better than the blades. Sirius 7 is saying he sent another tip. Oh. Like, it didn't send an email for that? Did you just send it? I did not get an email for that. Um... Aha! Uh -huh. I did get it. $25 tip from Series 7. He said, my wife has finished God of War today. Uh, nearly spoiled the ending for me. I got home and saw, almost saw it. She's just now got the platinum. She says, 47 hours. Talk about a rush. 47 hours, huh? Hmm. Okay, thank you very much for that, Series 7. And sorry, yeah, my email, the no email came through to tell me. So I didn't know that you had done that. And I apologize for that. But it did come through. I appreciate that support. And uh, like I said, I'll have to keep my eye peeled. As of now, no, my balance didn't like go up because of any e-check cleared. I'm not sure how it works. I also don't remember what day that was when you sent an e-check. It was many days ago, right? So. What sucks is there's no way to like track all, all tips that came from one person. Like you can't even do that. So I can't even go back and say, oh, here's all the stuff he sent me and one of them is, is in limbo or whatever. I can't even do that. But whatever. Thank you. There's a broken building. You can't get in it. Nothing to throw. No, nothing to target. No, not that I could see. Now the email just came through. So there you go, Sirius, Sirius 7. The email just came through now for your tip. Sometimes PayPal is just really delayed um, when it comes to, like, sending emails and stuff. There's not much you could do about that. You know, Series 7, you know what I'm thinking? Would you... Hold on a second. Maybe I th maybe we're thinking about this socks. the wrong way. What has happened? He needs no new way. socks. Cooper, thank you for a $5 tip. And uh, he says, you make it easy to quit pornography. There you go. I'm glad that my content has allowed you to quit your, your debilitating porn addiction, Cooper. And thank you for sharing. We all need to know when people overcome horrible things in their lives, we should applaud and uh, salute them. So I applaud and salute Cooper. No more porn for him. Good for you. Good man. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, no! Let me... Ah! Who just painted this? <clears throat> it's him and someone I'm else, a woman. With it yet. Oh. Oh my I god, it's the character they totally didn't again. spoil all over the internet everywhere. They you know, years ago. Before, <laughs> so that the paint remembers too. Look out, there's a black woman coming! Ah! <laughs> she takes them both out. Boom! Steals the backpack and runs away. Oh. Alright, let's go. Surviving Fumble Winter. Wait, is that a thing around here? Did you know about it? I did. Surviving the Fimble Winter. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yep. All right, guys. Well, as much as I'd like to keep playing, because I absolutely would love to keep playing, we ran out of time. I spent so much time doing side content today out in the desert that we got absolutely no plot advancement whatsoever. I got so distracted out there, right? Uh, it is what it is, I guess. Oh. Uh, uh, I like to sing. La, 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 la. Everyone, welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. Last time around, we got to this critical story point where apparently we're in Ironwood. 
Yes, Derek, in actual Nordic uh, mythology, Loki, the god of mischief, could shapeshift into anything he wanted, and he frequently shapeshifted into animals, even had relationships with animals and kids with animals. Yes, he actually had children who were wolves, and, and, and I think they had a horse, ch child, all kinds of shit. It's a really weird mythology, let's put it that way. <clears throat> Sounds like me! Re! Philippos! Lover of horses? My mother and Thank I you to 672 for reopening his membership. <laughs> Is that bestiality? It's what Loki's all about these days. Now that's an old reference. Holy shit. No, not these days. Classic Loki. That's what he was up to. Classic mythology Loki. It was so different for that time period. Um... Well, we've got 100 likes on today's stream. Let's do a bubble blow. Celebratory bubble blow, that is. Jasper is good. He's uh, being silly today, Jay. Thanks for asking. Very nice. Thank you for the support today, guys. Every 100 likes, we'll do a celebratory bubble blow. Support children's entertainers. Thing and not a giant thing. Oh. Thanks for rubbing it in, though. Sorry. Joking. <laughs> I like Atreus's combat. I like the thing is I like variety. The tunnel on the right. When you're using that's where we're headed. When you're using Kratos, it's kind of the same thing over and over, at least up to this point. Maybe you're gonna get a new weapon or something new later. Oops. So I no like the variety. Way. Let's turn around. No, I'm gonna go this way. Come on. I mean, oops. You're you're the one leading, by the way. You're the one guiding the act. You went the wrong way, right? <clears throat> later. Blimey, she types this. Oh, God of War. Skipping stones with a couple of teens. Exactly what you would expect. I mean, there's some variety. Obviously, they're doing some character development here, right? What the hell were you doing in there? Noisy idiot. That's all he's a noisy idiot. Shut the fuck up. My animals need me. Abandon them. Paul just did a super chase. He says, you know, I started watching you because of some troll vids that I saw, but I really like watching you now. I'm a new supporter. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate that. Hear this, I hear that story every day, honestly. And it's actually funny because, you know, there's some people who have this mixed impression. They're like, the reason that Phil's still pertinent is because he's been such a long-standing content creator that it's the classic viewers who still support him. In some ways, that's very correct, I feel. Um, at the same time, being that I have such a, an annoying troll element, let's be honest. Um, what is she doing? What the hell? Being that I have an annoying troll element, uh, it does affect things. You know what I mean? Like, what is this? I have new accessories, huh? When a runic summon is on cooldown, it, I'm not even going to bother with these for now. I'll mess with them later. Map. Yeah, how do I get out? How to figure out the way out? So here's the thing. I definitely feel that I have a dedicated group of viewers. Oh God, it's the boss. Who have been around for a long time. They like the content I put out. They feel like it's just for them. Which honestly it is. Let's be honest. The kind of content I put out is very different from what a lot of other content creators are doing. Oh. Especially in direct comparison with things like doing gameplay and the style of interactivity that I do on my stream as opposed to people who are doing a lot of react content and news and stuff, which I don't really do, right? Um, it's very different from what a lot of people do and find success doing, right? And I'm happy to be able to keep doing what I'm doing and find that level of success. Um, and a lot of people say, well, it's your troll element. A lot of people come by and watch you because you have so many trolls and they want to see what the trolls say is true. I, say, I guess to some extent that's true as well. I'm sure there are people who come just on curiosity's sake. They want to see if all the troll stuff is real or not, right? I, I can do that. I get that. Um, I like to think that it's a mix. And I'm happy with anyone who wants to watch my content for any reason. I don't really yeah. care yeah. the reason why you came by. You too. You showed up at my house. You did? <laughs> Sounds kind of like a nightmare. Yeah, kind of. So that's a reference to the end of the first game, and then it ended up happening in the intro to this game. <laughs> I 
Valdok says, I only come to your streams for countless sensor plugs every two minutes. You know, it is, it is funny. I will say this. Of all the people on the internet who always give me shit what and criticize they? me, and they say, oh, you asked for too much, you eBay. It's like, but <clears throat> did you actually tune into the stream to see that I have absolutely nothing on this stream? There's no shilling, no advertisement, no product placement, no tie-in, no promotions, nothing. Literally, at the time you're on the stream is content, right? No one brings that up. That part they forget. Oh, that Phil doesn't have any of that, right? <laughs> Everyone else out there doing this full-time has to be doing that shit. Oh, sorry. Every hour I have to run a certain amount of ads. We have to have this paid advertising for the day for this video and that. No, so I'm not doing that. But they don't want to bring that up. They only want to bring out the thing that personally they have a pet peeve with, which is completely unfair, of course. Yes, I remember X-Men Origins Wolverine. We actually did it at, when we were at a tournament. We were doing it in a hotel room together. So, okay. Are they dangerous? <clears throat> Flanking there to unlock new areas. Wolver! I got your back! Yes! Eat him! Eat the wolf man! Wolf versus wolf man! Who will win? Battle of the monsters. Apparently the wolf man because I couldn't kill him. Jeez, that's what the hell you paint. There we go. Grandma Shang Tsung, you know, exactly. Here. She's gonna oh, swallow done. your soul. You know about your mother? She lived this entire life before she had me. But I don't know anything about yeah. her. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about her. Your mother left the path of the giants way before I was born. Max had another super chat. He says, sorry, I actually screwed up my first message to you. I also came across your, your, uh, your vids via some trolls, but I think you're awesome. I'm looking forward to future content on Wicked Channel. Thank you, Max. Yeah, I play everything. Like, seriously, I, I play such a variety of stuff. I mean, yeah, there's some stuff I don't play, but the cool thing about my streams is that pretty much you can come by every day and there's something different. Horror game one day, action-adventure game like this the next day, first-person shooter the next day, RPG the next day, and I try to balance it so I'm playing at least each game two or three times a week so we're making progress, and it doesn't feel like you're waiting too long for anything. At the same time, I like balancing it out. A lot of people have asked me, how can you still be doing the same kind of thing after 14 years? Because I'm a variety guy. If I wasn't doing the variety, I probably would have got bored a long time ago. Wolf Den Gaming Chairs by Wolfman. Referral link in the video description. One hour sponsor advertisement segment coming up next. Not to say that any of the ads are that obnoxious. I've seen maybe like five minute advertisement segments in, in an hour long video. But again, the point I make is I don't do that at all. You, you notice, by the way, when do I run ads on my stream? Once a stream, because I'm already taking a 10 minute break to stretch my legs. You know what I mean? I don't monetize the fucking stream at all. Yeah, people sit here and complain that I'm an e-beggar. It's like, dude, I'm making content for a living. You gotta understand that there's a trade-off at some point. But people don't want to do that. They don't want to look at the reality. They just want to fucking talk this shit. Is home. No lights. She may still be checking her traps, but she can't. <laughs> Oh, we gotta start parrying now. How do I how do I use the summon? See, I don't know how to use a trace of summon. We never figured that out. I only know how to do it as a trace. I don't know how to do it as uh, as Kratos. Because I could use it right now, but I don't know how. How the fuck do I do it, right? I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I have no health either. This sucks. Oh, this is bullshit. That is bullshit. <laughs> See what I did? You have to hold square. Oh, just hold it down like this. Oh. How do you know? Looks like the finally done it. Combos. 
Almost done. Let's talk this out. Seems she's in she needs her freedom more than her revenge. Yes, but why did she just try to murder him then? Like, if she was going, if she needed help and she knew she needed help, right? Why wouldn't you go to him and be like, okay, I don't want to work with you. I don't like you, but let's have this alliance or whatever. And why would, why in the holy fuck is he helping her? It doesn't make any sense. Hey, get back here. Someone just shows up at my house. And it's acting like they're going to murder me and my son. We have an epic boss fight against them. Oh, I need your help. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. What? No. No, that's not what happens. I say get the fuck out of here now before I rip your head off and shove it up your ass. Why would I help you now? If you had shown up and asked for help and said, okay, I'm going to put aside our grudge. I need your help. We do this together. Okay, maybe. Now, oh, I'm going to try to murder everyone. And now I'm going to, I need your help. No. No. Gamer guy says she saved his son's life. Kratos feels like he owes her. He never wanted to fight. He sees her as a friend. No. That's gonna need more magic than we got. Son. No. No, I guess that's where we're headed. Yep. All right. Well, guys, what I would like to say is thank you. Great stream today. Great progress. Uh, story's good. You know, I actually like. I liked that segment. A lot of people say they didn't like that segment with the Treyas. I liked it. The only thing that does annoy me a bit is that I don't know how it ties into the plot. Like, I don't know how that's going to really factor into things. Um, and it did create even more questions for me than answers, really, about the giants and everything. So, Because, like I said, it seemed like it wasn't consistent with what happened in Jotunheim at the end of God of War 1 four years ago. But outside of that, that was a good stream, good progress, and everything was fun. I now like that we've got uh, basically Atreus leveling up a lot. Which is cool. It has all these new abilities. I found you. Why do you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. Oh, shit. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. Go! <laughs> Dude. Keep your balls to yourself, disgusting freak. Okay. Oh, yep, here's something. Something has a lovely singing voice. We gotta see what it is. And so close to the village. Their song makes their allies invulnerable. They will not let you pass unless you destroy them all. Oh, I did it by accident. God, I wasted my, uh... I totally wasted my rage. Oh, I see. I gotta kill the singing one? Where's the singing one? Where is it? I can't see. What the fuck? Dude, what the hell? I can't get away from him. This is ridiculous. I couldn't get away from him. He just kept endlessly attacking and would never let me escape him to even get my bearings and see what, who was making them invincible. What the hell was that? What is what is it making that noise? Fucker dodge. Can't see. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, right there. I did it. I activated it. It didn't come out fast enough because I wanted to do it because you get the double recovery if you do it on time when they're attacking you and it didn't work. <clears throat> Tried to parry. 
I can't get the combo ever. Remember the combo with the better axe? I can never get it to work. What? I did it. I, I did it with the right timing. He attacks through it anyway. Wow. I'm trying. They said if you activate this with the right timing, you should interrupt them, stun them, and you get double recovery. When I'm doing it, he just attacks right through it anyway, as if I didn't do it. So I think this maybe this enemy you can't do it. Maybe it only works on normal enemies. <clears throat> That one works. Where did my health go? See? See that? I did it. And again, when you do it when they're attacking you, it's supposed to interrupt their attack and stun them. It doesn't. He just keeps attacking anyway. So basically, this rage is worthless in this fight. Get him. Parry! He won't parry! Dude, three times he ignored the parry! Did you see that? I timed it! And he even put up the shield with the right animation and it still hit me anyway. I go to attack super armor the, the super armor is so annoying it's the only reason these enemies are even challenging if they didn't have fucking super armor through all your attacks it would be easy it's completely cheap that they do this <clears throat> do I have to do this every time no I got fury okay play those video games bitch <laughs> He didn't attack. He didn't even attack. I just fell. I didn't. He never fucking attacked at all. What happened? What happened? Parry, finally. And then he hits me anyway. Dude, I parried him and he got damaged. Did you see that? I parried him. He immediately got damaged. What? I parried you. Why are you not stunned? <laughs> oh my god. What's the point? What's the point of a parry if they can immediately just hit you after the parry that you did? What happened? Harry! He did it again! He literally keeps doing it. The only reason I'm losing is super armor and he absorbs my parry and just hits me after it anyway. Wow. I don't know. 
I, I really feel like the combat engine of this game, they purposely changed it, and it's not that good. I think the combat engine in the first game was better. It allowed you to have free-flowing combos and challenge. This is just... Oh, I'm just the fucking guy who just interrupts everything you do. Are you having fun yet? No, I'm not, actually. I like I like combat that I, I get rewarded for timing things properly and not punished because your, your enemy has infinite super armor. It just goes through everything I try to do. Saw that? I parried with the counter hit. Nothing. What is? How am I supposed to know that attack's coming? I'm supposed to do anything to it, right? Parry! You can fucking parry again. I did my special move! He interrupted it! Oh my god! He interrupted it! <laughs> my god, it's so dumb! This is really stupid. Everything is just super armor with this fucking guy. Parry. Won't parry. Won't parry three times in a fucking row. I parried it and it didn't parry. Three in a row. Three fucking parries in a row. His slow ass attack, the parry doesn't hit. Fucking bullshit. Unreal. Well, he's dead. Fuck him. That was such bullshit. There was no reason for that to be that hard at all. Uh, I have a Chaos Spark. That's right. You need to get six in order to get your, your flame upgrade, right? So I don't have that. That was stupid. Okay. So the thing is, I can never get the combo to work in combat. And what I combo, I mean, is this. Let's see if I can do it. That right there. I can never get that to work in combat. It seems like if this hit hits... Hold on. Now it won't work. I can't get that to work in combat, and I don't know why. Alright, we have a few things to shout out. First of all, hold on. My armpit itches, so wait a second while I scratch it. That's number one. Number two, we received 100 likes. We received 100 likes on the stream, so it's time for a celebratory bubble blow. Thank you for the engagement today, everyone. Appreciate that. In addition to that, little children. <laughs> I am one of you. I am one of you. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. Hint, hint. Let me give you my honest opinion. Give me your money. You've wanted it for far too long. Honesty is always the best policy. It is. I'm becoming everything I hate a circus act. Sound good? <laughs> Let's 
Wait, what? I stepped inside of it and I'm okay? Are you a fucking retard? I like them. Ooh, what's my hobby outside of work? When I was younger, I had a ton of hobbies. I have none now. I don't have time. Do outside of work, I don't have enough time to do the things I want to do with my family. I so. killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. Freya, shut up. Stop whining, Freya. We've had enough. Your bitchiness. <laughs> oh, please stop whining. Fine. You Don't lose it. Yeah, I'll say. Drag it out. Don't let it there we go. Drag it out of the portal. Need hog. Looks fucking awesome, by the way. Really cool spot. Shit. I dodged, still got hit. Fuck. Use your legs. Use your legs. Still in the way. I need to get to those roots. Use your words. Talk it out of uh, fighting. Let me get uh, health. Let me soon. Oh. No, I couldn't get over there in time. Now I lost all my health. Great. If I free the Vanaheim root, I can help you. I can handle the creature. I got stuck. The, the camera would not move. I got stuck where I was. I couldn't roll out of the way. I lost more than half my health instantly. <laughs> Whoa, shit! I got a vacuum on his stomach. What the hell is that? Fucking Hoover boss. Oh, this shield is really good for interrupting, actually. Chop him up! Oh, I can't get out I'm gonna these goddamn columns down. It attacks through well I see it. Your sigil's down, so I can take this fucking column out. My sigil can amplify your attack. Burn it off its perch. Use your blade. Burn it quickly. Blades? Wait, what? Oh, now you changed the game mechanic? Use the blades? Ah, oh, they did change it. They fooled me. Chop up the face! Slice and dice! Yeah, I love the meat! Yes, be ready for anything! You ready for anything? It's a fucking lizard. What are we gonna do? Start fucking shooting missiles? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I love this new shield. I do that from a big distance. Fast. Oh! Close. Jesus, hit me non-stop, man. Oh, I was rolling. I was rolling, great. I was in the midst of a dodge and it hit me anyway. Oh, good. All the cells are back. That's the life. Ew. 
Spits it out. Stay still. Right side incoming. My sigils can amplify your attack. There we go. that work and it's anything not. That shield always works. Give you the entire fucking thing. Block or reflect those Your back, the yellow ones? Maybe. Damn, wow, did good damage. There's a million pieces of hope behind me. Done, huh? It's weak. It won't last much longer. Let us finish this. It's opening its stomach again. Get ready. I dodged it this time. Finally. No, it did it twice. Too late for me to know I was supposed to throw something in there. It was already too late to switch and throw. <clears throat> I can oh. help with the vines. She does this. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. So wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you want to play the fucking game? Does that mean she's gonna travel with us to those places? Open. To your oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than <clears throat> everything to go back to how it was, leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. Okay. Trust me, I need to stretch my legs for sure in a few minutes here. What was that noise? Watch out, those are wisps. The fuck Powerful is that? manifestations of runic magic. <laughs> Come on. Fucking wisp, how do I hit it? 
What the fuck? Ah! Ah, I'm getting shocked! How do I hurt these fucking things? Apparently I'm not. I'm dead. I couldn't hit them at all. Great. You want to tell me how to fucking fight them? <clears throat> Watch out, those are whips. How is the man of the of the runic magic? So literally, she has to shoot it once and you can insta kill it. Why don't you say that before, stupid? I think of this place as what do you think, stupid? Ha, <laughs> what do you think? There you go. I mean, it didn't matter. I already got the item. <laughs> so it's a complete waste to do that, but at least we're learning the mechanic of the chain shots, right? Yeah, I'm enjoying the game. I just want to remind everyone, if you haven't followed the playthrough on YouTube, if you could give these videos a like if you're enjoying them, and please continue to leave comments as you have been doing the entire playthrough. It's been great. The engagement has been really good, and I hope that we can keep that up for the playthrough. Uh, chat is like completely silent. I don't know what's going on. It's like they went. We have we have, still have over two hundred people watching, but people go to sleep when I play this. I guess they don't like good games. They're waiting for me to play bad games and then rage. Yeah, no one's talking in chat. I don't know why the stream's still going. No one's talking. I don't know why. Looks oh. like that worked. Nice. Puzzles. Do I think the game has too many puzzles? I'm, I like the puzzles. I'm not going to complain about the puzzles. I'm enjoying them. <clears throat> well, that did it. That's 100% a lie. I can do that too, shit. Here it comes. Whee! Ha 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 Fuck face. Take that. That's fun. So said the landscapers. All right, let's save up. Good progress today, man. We huge story progress. A new companion. New giant side area unlocked. Um, Good stuff, right? <clears throat> Ladies and gents, welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. It's been a while. It's been several days, actually. Almost a week since I had opportunity to play the game. Mostly because it was a holiday week. I had several special events for Thanksgiving and the like lined up. Uh, but today we're finally getting back to gameplay. And if you remember last time around, we had just had Freya become a companion of ours. Kind of took over the Atreus role. Only it seems like she has interesting and probably even better combat abilities as a companion. Um... Is this another one? Come on, guys, drop some health. Or don't. I forgot the poison was going to come back when I removed the axe. I totally forgot. Um, yeah, Yoshino Lover says, if you want to remove those blue vines quickly, try using the grab attack. I see. Thank you. Right, we're going to try that. So some new, we have some new attacks to try now. Guys, if you could give me a second, I just realized something. My wife may or may not have to work today, and I'm not sure if she has to. Um, she was supposed to expect a call, and I didn't take a break, so I didn't ask her. So I want to go ask her if she's working or not. Um, so I know what's going on. All right, give me like a minute. I'm just going to mute the mic, go ask, come right back, okay?
All right. I got the answers that I seeked. And now I'm ready to continue on with God of War. Cool. <laughs> Fucking running away. <laughs> I only fought one of these so far. This is the thing that was spewing fire earlier, remember? This time it was a pushover, though. He's going to blow! A second one. What? What happened? Why did I lose all my health? I guess I'll revive. It won't let me. I'm holding it. I wanted to revive. It wouldn't let me. I don't even know why I lost all my health. I had half a health bar. All of a sudden, I'm instantly dead. Oh, ah, what? What happened? Why did I lose all my... I hate that shit. Enjoy the free-flowing combat until something just randomly kills you and takes all your health that you can't even tell what it is. Oh, okay. That's fun, huh? Wait, no, it's not. Actually, really stupid and frustrating. Damn, he's being harsh. Do you use your eyes at all or are they do for decoration? You humans are... Your face, you know. Awesome. Thank you very much for that. Guys, uh, if you're chilling with me today, it'd be great if you could support the stream in any way. We're at 75 likes. The goal that I have for every stream I do is 100 likes. Uh, now, I still have about another 10 minutes before I go on a break. And then we're going to have another hour after said break. Um, but it would be great if uh, you could like the stream if you're enjoying yourself. Any other contributions are greatly appreciated, whether it be Super Chats, Super Stickers, Memberships, Tips. Uh, you know, we're trying to hit $100 Tips goal and have a hat for the stream. That's the reward. You get to vote for a silly hat for me to wear. Um, it would be great if we could hit that today for God of War. All right? So thank you guys in advance. For any contributions whatsoever. I appreciate that. So it looks like... Remember, your contributions are, are mandatory. And always will be mandatory. If we missed, we, we, we pretty, pretty much scoured everywhere. I received an anonymous dollar tip. Says, how was stream attendance for God of War 2018? It was slow. It, re it really was. Um, I remember specifically, at that time, we started having conversations with the audience about... Is it that some games are just so big that everyone wants to play them themselves? Or... Th here's the way I see it. This, this game, for sure, was one of the most anticipated of the year, correct? And it is a very heavily story-focused game, right? So if someone really wanted to see this playthrough right away, they would have just watched one of the people who could play it early. They could play it a day or two early, right? So they probably watched already, and then they play it for themselves. Me, I'm not doing that, right? And my audience is a variety stream audience. They don't care about me just playing one game endlessly. They want to see uh, more than just the one. So maybe if I had gotten this on release day and I played it nonstop for a whole week and I beat it in a week, maybe there would have been more attendance. Maybe not. Maybe what would have happened was people would have been upset that I didn't play any other games because a lot of people don't care about this game. I don't know. But I remember in 2018, God of War Part 1 also had the same issue where I loved the game, I was playing it extended, and the stream had low attendance. Um, there's not much that can really be said or done about it. I love the game. I'm not going to stop playing it, you know. Uh, Jones Bones, this is not a podcast. I'm not going to sit here and answer a giant essay question from you about my past and being a valedictorian. Like, this is, we're playing a game. Thanks. Come on, let's get out of here. No, I'm not going for everything. I literally just said that. I said I'm not going for the platinum. I know it would take way too long. In a season where we're, I'm already so behind on games, people are upset I'm not playing all the games. We're not going for the platinum, no. Mr. Kios, the librarian, would like a word? Uh-oh. Hello. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. Yeah, it sounds like she can eat shit. How about that? Shield strike! I'm trying to do my fucking ability. Now it's not working. I 
can't do the ability. Every time I try, she interrupts it. I tried like five times. There it is. Oh, you know what? I was in the wrong button, wasn't I? I wa the whole time I was doing the wrong thing. I I could have steamrolled this boss. I did the wrong thing the whole time. I was hitting the wrong trigger. This is this is going to be a problem now. There's so many abilities in the game. I'm going to lose track of them, and I'm going to make tons of mistakes in combat now, because there's just so many abilities. I take 100. I take I take responsibility for that. I fucked up. I was hitting the wrong button the whole time. Use a shield strike, brother. <laughs> There it is. See, that's what I was trying to do that whole time. I got goofed. I fucked up. Couldn't dodge any of that. Wouldn't let me. The fuck? My rage? My rage? Look, the visuals of the rage is gone, but it's still activated. You see that, right? It's supposed to have that tease over the screen, and it didn't. But it was still activated. That was weird. I can't do anything. Once you hit you once, you can't seem to get out of it. What the fuck? Again? I don't even know what hit me. What's up, B Gaming? I don't even know what hit me. Every time I get to the end, and then she just hits me with something that takes, like, the rest of my life with one hit. Is this shield strike when I'm half a screen a fucking way? How am I supposed to do it then? Where am I? I can't. What's going on? I never threw. I never threw the axe. The game says I threw the axe. I never threw it. Oh, this is just dumb. This is a fucking stupid thing now. It didn't work. It's just dumb as hell. I can't parry. Or block. Yeah, it fucked up. It throws your axe when you use the heavy special. Oh, I didn't know that. It didn't. It didn't even say that. Don't remember it ever saying that. It just said there was an area of effect of ice. I can't parry. It, it's weird when she throws that. If you don't parry the first one, you can't do anything else. It just keeps comboing you. Come it on, hits you on the guys. way, and then it hits you back, and you can't seem to recover. I can't block or parry it after the first wave of it. I don't understand why. Put some new perspective. No sleep real vibes, I disagree. He says he thinks that the reason that I, when I play this game, there's low attendance is because all my viewers are playing it and don't want to be spoiled. I I just have to strongly disagree. I'm, I'm way behind everyone else. You understand that, right? Like, you understand that everyone's been playing this game for quite some time. I, You know, the game's been out for over two weeks. My wife beat it. You know, everyone beat the game already. Um, I don't think spoilers is the issue. There's something else going on, perhaps, but not, definitely not spoilers. Shut up. No one cares. He's <laughs> probably going to answer. I don't care. Fuck him. People says, maybe it's the streamer, not the game. I mean, maybe, but then the question is, why do people show up to my other streams? Right? Because my other streams get much better attendance than this game. 
I don't play this game any different than the other games, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm having a good time with it. I hope you guys who are here are enjoying it. And thank you to those who did happen to support the stream today. I really appreciate that. Until next time in a couple of days, we'll finish up this uh, Alfheim Desert and uh, move on to the new story elements. Thank you so much. Until next time, peace out, and I'll see you then. Yes. Attack the spring. Hurry before it recovers. The spring. What springs? What the fuck? It's glitched. You can't attack. What spring? There's no springs. Look, it's under the ground. Oh man, it glitched. It totally fucking glitched out. There was no way to do it. What the hell was that? Oh man, that's bullshit. Now, what do I attack? What do I attack? This? I don't get it. I can't even do anything. What the fuck is this dumb fight? You're supposed to... I did attack. It didn't do anything. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, they fucked this up. Great. A fight where... Attack the sprig, okay, it does nothing. Oh my god. So how do I attack look, how the fuck do I attack this? Like that? Now what? Oh. It's not doing anything. What the fuck? I'm attacking. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Yo, this fight sucks. I'm like, oh, it's going to be a cool boss. No, you have to do all stupid puzzle bullshit. And it sucks. Attack the spring. <sighs> I love puzzle bosses. As you guys know, they're my favorite kind of bosses in video games. When you can't hurt. How about fight the cool thing standing in front of you instead of attacking the spring? This sucks. Now I have no health. Now I'm gonna fucking die. This is terrible. It's terrible. They ruined it. It should have just been a straightforward boss. No. You have to hit him a million times just to enable the sprigs around you to hit the sprig, and then I'm hitting it half the time, and the fucking sprig doesn't do anything. I can't hurt it. <laughs> wow congratulations you fucking suck you fucked you fucked up the fight it would have been interesting you fucked it up bad what is it it's a puzzle it's not a combat game it's a puzzle game i don't like puzzle games i like combat games now where even is it now it's not even showing up what is that Yeah, look at that thing. It's vulnerable when it glows. The fuck? I want to take damage. There. I guess it worked. I, and there's obviously another one somewhere. I don't know where it is. Realm tear. We got an optional fight here. A token. A badge of honor. The elves made a few of these. They'd hang them up outside their dwellings. Show their support for my brother. That's all my brother's tributes. Did you prefer we hang on to them? Do what you will. Mm -hmm. If Freyr didn't bother taking them when he left Alfheim, he wouldn't mind us selling them to the dwarves. Ha <laughs> Okay. This is going to be an optional fight, and usually these are pretty tough. <clears throat> Can't even see what it is. It's a big fucking Viking dude. What happened? Oh my god. I guess I'll do it again. I had no idea what was happening. I couldn't see because the realm tear was blocking my vision. Alright. Well, everyone's quiet in the chat. Everyone clammed up again today. I don't know why. Whenever I play this game, everyone's like silent. <laughs> I parried it. 
I tried to roll and I died. I tried to roll, I swear. I guess we'll revive. Now would be a good time for the revive. What the Are fuck? I tried to roll and the roll doesn't seem to work. When he's doing the red attacks, I'm trying to roll out of the way and I get hit anyway. I can't dodge. I'm fucking trying. Okay. I'm just gonna start to parry instead. Fuck this. I'm gonna start trying to parry because the dodge doesn't work. Frustrating me. Roll! Alright, I fucking blocked that one. So do that. Whenever it's yellow, I'm gonna try to block it. Well, that didn't work. It doesn't block. You saw you had the shield up, it did nothing. <laughs> Sometimes it shows as yellow and I try to parry it. It doesn't work. I did parry it once. Early on, I did massive damage, so I'm going to try to parry it. I parried. Okay. I tried to parry. I tried to parry again. Uh, almost done. The blocking and parrying did help, though. Is there a reason to come up here? Or? Maybe this was just supposed to be a vantage point for the fight? Because I don't see anything up here. Huh. No Sweet Real Value says, I hope the strands up in your top five games. Because it was refreshing and something new. I told you it is. Like, right now, I would say the games that stand out in my head as, like, Game of the Year nominees would be Elden Ring, Stray, Sifu, uh, Midnight Fight Express, obviously this game, <clears throat> and probably that Kirby and the Forgotten ass, Land. Then fly. Those are probably the ones that stand out. There's probably more, but I'm just not thinking of them off the top of my head. But those are the ones that that pronun pronounce I'm out trying to save your life, at this you moment. Jerk. Time to save up. All right. Great stream today and great progress. Not only did we finish up all the side content, you know, that was available, but now we're actually have a major, major advancement here in the story. Uh, I'm liking this. I wasn't, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen. But now that we're into this part of the game, we're now with the gods, you know, the, the Nordic gods, and seeing how they're treating him. My, my guess is that Odin is doesn't like you either. Like, basically, Odin is either afraid of you because the prophecy said that Loki would be the champion or whatever that would stop all the gods. So he's trying to find a way to avoid that. Or it could be that he totally knows what's going on. He's totally, totally misrepresenting everything because he needs you. Without your help, he knows that he can't stop Ragnarok. So he's going to be nice to you temporarily um, until there's a point where he doesn't need you anymore. And then that's the end, you know. So that's my guess. I could be wrong. But so far, I'm liking this part of the game. And uh, I can't actually I cannot wait to play more of it now 
uh, later on this week. Whatever that may be. It could be Thursday. It could be Saturday. It all depends on what happens with other playthroughs that I'm doing. But anyway, great stream. Thank you to those who did support the stream today and chilled with me. If you're watching this on demand, remember, liking the videos, leaving comments. Really appreciate the engagement on this playthrough. It helps a lot. And uh, until next time. So good progress. Great stuff. Until God of War Ragnarok returns. Thank you all. And I will see you soon. What about her? We gotta, we're gonna have no help. Come on, Freya, you're coming with us. You're doing, you're helping us out. When you're ready to seek the noise, <clears throat> I'm with you. Aha. Uh -huh. Taking a moment. Good. I want to have a, a companion. I'm going by myself. Enough of that bullshit. So, by the way, can we upgrade now? Or I don't remember. If we're in a situation. This one doesn't have a set. Successful attacks against enemies will cleanse small amounts of Bifrost from Kratos' health bar. Probably good if you're in a Bifrost area fighting Bifrost. The bo if you're fighting the Bifrost, boys, you need to remedy your old Bifrost and get that frost right off your body, boy. But we're not doing that right now. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll pass on these. <clears throat> um, well, I think we're going to stick this for now. <clears throat> oh, Atreus became a bear and messed up the door. Oh, I don't remember that. It's nonsense. Christopher did a super chase of Mimir is actually from Celtic mythology. <clears throat> so he's not necessarily part of the Norse or Nordic mythology. <clears throat> Thank you, Christopher, for the super chat. <clears throat> no, I never played God of War 2. Nope. Never played the second one. Played the first and the third. Okay. Neath hope. I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. Madam Neath Hogue? What the hell is she saying? What is that? What the hell is that? Oh, it's the squirrel. Squirrel. Ah, Master Kratos, my apologies. <clears throat> Madam Neethog's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. Oh, the, the dragon? Friend of yours? <clears throat> Less a friend than another long time. Once What's the this? wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just oh. need to follow their lead. The scent of the Norns. I will open the gate. <clears throat> You don't trust anyone. If, if anything, I, the only thing I'm confident in... Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? <laughs> they are wolves. <laughs> fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Wow. He doesn't take care of his, his wolves. What a dickhead. No, what I was going to say is the only thing I have trust in is... Kratos' abilities to survive because... If you haven't noticed in these two games... Basically, no one really has a chance to kill him. They all try. Balder tried. Thor fucked with him. No one's really uh, hanging with him. I almost feel like since the shit he went through with the Greek gods, he's become the most powerful entity in this universe. And nothing can really fuck with him besides maybe some weird circumstance. Which is why they keep thinking, oh, it's not a big deal that he's here or whatever. They always underestimate him. And then he always survives and wins. So I, I, I'm actually confident that he's got kind of, kind of like plot armor. I don't care if the plot says he's going to die. I don't buy that for a second. I really don't. I don't think he's going to die at all. <clears throat> you think you can come here, become a daddy, get a clean slate. It's a good point. Just coming to this realm, fucking with their, their world. Like me. Ow. What happened? Oh, no. I say when we're done. Oh, no, okay, I was gonna say, it's not over. I'm not leaving till I see the real. I didn't see that. Chat seems slow. You mean like it is every single time we play this game for some odd fucking reason? People refuse to interact, or people refuse to watch, people. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I like the game a lot. It's fun to me. I'm having great fun exploring. The story's good, everything's good. I can't make people, you know, engage and interact during these streams. I've tried. You know, I ask you, like, I don't know what to say, man. Broken. It's just but in half. Half a key. Perhaps we can find its partner. By the way, no one is talking in my chat for three minutes. I don't know if it froze or if you guys just aren't talking for three minutes. That'd be excessive, no? No, it's not moving. Three minutes, no talk. Interesting. Whatever. I'll keep playing. I don't know what's going on. My stream looks like it's still going. 
You guys are going to sleep. God of sleep. It's God of war, not God of sleep. Now no one's talking again. The stream chat just keeps dying and stop. people aren't talking at a time. The same. Tales of time travel always strain credulity. It is the truth. The threats of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic. Nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Know what? We'll finish this later. See where this goes. See you guys later. Yeah, that's the original God of War trilogy. He turned the power of the fates against Zeus. That's how he killed Zeus, right? Oh, we're back. We're back in the starter area. Cool. So the gates are all frozen shut now. You can't do those. That's where you landed. No wonder there's bits of tear statue all over the lake. So, if you remember in the first game, this is where you learn the ability to use the, the sonic arrows, and this makes a bridge here. But now I can't access that. I don't know if you can ever get there or not. Can we get down to that frozen lightning bolt right now? Maybe we can. Laughing Goat Simulator has reset for two months. It's been an epic two months. Any chance for a Goat Laugh emote in the future? Love your new perspective of owning memes. I didn't even know that the Goat Laugh was a meme. Everyone always said my, my, my laugh was, was ack, ack, ack. And then I was like, no, it's not. It sounds nothing like that. And now, apparently now it's a Goat Laugh. Which I'm still like, what does a Goat Laugh sound like? Roll! Oh my God! Did you see that? The game wouldn't allow me to do anything. I was winning. I was destroying them. All of a sudden, there was an in instant combo with three, like three hits at once, and I was nothing I could do to avoid it, even though I was rolling. Fuck you. No, that's not. That's not fair. Com that's not fair combat. That's called. Oh, look! It's, it's like a fucking insane bullshit trap to just hit you with everything at once. It's dumb as shit. <laughs> The combat is good, I agree. The one annoying thing about the combat is when you're fighting a bunch of enemies that all have super armor, and now you can't do your combos like you want. Like, they hinder your combos from coming out. It's like, why? The whole point is I want free-flowing combat. It's super fun. Why would you hinder that with everyone having super armor? It's pretty dumb in that regard. But outside of that, if you're getting into your combos and everything, it's pretty, pretty fun. Take it off, man. You've got this. What happened? I couldn't even see. I hate this shit. How was I supposed to know what to do when I can't see? Can't block. I tried. Yeah, it's bullshit. First of all, everything hits you for like half of your health, which makes no fucking sense. Then I get hit by shit I can't see. Can't block, can't parry. And then he's an unblockable. I dodge it. Oh, he hit you anyway. No, no, he didn't. You did a stupid area of effect attack that shouldn't have been that good. It's broken bullshit. By the way, I hope it saved my progress. Why is he getting to run away? I'm doing my fucking rage attack. Yeah, this is bullshit. He gets to run away from your rage? Oh, that's fair. I, there's no way to see the attack coming. This is dumb.
Watch yourself. Another one of these, huh? Of course! Oh, that makes total sense. It makes total sense you're fighting one big enemy and multiple little enemies spawn in the background that you can't see and snipe you. It's not my fault. The game is a piece of fucking shit. They are morons. Fun and fair challenging gameplay, my ass. <laughs> Every time I died, something like that. It's never a head-up fight. It's always bullshit. Can't fucking see anything. Again, behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. Fuck you. Stop it with the behind you. Stop spawning enemies behind me. Behind you, behind you. Watch yourself. What the fuck? I was in the middle of my attack. Are you serious? Fuck you. Oh, behind you! <laughs> there. Sad to see Fuck off. In such a terrible Got state. him. You know, Hello, only fear of death. How are you today? Project Hill Mary feels I'm doing a good job with the playthrough. I appreciate that. Are you blind? The war, <clears throat> and I can't. I can't do more than two major games at once. I'm already going to be juggling both Pokemon as well as Modern Warfare 2 on the late streams. There's just no time for another a fifth game in the rotation, okay? So that's what we're working on. I'm not saying I will never play Need for Speed. I'm saying right now it makes absolutely no sense. By the way, there's another game out tomorrow, uh, Midnight Suns, that I'm also skipping. There's just too much coming out at once. This is a problem every year. All these game developers literally sit on their games when there's no excuse for them to all come out within the same month, and then they all do. Just take a look at the last 30 days. The insane amount of games that have come out in the last 30 days. It's, there's no excuse for it besides, oh, we want artificial holiday sales. And there's no way someone could play it all. So I got to wait. And what we'll do is we'll play through this. We'll play through Callisto Protocol. We'll do Pokemon. We'll do Modern Warfare 2. When games start completing, we'll look into to adding more to the rotation. But now we got more coming out in another two weeks. There's two other games I'm interested in. So we'll see. Need for Speed is not a no. It's a maybe, but definitely a not at release because there's no time. Okay? <clears throat> now... I received a $5 tip from Rowan. It says, climb it back up to where you fought the stalker. Now there should be a poem and a chest. I don't know what a stalker is. What is a stalker? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. What the fuck? I was in the middle of my attack. Ah, we do have new stuff here we haven't done yet. Oh, hello. Oh, we have two of these now. How did that hit me? Are you crazy? I totally dodged it. It's too fast. Use your shield. I can't move. Now, is this where we came from, or... It says it's right here. Ah. Oh, no. 
One of those assholes is gonna come out of here. Get ready for a super boss, guys. I see it. You're on fire, Kratos. It will pass. <laughs> I can't freeze this guy at all. I don't know why I got hit. He was attacking. I rolled backward. They said he hit me even though I was rolling. Sure, whatever you fucking say. We could have thrown our axe from super high up and hit him if we had known he was here. But we didn't know he was here. It is not on fucking easy. And if you say it one more fucking time... And you lie to my audience, you will be permanently banned from the chat. The game is not on easy, you stupid piece of shit dunce who wants to discredit anyone who plays the game on normal. It's on normal. Deal with it. If you don't like it, fuck off and don't come back. I'm never going to put up with that ever again. Every person who says it's on easy is just gone for good. I'm tired of it. You're such, it's such, it's so disrespectful to say shit like that. It really is. I'm sure you want to do this. Oh, that's fair. We need you. Here we go again with the bullshit, right? Here we go again with the bullshit. I'm parrying everything, I'm comboing everything. Oh, you can't have free-flowing combos. You know, guys are just gonna keep appearing behind you. Uh. Lore? Wow, that was it? That's kind of lame. We did all that just to find out that Sigrin, who was the head of the Valkyries in Freya's stead, actually had fallen in love with someone who everyone was telling her, no, this guy's crazy. You know, don't do it. This guy's nuts. You know, don't be a part of this guy. You don't want to fall in love with this guy. And everyone was like, it's going to be bad. She said, no, no, no. I still love the guy. There's nothing I can do about it, right? Come to find out, he's a mad king. He tries to invade. He kills her whole family. So, her brother kills him. And then she's like, well, I'll curse my brother for killing him. When in reality, she was just doing the right thing. So then she becomes a Valkyrie to a tone. Pretty messed up story. Cat, you need to get out now. That place is toxic. All right. Anyway, let's save up next time around. I guess we will do the final piece of armor that we have the, the quest for. And then after that, we head on to the story. That was fun. That was like two hours of side content, right? This is good. I like how when these side content areas open up, how you can really like dive into them. And you can find all this stuff all in one smaller area. <clears throat> it's quite fun. All right, guys. That was great. I hope you guys had a good time. I Again, I really like the game. I have no complaints. I'm having a great time with it. Uh, it's unfortunate. It is my least viewed game right now. I don't really care. I'm going to keep playing it this holiday season and enjoy it in its fullest. Take my time, do side content and all of that. Um, so thank you to everyone who is here live. Thanks to those who continuously watch this on demand on YouTube. I appreciate that. Remember, great way to help out the channel will be liking those videos, leaving comments on them for engagement purposes, even though I realize it is one of my least, uh, least attended projects i'm still having a great time with it so thank you all and uh, until next time sound good awesome
Hello everyone and welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. Last time around, if you remember, we were in the Lake of Nine and man did we do a significant amount of side content, right? Like we found all For every time we go out. Again. Blah, blah, like, blah 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 blah. The hell are you talking about? Blah 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 blah. Check at the firing range. Blah 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 blah. And she goes on and on. <clears throat> Make steak sandwiches instead. Not in the mood for steak sandwiches. King's Grave. Hi, asshole. Oh, it's a big boy. Incoming fire. Oh, you fuck face. They're all behind me. What the hell? Did you see that combo? They hit like seven times. That's bullshit. This is complete nonsense. So what happened is they came in behind me and hit one, two, three, four. The game would not let me dodge, parry, or do anything. It was a non-stop combo that took my entire health bar. That was incredibly stupid. I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors. I'm warm. That was incredibly no, stupid. Not stupid. <laughs> Something in here is giving it power. Oh, look at this. What's my favorite thing about the game so far? Oh, oh man, there's a lot to like about the game. It's hard to really put my finger on one thing. The graphics are outstanding, the story is good, the combat's much better than the first game, I feel. A lot of improvement. Sword. Brother, I know that sword helps. Tread carefully. What are the enemy types that talk like a, make me talk like a country boy? We're talking about them Bifrost boys coming out from the hills and come down to whoop your old Kratos ass. <laughs> chat um because i do see that a couple people are talking and i can't tell directly like for example size is awesome what do you talk to your assassin's creeds i don't know if you're talking to me or not if you're talking to me <clears throat> i would say assassin's creed 2 and brotherhood are my two favorites but then after that i would probably say like assassin's creed 4 and then recently i really liked odyssey yeah oh yeah i was right fuck this game piece of shit game and now i don't care i'm just gonna kill the one guy and i'm gonna leave fuck this this game sucks Seriously, it's fucking stupid as shit. What the fuck? Oh, a checkpoint? What's that? I never heard of a checkpoint in 2018. Do the whole fucking mission over. Fuck your mother. Lazy ass game development. Target is the fort, which is also in Smuggler's Forest. This game fucking sucks. I'm sorry, it just does. Why would you have a quest where half the quest is level 33 and the end of the quest is level 35? You have to be a fucking, a complete fucking idiot to make a quest like this. What a bunch of dumb fuck game developers. And I mean that. You are stupid as fuck. Oh my god, you are dumb. What a dumb game. Now I gotta turn around and go all the way fucking back. I've been doing side quests for eight hours. I live so Well, you're supposed to be doing side quests. I've been doing side quests for eight fucking hours, genius. <laughs> Fuck this stupid shit. That is the dumbest shit. It really is. And I had the whole fort beat. I needed to kill one more guy, but it just kept spawning fucking mercenaries on top of my fucking head. Endless, en endless amount of mercenaries while I'm trying to kill the captains. Go fuck yourself. Absolutely terrible. Terrible, get terrible fucking game design. Moronic. Why would you even have a quest with three parts if the third part isn't scaled with the other two parts? It doesn't make any logical fucking sense at all. <clears throat> yeah, Voltage Max is bullshit. He says he would, he, I would have raised my rank in the Merc tier 2 if I could finish that. I know, it's not my fault. It's not my fault at all. It's stupid game design. Just really poorly made game. Yeah, how dumb can you be? Not only, okay, the quest starts level 33. The enemies then go up to 35 for no fucking reason. Oh, you keep... Killing the guys you need to kill, but they keep endlessly spawning more. What the fuck? Like, that's game design from, like, the the 80s. Seriously, this is rid absolutely ridiculous. The friggin' the leader of, of Kythera, or whatever that, that island was, that ends up being a cultist. The friggin' uh, the, the weird-ass dude who wanted to sleep with you the whole game. And now, this random woman. Everyone is, sleep, sleep with me, sleep, sleep with me, have sex with me, sleep with me. What the fuck kind of game is this, man? Like, I'm seriously, like, I'm actually angry. 
I'm 37 years... I'm 36 years old, I guess. I thought I was 37. I'm 36 years old. I don't need to be constantly bombarded with this stupid shit. <laughs> That's not what I play the game for. Oh, my God. God! Swaggin says the devs are all virgins. Which is good, because we don't need their kids to grow up and make shit games. Ha ha ha! Oh my god. Seriously, what the fuck did they do the game like this for? It's ridiculously out of control. It actually pisses me off. It's like my one, one of the major complaints I have. Alright, yeah, I can find proof of Cleon's corruption right here. It's right next to me, so I might as well do it. Welcome to the stream. How are you today? Will I shave my head and work out hard and look like Kratos? Freya. Oh, I don't know about that. Thank you for your help. I know this. Origins was good, but I, I definitely liked, um... Oh, shit. Origins was good, but I definitely enjoyed, uh... Honestly, better. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> yes. I feel like Odyssey, Assassin's Creed Odyssey perfected the formula of Origins, and I feel like <clears throat> Valhalla just kind of like drove it into the ground. <clears throat> Interesting. Brother, over here. Come get me. I want none of this. So, it's made of kelp. A kelpie. Get it? That's weird. A horse made of like seaweed. What the heck? Okay, I didn't know about this part of the mythology. Uh, sure. All right. What the heck? A pig with a party hat. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. Ziggy Piggy. This also means the two gravestones that we found uh, in Alfheim's desert, right? Also, we're going to have something going on with them. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. You fucker! God damn, you saw that damage? Oh my god, I was right there. Alright. I'm gonna revive. I'm not gonna revive. I'm gonna try again. I was right there on the health, too. This thing... I couldn't dodge. It did nothing. 
After the first hit, there was no ability to do anything. Lame. Lame, because after the first hit, why am I in stun lock and you get a free hit after? That's bullshit. That is stupid shit. I fucking pressed parry. That's the fucking work though, and it's not coming out. Yeah. It's ignoring my input. No fucking parry. There's nothing I can do. She has super armor and she interrupts the combo. I have to be able to interrupt my own combo and parry and the game won't let me. Come on. <laughs> I'm parrying. I'm parrying the fucking move every time. And sometimes it works and half the time it's like, no. Get a free one to two hit combo after, even though I parried it. Stupid. <clears throat> there you go. Super armor can't do anything about it. Harry didn't work, and she gets a free hit. Now I can't fucking dodge. What happened? I never did that. Fucking bullshit. I never rolled like that. <clears throat> I rolled backward, but the game rolled me into the wall. So now she's going to get a free stab after. Yeah, this is very annoying. It's just as annoying as the Valkyrie fights because the game wants to be like Dark Souls in a lot of ways. But sadly, I, I feel like, I don't know. It doesn't feel like everything is as precise as you want it to be. Like, why the hell can't I parry that yellow move every time? I'm doing the same timing every time I do it. I just rolled. I rolled again. Roll! He won't roll. I'm in the middle. It's like, what do you want me to do? You have to roll. And he won't roll. It's like, I'm doing a combo. Well, now you're committed forever. Well, what, if she has super armor, then there's no way to avoid it. If I can't interrupt my moves, she'll always be able to do a super armor move through my combo. You don't need it. This is how you don't play a video for this playthrough. Just fucking watch it raw and just see how bad I am at this. Like, I'm sucking so hard, dude. What is happening here today? Usually I'm better than this. What? A full, an instant, unblockable knockdown move. Instant, unblockable, no way to dodge it. This is fucking dumb, man. I wasn't getting too greedy. When has she ever done that before? She never did that unblockable from in from close range like that before. I roll. Can't roll. She gets two stabs. So the game won't fucking roll. Oh, 
Won't roll. That's twice. Won't roll. She gets a double stab. I didn't do anything wrong. I rolled. And the game gave her a double stab. What did you do? Because it's just nuts that it's always something. There's always something, you know? And... Double stab again! At any time, she could do the double stab. And if the first one hits, the second one connects. It's a two-hit combo. And you, it interrupts everything you do. <laughs> it's the dumbest fight ever because there's no skill to it. It just... If she just happens to interrupt your combo, you're just dead. So just expect it. Just expect she's gonna interrupt and you just lose. I rolled! Nope, game says you didn't roll. Now I didn't parry according to the game. Fuck this. Fuck this stupid bullshit. Quit the game. Fuck this. Just restart the checkpoint. It won't do it now. Now I won't even parry your roll. Is Everything's late. Okay. I'm just gonna quit. Can't roll. Are you shitting me? No roll again. Right in the middle of me stunning her after the parry, she decides I'm going to do the super armor move. Uninterruptible two hit combo. Unbelievable. Right in the middle of me punishing her after a parry, does an uninterruptible two hit combo. <laughs> Fucking die! Jesus, fuck! No parry! Fuck this! <laughs> I activated rage for absolutely no reason. You knew this warrior. Do me a favor, brother. Okay. That was really stupid. Seriously, that was just so the only time the enemy can ever hit you is because it has a super armor move that it can activate even when stunned. So, I parry, which is supposed to stun. Okay, time to do a combo. I hit it once or twice. I'm committed to the combo now. Oh, I'm just going to do super armor move. Boink, boink, boink. Huh? <clears throat> How is that? That's not even fun or fair combat. That's just... Okay, we're going to just give our character a super armor move that goes through everything, and it can activate it at any time that will hit you two to three times and down you. So, that's stupid shit. <clears throat> Very similar to the Valkyrie fights in, in God of War 2018... The game thinks it's Dark Souls, and it's not. It has a lot of shortcomings when it comes to the fights like this, because it really thinks that it knows what it's doing, and it doesn't. No, having a random move, it can interrupt anything with that does a two-hit combo that downs Kratos is not a good, a good attack pattern for the boss. It's cheesy. It's lame, it's unfair, and it's stupid. So. Okay. The chat is completely silent. The game is so riveting that my stream chat has completely clammed up and not a single person has typed anything for three minutes. That's remarkable. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? Sucks. I had her almost a full stun. I got screwed over. Oh, she did a super armor attack. They're right in the face. Laugh. Oh, she had a mule kick. Oh, I parried. And she still hit me anyway. I parried and she still hit me after the parry. Hey, try sticking your hand in that prize he turned out to be, huh? Loosen it up. Time to steal my 
my kitchen. Mythical, please leave and don't come back. You're seriously a jerk. I've had enough of you. Bye bye. So we already did all this. Nothing else down there. Just optional. You mean it finally happened? Mythical's been banned like 27 times. The dude keeps coming back and then doing the same annoying, insulting shit over and over. And I put up with him and then he comes back again. He'll be back tonight. He'll definitely be back tonight with another account. I have no doubt in my mind he'll be returning tonight. He said, get him out of here, get him out of here, get him out of here. The camp were twice as alarmed to see Block than they were to see you. They did seem surprised. We know why. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. So, remember, he's dead. Sindri had told Atreus that he's dead. He had died, and then he went to the afterlife and pulled his soul basically out of, um, out of the afterlife, but he didn't get all the pieces. So Brock is basically a zombie. And, uh, of course they're going to be shocked now, to see him alive, right? They're like, what the hell? He died. He is dead. That's why Brock is blue. Perhaps there'll be a quest later in the game to get the rest of his pieces out of the afterlife or something. That would kind of be interesting. Ah, promising. Hero, yeah, it was explained in the story earlier. When uh, when Atreus and Sindri were together on one of their, their trips, and Sindri explained to Atreus that Brock was dead. Um, that's what he explained to him. That's why his, his skin is blue. Hey, he's actually a zombie. I got crank cover. You do the other stuff. What? If the angle you needed to find was down there, you'd have found it already. Hold on. Where'd he go? Wait, am I stuck down here now? Oh. Hero says maybe that's why Sindri doesn't want Brock to meet the lady. I think you're right. I think she's going to recognize that he's blue and undead. And she's going to freak out. And be like, oh shit, Like, what happened to you? <laughs> no! No! What's happened? Was that? Like they weren't even here. Because he's not. He's dead, so she doesn't see him. Speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically. You might be missing. Ah. He just learned something, which we already knew. Fuck! Oh, incoming! Above you! Oh, come on, exploded. The stupid eyeball exploded. That was annoying. I'm having fun. And, oh, here we go. Just blow everything up on me. I have not ignored ignore chat for two hours. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I ignore the chat. Right. Well, guys, this is the perfect opportunity for us to save up. It looks like what we're going to be doing is going down this way. And next time around, we continue from where we left off. If you're continue on, I guess we'll have to talk. What do you want to do? Do you want to see me focus on story? Should I go back now and backtrack and take on all the bosses? Uh, the optional bosses at the gravestones? Should I look for these wind areas and open those up and see what's behind them? There's so much to do. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Until next time. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. And what a momentous day we have today. Because folks, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, totally gay. I'm fully out of the closet, as you guys know. I'm out of the closet. <laughs> fully out of the closet. We got a spear. What is the name of the spear? It's the memory ain't so bad. It's pretty bad, but it ain't that bad. I remember it. Rats. It's called the drop near spear. That kind of rhymes. The drop near spear. Drop near. I wonder what the what the the lore of that is. Drop near?
the drop near spear. Anyway, first of all, we have a new amulet we can equip, right? And I'm wondering, should I go luck of 10? Let's see here. Defense of 10. Strength and defense. Defense and strength. Wait a minute. We have one, two, three, four, five. We could do the whole Svartalheim set. Oh, wait a minute. Increase stun damage inflicted based on your defense. So now we have two sets that are that are here. And then we have defense. Here we go. What else do we want to equip? Something that's going to buff defense, probably. Here you go. <clears throat> defense. What's up, Matthew? Appreciate it. He says, the Lord of Norse mythology is very interested in the game of being a fan of the Marvel Universe. Does help me give me more knowledge of the lore. Well, there you go. I don't think we need to talk to him. We already talked to him. And we'll continue to do so just as long. <laughs> Take that shit, motherfucker. All right, guys, so I'm back, and I apologize. That last video was, what, three minutes long? I'm sure people will watch that in, like, ten seconds. Um... Obviously, I had a mic malfunction. I'm not going to keep playing the game with no mic. So I had to pause the cutscene. It looks like Kratos is about to speak with Odin. So let's see what happens here. Yes, I return to Asgard sometime soon. Oh, Where'd he go? What the hell? Oh, this is... He ruined... He wasted my whole thing. Oh, my God. He could just fly into the sky like an asshole. And he's invincible when he does it. So he's easy to kill. But... Whenever he does that attack, you just gotta dodge because there's nothing you can do. He's gonna he's gonna track you, and you just have to run away like a bitch. You can't just run in and kill him like you want to, because he has an attack where he just flies into the sky and interrupts everything you do. Completely stupid. It's like no, I'm dominating you. Why do I have to run like a bitch now? Right? Just because the game decides. Oh, I want to give this guy an attack that he fucking just flies away like an asshole, right? Why did the parry not fucking work? I timed it exactly the same as every other time. It doesn't want to work. <clears throat> this is fucking just fucking parry. <laughs> just do the parry. It's so simple to do in this game. Oh, we're not going to give it to you this time. Oh, okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Ready yourself, worm. I rolled it still hit me anyway. Can't parry now. Can't parry now. Fuck this. The mechanic just decides not to work. Right in the middle. And the other thing that's stupid about these berserker fights, you parry, and sometimes it works, and sometimes you still parry, but he's not stunned. So now I'm just going to do a super armor attack right through you. I'm gonna die. Oh my fucking fuck this fucking piece of shit. What a piece of fucking dog shit. Come on. I'm just gonna go through every weapon and fuck him up with all the attacks. Enough of fucking around. He's pissing me off. 
Dude, he's not tough. He's just—it's just the game is annoying as fuck in this combat. I'm gonna feel the Already, I parried nothing. Fuck your mother. Harry! Oh my god. No parry again. Harry, thank you. Harry, thank you. Wow, it actually comes out. I fucking dominate the guy. What a shot. Parry doesn't parry at the end. Doesn't fucking parry when I fucking pushed it. Fuck you, Leo, man. We need you. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> what a dumb mechanic that it just doesn't want to work. It just doesn't want to fucking work when I'm doing it. <clears throat> oh my god, it's pathetic. <laughs> Terrible gameplay. Absolutely terrible. Why did you do no damage? You notice that? Oh, no, I couldn't parry. It wouldn't let me parry. The, the, the rage literally did nothing. If you didn't notice, the rage did no damage. For some reason, the Rage had a completely different property. It was doing no damage to his health bar or nothing. It was like, I, I might as well not have done it. It didn't give me health back either. So it's like the Rage just had no effect on him. Okay. Fall before me! The Alpha! Can't parry two hits, doesn't work. Now it hits me even though I dodge it. No parry again. No parry again. Even though I did it with exactly the same timing. I could obviously be beating him just with one revive. I shouldn't have to revive. The game mechanic should work. It should parry when I fucking push it and it doesn't. It's pathetic. It won't fucking do it. Wow, you're pathetic. <laughs> Oh, come on! Now I just lost a giant chunk of health. What happened to my. Where did all my health go? Nope, it did parry. No, it didn't. <laughs> Yo, it's so bad. It won't, it just won't do the basic move you do over and over. It refuses. And some of the moves change properties. For some odd reason. I'm in the middle of doing the move. And it fucking, sometimes it'll do it insane damage. Other times it'll do nothing. Why do the moves change properties mid-fight? It's shit, man. Triple fucking parry, you son of a bitch. 
The roll didn't work. What the fuck? Fuck this. I give up. The last hit, it doesn't want to work. Fuck this game. No, fuck you trying to be like Dark Souls and your mechanics don't fucking work. Sometimes the dodge has invincibility frames, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the parry works perfectly, sometimes it doesn't. I give up. I'm just gonna fucking revive. I, why, why try to do it? Right? Why even bother? No point. Before, there was nothing to be done. Finding that hill changed things. A fight that literally should not be hard if the fucking... If the fucking mechanics worked right. And they half the time they don't. I'm literally doing the same timing every time. And sometimes the parry works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes my rage works. Sometimes it has zero effect on him. Well, I didn't make the game. So, sorry, I can't make those fights work better. Of every, I think that's the weak point of the game is those fights. Really. Because, again, they, want, they so desperately want to be like Dark Souls. And they're not. Because the mechanics fail. It just shows the shortcomings of the game engine, quite frankly. Is this the, the dwarven town here? It is. Be on guard. I haven't cleared this area. This is going to take us back to the dwarven town, I believe. Okay. Carligus has swapped to the Dauntless Shield. It has the best parry window. Yeah, but I don't care about that. I, it should just parry when I do it. Really, it should just work. And it doesn't, and that's sad. Who's that over there? Oh, here we go. It's almost as if he plays games to have fun. Guess what? Wrong. Damn, this guy got completely demolished. A million visual effects. Oh, you fucker. I can't dodge any of the fucking projectiles. Every single one of them. Gee, thanks, Freya. Thanks for getting my back there, you stupid idiot. I really appreciate that. Well, that was a waste of time. I gotta do the whole fucking thing over. Why did they turn me around? <laughs> they turned me around. Oh, why is this game gotta annoy me? I thought I was gonna have so much fun today. Right? I'm like, oh, this is great. I got the spear. No, it's gotta, it's gotta do really annoying what things to piss me off. I thought you... Frodo the Third, could you please shut up? Thanks. You're, you're being stupid. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. No one cares. Okay. Oh, everything's unblockable that he does. Jeez. Everything's unblockable and we have no revive. This is not good. Like, nothing dealt damage to him. You notice that? Nothing hurt him. That was not good at all. I get the feeling we can't fight this guy yet. Or, because he's red, maybe his pure weakness is the ice. Dude, I can't even get out of his way. What the hell? Jesus. 
the eye things are healing him? Aren't they? I thought I killed the eye things. That one's dead. Where's the other? There are no other eye things. Oh, they are spawning. Look at that. So the eye things keep spawning out of the hole and they heal him. Oh shit. You've got this. Where's the eye? What I don't like is you're stuck in this tiny spot to fight him, yet you can't parry because it's red attacks and you dodge and it hits through your dodge anyway. It's like that's incredibly stupid. <clears throat> How did that hit me? I'm not even near him. Got you, motherfucker. And that's how it's done. What was that about people saying I should leave and level up more and come back? What was that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck that guy. <laughs> it's beautiful from up here. That's exactly what I thought. Fuck that shit. Think I'm gonna push out? I don't think so. So this used what you guys get. So what you guys get for making fun of me for ten straight years saying I'm bad at games. Now it's all coming back. <laughs> Comes back to bite you right in the butt. Why don't you level up and come back? Uh, then I wouldn't be the god of war, would I? I'd be the god of pussing out and running away. Sorry. <laughs> now. Oh god, another diary. Dear diary, today my balls dropped for the first time. I'm a real man. I wonder where the healer was. Ormstunga? The fuck does that mean? Uh-oh. Whoa! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Shit. This might be tough with no health. It's fast. I think that's its gimmick is that it's fast, right? He has zero health and the game wouldn't let me block. I didn't try to parry. I was just trying to block because they were yellow attacks. It let him attack through my block for no reason. That's not a guard break attack. Why did he go through my shield? You fucking piece of shit. Woohoo! I gotcha! And we needed the spear to do them. But I guess, should we fight the berserker? Alright. <laughs> All right, let's fight the fucking berserker. Hold on. <laughs> Stupid berserker, you know how annoying it's gonna be. Just get ready. Prepare to be frustrated. Hold on, I'm gonna crack my knuckles before we do it. <sighs> okay, are we ready? <clears throat> Here we go. Oh. What is what the hell? He took my whole fifty percent health with one hit. Come on. 
I don't like that he teleports so much. What? He is an annoying asshole because he fucking just stays away and throws projectiles. He almost does no melee attacks at all. No, this one doesn't seem more difficult. It just seems annoying because he stays away. I think I have to hit him with every special attack to stun him. I rolled nothing. What happened? I don't even know what happened. He did an attack. I rolled through it. The game says, no, it hit you anyway. No, it didn't. I rolled through it. He was about to get stunned. And then all of a sudden, he teleports to me. I do my special attack. And for some fucking reason, I'm dead instantly. Okay. The added gamer did a super chat as you try to poison armor. My hand's not even on the controller. You should. But wait, there's more! You try the poison armor again. You can turn guide on a menu for next objective on the menu. Okay. I don't know. Poison armor, I don't know what that means. Uh. I don't know why I would need a guide. I don't know what you're talking about, Attic Gamer. Thank you for the super chat, but I have no clue what you're speaking of. Or why you think I would need it. Okay, try again. Uh, an anonymous gifter who gifted us up to handheld fat guy. His attacks are super annoying. Super annoying. Off your back. So I think the blades are the best. I don't think that the axe does much. I think the blades seem to be doing the best damage to him. So I'm going to start with... Uh... I, why can't I dodge that exactly? I want to know why I can't dodge it. I have moves that have super armor, and he ignores them and punches through them and does full Can't damage, do which is bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, I dodged him that time. You can't roll forward. It doesn't work. Devil, you cannot roll forward through those projectiles. They hit you every time. I dodged once, but I don't know if I dodged side or back. You can't roll forward, though. Come on, Kratos, Which is weird, because it looks like you should roll forward. It totally looks like you should roll forward to pass through them and get to them. Like in Dark Souls. Nope, that doesn't work. Mo AI did a super chat. He says, enemies teleporting around ruins the combat. It's an easy way to give enemies and bosses artificial difficulty and challenge. I agree. Why is it if, you're on to if you are able to mob them and you're doing big combos and you're stopping them, Oh, well, give him a, a get-out-of-jail-free card, right? It's like an instant escape-everything button. Yeah. Blades and Spears do the most damage in this, says Rashawn. This is going from the blade to the spear seems to work. Okay. Yes, terrible at games. I understand he's higher level than me. You can stop spamming the chat. I get it. You don't have to tell me 400 times. I'm going to still fight him. I don't care that he's higher level than me. Okay. Oh, he's higher level and you don't do Wow, so I can't fight him? He's, have I ever backed down from fighting something in a game that's higher level than me? Oh, 
was that? But that was different. I guess he has different ones. One he throws the four that come at you. That one was just a direct lightning bolt oh down God. into my body. Hmm. All I gotta do is figure out how to avoid the attacks. What the hell? What happened? I got stunned, nothing hit me. Again, nothing's touching me. Uh, nothing is touching me, and I keep getting stunned. Me thinks they don't know how to program boss fights. I keep getting stunned when there's fucking nothing connecting with my body. <laughs> That's delightful. Delightfully bad. Yeah, I do agree Freya seems pretty useless in this one. Bullshit. Now you got all the stun gone because he hit me once. Oh, fuck you. So I had him almost fully stunned. He does a move that I dodge. It hits me through the dodge and he loses. He gets his whole stun recovered. So the good news is the spear stuns him a lot and it looks like that's what you want to go for. Again, how do I fucking dodge this? These I can dodge, they're side rolls. How am I stunned? I was getting him. It's dumb because I'm hitting him and the game says he's hitting me. No, I'm hitting him, you fucking piece of shit. Stop that nonsense with, oh, he absorbs everything and attacks right through. No, fuck you. Allow me to stun him like should have happened before. I rolled and I get stuck. How do you fucking dodge that? There was no attack animation. It was him dodging. His dodge animation hit me and killed me. Dodge, 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 dodge. Stunned for no reason. And I can't unstun. Nasty, hey. You all right, brother? Is that all? Whenever he does that shockwave, it hits me no matter what. I can't dodge it. Whenever he does that, that quick shockwave move, I have no way to avoid it from what I can see. I don't know if you can block it. How would you block that with a shield if it's on the ground? It hits me every time. Look, now I can't get to him because he keeps teleporting. Look, I waste my whole rage because all he does is teleport around the arena and you can't do anything about it. What a dog shit fight this is. What a waste of time. Dude, what a dog shit fight. How is that a fair fight? I could just simply just keep dodging. Oh, you can't hit me. La, 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 la. It's infinite. Waste my whole rage. What a piece of shit. What a piece of shit. That was terrible, dude. What a, what a horrible fucking boss. Fuck your mother. I couldn't do anything about that. Alpha. 
Oh, I was doing good. I'm learning the parry timing. I'm gonna die to that every time because I don't know how to dodge it. But I'm getting real close. I'm gonna beat it. I know the parry timing. The parry timing is easy on the lightning bolts. The tricky part is his unblockable. I can't figure out how to get away from the unblockable. Yeah. The spear is really good against him. The spear is like significantly good against him, so. Why didn't I block? All I need to do there is block. I fucked up. Where is it? I still got hit? Oh, that's bullshit. The camera rotated so I didn't know where he was. He does the move that I, can't, I have to dodge sideways and I can't dodge sideways. I can't see it because the fucking camera rotated. The camera killed me. The good news is I'm definitely going to beat him. I'm learning his patterns. But the bad news is that's super fucking annoying that that can happen, that the camera can rotate and fuck you up. Oh, come on! Look at his stun bar. You fucking cheating asshole. That's bullshit. What happened? Nothing hit me. Nothing hit me. No attack came out. Nothing hits me. I get stunned. That is annoying bullshit. At least legitimately hit me. At least legitimately get your hits in. Don't fucking pull out that bullshit. I can't run. It wouldn't run. I let I clicked in the thumbstick, nothing happened. Alright, fuck this. It's not even worth it. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't even run, so without running, I'm not gonna dodge the lightning. That was asinine. Just give me a fucking move that's a basic move in the game. <laughs> no running. No running allowed. <clears throat> I'm stunned. Kick it out. Kick it out. Nothing I can do. Fuck this. Fuck your bullshit stun move that I can't interrupt. Why the fuck can't I interrupt it? He gets to float and he's invincible. Like, I can't do anything. That's not fair. The problem is I want to run around the arena. And every time I try, half the time he won't run. So I can't dodge the running, uh, the bullshit lightning attack. My dodge doesn't work, even though I've dodged that numerous times before. The move stops working. No dodge, or no a parry. Parry won't work. Where did he go? Oh my god, he fucking disappeared on the screen. His shield was up. I Dude, if the mechanics, again, if the mechanics don't work, I can't win. 
the mechanics will stop working in the middle of the fight. And then I lose. I can't win if the game doesn't work. Why? He had the fucking shield up. He punched right through it as if I didn't have it up. Can't roll. Fuck this. Dude. Again. If the game mechanics don't consistently work, I will never win the fight. And they don't. Every time, the run won't come out. Some For some reason, the parry doesn't work. Even though the parry timing is fucking piss easy in this game. It's like, just give me my game mechanic. And they're not consistent. It's actually sad. Because the fight isn't that hard. I fought way worse in, in you know, Elden Ring and shit. But the fucking mechanic won't come out right. The controls fucking suck. Just consistently work, man. Oh my god. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a headache. I'm gonna have a headache. Because it won't fucking work right. And it's pissing me off. I know how to beat the guy. I know how to counter all of his attacks now. But the controls don't consistently work. So I can't win. Nothing I could do. Absolutely nothing I could do. Absolutely not a thing to do. I. Still hits me even though I fucking dodge. Oh my god. He did the other one. I thought he was going to do the tracking lightning. It didn't revive. Brother, what? I held <laughs> I held square. It didn't revive. Yo, I held square and it didn't revive. I held it. What the fuck? Just kill me. I was running full speed. It still hit me anyway. Just kill me. I was running full speed. It still hit me anyway. I immediately got hit instantly. I couldn't do anything. I'm gonna try the shield again, but I got fucked at the beginning there. How? I don't even understand. I'm running full speed, and now, you know what? Just kill me. I'm running full speed, and now I can't dodge it anymore. I was always dodging that attack by running full speed before. Now, all of a sudden, it stopped working completely. That's two runs in a row where it just doesn't want to work now. I can't, I can't dodge. On, or, excuse me, I can't, yeah, I can't avoid it. Couldn't parry, I tried, didn't fucking work. Whoa, I whiffed! I mean, that worked, like, for that combo. That worked nice. Nah, I'm dead here. I do it, I, if I use the shield, I'm gonna beat it. Because the parry is great. 
But the problem now is I have to find my openings to use it properly. See, like, I got a free... That was right there. I have to parry perfectly and then hit it again. And when you do a perfect parry, after that, you double tap. You get a huge combo after. Hmm. Well, I fucked that up. Man, I had it. If I had the second hit, that would have been beautiful. I couldn't even what happened I was mid rage I was mid rage and he hit me but you can't even take damage when you're in rage <laughs> interesting Oh, come on. I tried to parry. Come on, I was recovered, too. Fuck that. I dodged it a million times. Now it doesn't work. Do you see what I mean? It's not consistent. It's not consistent. And it frustrates me that the moves are not consistent. If I can dodge it eight times, why is it time nine and ten? I do exactly the same thing and that time it hits me. It should never hit me. Never. We Couldn't parry at all. Didn't work. Now I can't. Wow! He immediately tracked to where I was and did an instant lightning bolt. Come on. This is really frustrating that his attack properties change. It's not even consistent. It doesn't always hit you immediately. It gives you time to figure out what he's doing. Not that time. That time, immediate lightning bolt. Now you're stunned. Fuck you. Fuck you and your inconsistent gameplay. I dodged right there. I dodged through it. Didn't fucking do nothing. Come on. Of course, now he's gonna do the thing. So I'm not ready. Oh, fuck this. God damn it, dude. The thing is, I know I can beat him. I know I can beat him. He's not that hard. It's the controls that fuck me over, not the boss fight. It's the controls and the inconsistency of the game with hitting and stuff. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I probably gotta use the cannon. I haven't used the cannon at all for anything yet. Kevin Bear Jr. cheering and said, What's more likely? Every single game has bad controls or it's lack of skill and execution on my part? Definitely the controls. Are you out of your mind? The controls are so outdated. That's the problem here. We know that. You know that. Come on. Can't pair. No fucking parry follow up. Why? It's so easy. I fucking did it exactly the same as I always do. This is already done. This fight's done. This fight is done. I gotta do it all over. Fucking garbage. I had him. The game doesn't want to fucking do the inputs. Can't do anything. No inputs at all came out. Zero inputs.
The game is dead, it doesn't want to consistently fucking work. No, it won't hit, dude! It will not parry. I've done that a million times before. The game will not double parry now. Are you telling me that it changes the timing? Because it's the same timing I've done a million times and it won't work now. All of a sudden, it won't work. I can't parry at all. Dude, you see that? You saw the lady came out? You saw that, right? You saw twice I tried to parry, twice it didn't come out, and then the parry came out after the fact. <laughs> oh, sure. <clears throat> sure. And again, I know like an hour ago people tipped, and I'm still trying to fight this guy, guys. I'm going to do shoutouts when I beat him. Fuck this. It didn't parry again! It won't fucking do the second parry anymore! Like the game refuses to give it to me now. I went to get the health. I saw the health there. I was like, oh, I'm gonna go get it. And then he decides to do the tracking punch. Can't see. It's like the health on the ground is a trick. Like it is, it's like a trick. Because every time I see it, I'm gonna go for it. He teleports and does the tracking punch. So he waits for you to go to pick up the health, teleports and hits you when you're picking it up. Does it parry? Come on! Dodge doesn't dodge. Oh my god, it doesn't dodge. I'm doing the inputs, the game won't respond all of a sudden. It's not my fault if I get him down to that much and then the game won't respond. Multiple times it won't block or parry. I can't make it work. The game has too, so much going on on the screen that it basically decides a move's not gonna come out when it's critical for it to come out and win the fight. No parry again. What the fuck? It's the easiest two parry timing, man. Parry. It won't do the second parry now. It refuses to do the second parry, even though it's the same timing I've been doing the whole time. No parry at all. Nothing. Not even a block that time. No parry again. It won't let me get the two hit parry anymore. Now I'm dead, instantly dead. Oh. 
He decides to do a shockwave that, for some reason, the game will no longer let me dodge and instantly combos it into another projectile, which he's never done in the whole over hour I've been fighting him. He's never done that before. <clears throat> Can't, why can't I parry the second hit anymore? It never worked. I was doing it every single time before. I can't do it. It just doesn't work. I can't do it. I don't I can't parry the second hit. It won't let me do it. I seriously can't go parry parry anymore, which I was doing consistently before, no problem. It just doesn't work anymore. For some reason this time it tracks where I am and I can't outrun it. Hmm. Like I said, his attacks are not consistent. That's the problem. If they were always consistent, you could always avoid them. But their properties seem to fucking change inadvertently. I don't think they intended that. Can't do it. Doesn't work. I can't even I can't even parry the the projectiles consistently anymore. Even though it's the same fucking timing. First of all, he has no health, right? I'm not blind. He has no health and it never triggered the execution. And now it won't do it. <laughs> like this is insane. Right? Seriously. How is that fair? <laughs> How is that fair? It's like the game is determined to fuck me right now. It just doesn't want me to succeed. It just wants to piss me off. I couldn't block! No, oh my god he the camera pans back you can't see what he's doing instant instant lightning bolt can't dodge it i already beat him i already beat him he had zero health so i already beat the boss the game wouldn't trigger the fucking final execution i already beat him the fucking game is stupid Fuck you, fucking cheating shit. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck you. I didn't even revive. I've never heard of it. It was a peaceful kingdom full of artists and poets, but it fell for now. And I uh, keep going. Keep in mind, people are saying, don't fight that guy. He's too high level. Come back later. No, I refuse. I'm going to beat them all like that. I seriously am. I'm not going to give up. I'm just going to fight them until I win. And I will win. Fuck them. I'm stronger than them on the goddamn God of War, for God's sakes. <laughs> Look at this guy. Petrified bone and a luminous alloy. Is that it? 
No, as guardian ingot, we got all the good stuff. All right, ready for this? Yeah, do an amulet enchantment. You gotta be kidding me. Out of nowhere, one hit that does my whole health bar. What's up, Bruzy? How you doing? Wow, that was incredibly stupid. Congratulations, that was dumb. Good going. But, good exploration. Good fun today. I had a good time. I hope you guys did too. And I hope that you guys will join me next time around in a couple of days. Uh, it's actually it's three days because my day off is Wednesday. So actually three days for more God of War exploration with the spear. We're doing good. We're upgrading. We have a good loadout now with that giant rage bar now, which I really like. And cooldown is much lower now. So I'm having a good time. I think that you guys uh, hopefully are liking it. Thank you to those who did support the stream today as well. All right, guys. Thank you. Until next time in a few days. See ya soon for more God of War. Thanks. Everyone, welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. It has been several days since I played the game, and if you remember last time around, we went... Okay. Kagome, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to be here for things you're not interested in, my friend. You don't have to even tell me about it. You just don't have to show up. I hear you. Now everyone likes everything I do, man. With a view comes the ability to mark the passage of time and watch and... Perfect example. God of War Ragnarok today. This game's been out for a month, but because of the pacing that I play games, some people probably don't care about this anymore. And I hear you. If you don't want to be here for it, that's fine. You can still stay and chill with me. I'd be more than happy to talk with you and have a good time, even if you don't like the game. <clears throat> for me, I still like the game. I'm having a fun time with it. And uh, I hope that you would join me for it. But you don't have to. It's your prerogative. And thank you to those who are here. Enjoy it. Now, here's a door here. I'm getting... Let's do this again. By the way, I received a $3 tip from Size. Do you prefer this new Norse God of War or the old Greek games? The old, I mean, they're so different. The old Greek games were mostly just about the free-flowing combat, right? I would say these games are way more about the plot and character development and, and atmosphere and, you know, I like that a lot better than just a game that's all about the combat. Although I do really enjoy the combat of the old God of War games. They were pretty revolutionary at the time. Keep in mind, that was before Devil May Cry and all that shit, right? Wrong! Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. So I do like, uh... I like both, but I think I like this better. Okay. And I remember there's bushes to burn down there. But I want to at least give the Berserker a shot. If it says skulls, then fuck it. You know, we won't keep... Uh, if the game is literally going to say there's no chance, then I won't I won't mess with it. But let's just see what it is, okay? No, I never tried Chris Jericho's champagne. Hello, Nathan Wong. 
Oh, this is bad. Wait a minute, he has like no health. Look, he's low health. Whoa, did you know how much damage I just took? My problem is the damage I take. I actually deal good damage. You see that? Look at the damage. Look how much I dealt. I dealt really good damage to them. The problem is they hit me for like my whole energy bar. <laughs> I don't think there's a way I'm going to be able to beat them. See, I bet if I fought them one-on-one, -on -one, I could beat them. Because I could probably learn to parry. But how the hell are you going to do that? Right? Oh my god, one hit kill. My entire energy bar. I'll try one more time. The entire energy bar with one hit. Why, why do I have no rage? I had a full rage bar going in, it's all gone. I don't know what the hell just happened. Yeah. Without I the problem is the health. It's ridiculous. They could punch you for 90% damage and one more hit, you're done. The way I see it, if you could kill one, it's a manageable fight. But with the two, you're always going to get sucker punched from behind by the other, right? Let me try a different weapon. I'm just curious if anything has a different build up. Yeah, this is impossible. There's no way when they can one hit kill you that you're gonna win this. I could do damage. That's the good thing. You guys can't see because my, my camera's blocking it. I'm doing about a quarter health damage to one of them every time. But there's no way when you get when you just get jab killed, there's no way I'm gonna be able to win that. So that's definitely one I have to come back to later. Look, there's nothing fucking here. What are you talking about? <clears throat> nothing. Look. There's nothing. What the hell are you speaking of? There's no shortcut. <laughs> Where do you fucking see a shortcut? Look. Bottom left wall. What bottom left wall? Oh my god. Oh my god, I was supposed to see that? Do you use your eyes at all or are they do for decoration? With our adventuring friends here. Ah, people! Well, there it is. Shoop de boop, you are a liar. I think the uh, the PayPal link is working. I just Safe checked track. it myself. It's working perfectly fine. So you're yes, full of shit. We'll be moving along to and uh, since you're lying, you can now enjoy your ban because it works fine. Just wasting my time. Okay. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Don't you love that? Someone who's trying to be stupid and get attention on the stream and say sh dumb shit. It's completely false. All right. Yeah, you might find yourself uh, permanently banned. There's Kratos hitting those notes again, man. My son. I lost my son. <gasps> Why is the door a wall? What happened? What the heck? Did someone just trap him in the room? What is going on? 
Is he dreaming still, or what's happening? What is this crappy transition? What kind of transition was that? What? That was dumb. What did that wall ever do to you? Um, <laughs> that was really stupid. Something there was the... <laughs> that didn't make any sense. There work? was no wall there for Kratos. Not yet. All right. Uh, I received a $20 tip from One Minute Man. Thank you so much, One Minute Man, for your ongoing support of my streams. I really appreciate that. Especially on a day like today when you guys can see, uh, you know, just coming back from break. And God of War is a great playthrough. It's a great game. It's also a game I've been playing for over a month because it's so lengthy. And when you're playing a game for that long, uh, you're going to lose attention. You're going to lose, uh, you know, the amount of people watching. I get it. Uh, I knew having a game that was going to be probably a 50-plus hour playthrough, especially because I'm doing all the side content. Um that it was going to be incredibly slow near the second half of the game, which, yeah, it has been, okay? Um, I'm still loving it, though. <clears throat> and I'm definitely not going to give up on it. As I keep telling you guys, some people are like, oh, my God, Phil, you don't even hold 300 viewers on your streams for it. And I'm like, that's not what it's about. The game is great. The people that are here, we have a good chill time, right? And I'm going to keep it up. I mean, this likely is going to be not only in my game of the year countdown, but a, a contender for my game of the year. Yeah, I should probably stick with it. You know, I'm not just here to look for the most most crazy, uh, you know, uh, profitable, engaging stream. I'm here to have a good time with games overall. Many of you probably have already beaten the game or seen someone beat the game. You know, me being a variety content creator, I got to balance it with everything else I'm doing. That's essentially what I've done the whole time. It is what it is, right? Do you want me to beg? <laughs> By the way, minor spoiler alert, I think I know who this wolf is. Because I know Nordic, a little bit of Nordic lore from having played Assassin's Creed Valhalla in previous years. And in that plot line, there was a wolf that grew abnormally large. And it would be kind of funny to find this wolf in the afterlife. So I think I know who this is. Hint, hint, if I'm right. Hint, hint, hint. Look out! You're welcome, mangy mutt. Let's look in the chamber he was guarding. A dead end? Execute clown mode. Lassa. Rifa. Lassa. Okay, here we go. Rifa. Lassa Rifa. Lassa Rifa. Lassa Rifa. He's a hungry boy. Father! Off your back. Help Freya. That was rather to me. It's party time! Whoa! Spear impalement! We have new rage. Did you see what it said? We have a new rage ability with a spear. Spear time! Impale and slam! I love to impale you with my spear like this. Ooh, instant jet for you. How about one for you? Yes, to the chest and slam, slam. I love it. Come over here. I must charge the spear now. Yeah, combo. Oh, yes. I am from Sparta. I know how to use this. Ooh, fuck me. Behind. Unacceptable. Take the stabby. Enjoy your death. No. Yes, 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 and yes. And one more. Oh, you fucking Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, another impaling for you. Bye bye. Incoming. Incoming. Here's one that's incoming. Oh, yes. Oh, what happened? What the fuck? What just happened? Deactivate the clown mode. Oh. Now, why do you think they attacked? There was all a reason. And why did they only attack when Atreus was coming back? There's a reason. Something happened. Something just happened, and I don't know what. But there had to have been a reason for all of this. Again, if Odin... What just happened? 
is the biggest manipulator planner like we know him to be that everyone says he is, then something crazy just went down that we so we don't fault. know yet. So, we've been using Fury. I'll be honest, I didn't really like Valor because all it would do is give you a burst of health. So, Wrath, you could serve a chunk of Spartan Rage. You charge down an enemy with your current weapon, dealing a large amount of damage with additional weapon effects. Killing that enemy will heal a small amount. Upgrades increase the damage dealt. So, what I, what I would think is Wrath is really good for regular enemies. You're going to kill a regular enemy with an impalement and therefore are great. But against, like, bosses, that's worthless. You're going to want to switch to Fury. So that way when you activate, you could do your stuns and everything. So, I think Valor's worthless. I think Wrath is good against normal enemies and Fury is great. So, we'll just leave Wrath for now. But I'll probably change it back for bosses. And, might I add... Can we go up? No, we gotta go left. Did Odin ask you to free that creature? What? No. Why? Are you not working with him? It's not what you think. Whatever he promised, he cannot be trusted. I don't. But he has something I need. It's hard to explain. He wants the mask. <laughs> oh. There's multiple angles. There's three different ways I gotta do this. You fucker. You mean with that stupid Bifrost shit? Now I'm slow as hell. I couldn't do anything. I seriously couldn't. They wouldn't let me block. They wouldn't let me parry. Everything was hitting me from different angles for no good reason. That was pretty dumb. Simple. Another to the left. This guy says they ran out of funding for the Raven boss fight in Hellheim. Ran out of funding. What? The? How do you run out of funding? <laughs> so in Norse mythology. I know that it's Fenrir who's supposed to be the wolf that keeps growing and growing. It's supposed to be Loki's son. And he grows and grows unnaturally until the fact if that he Odin finally Julie fights him and he kills Odin. Work, right? Then we are in agreement. Yeah? Then what's that spear for? To protect you. Don't you have other weapons for that? And I know that because I just played Assassin's Creed Valhalla a couple of years ago and that lore was definitively right, right there in the game. As long as that one was accurate. They are dead. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, I'm gonna do the whole thing over. Oh, the whole thing over from the start. Fuck this game. Nope. Okay. So if that lore was accurate, that means that Fenrir should be a wolf that grows abnormally large and tries to eat the gods. Not this Garm. I don't know who this Garm is. So. I'm not that well versed in the mythology. Grab it! Doesn't make any sense. You should freeze it and then you should fucking hit him while it's frozen. See, it didn't do that much. I knew it. No, I parried it. I definitely parried it. As soon as it swung by, I parried it. It didn't work. Whatever. Because at least it would have blocked. It did nothing. So. The leash. Battle Garm. It also says battle. It doesn't indicate that you killed it. During that fight, I received a $2 tip. From Elusive Shady says, uh, Hey DSP, favorite song in your stream is, is that being said, Big Ups Man? Huh? Favorite song in your stream is that being said, Big Ups Man? I don't know what the hell that means. But thank you for the tip. I have no clue. Maybe it's a, a meme. I have no idea. 
Thank you for the two dollar tips. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. It is over. I would Thank you. For everyone who is here and liked the stream today. 672 had done a last second super chat. That says any issues with the guy pretending to be girls in the chat. You mean weird weird, right? I can name drop if you want. You mean all of them? The vast majority of people who pretend to be girls on the internet are guys. You know that, right? It's just always been that way. I don't give a shit. I don't know why anyone would care. Like, why? To me, it's like, if someone's watching the stream, I don't care what their avatar is. I don't care what their name is. As long as it's not something offensive. As long as it's not something meant to be malicious. You know, there's a difference between, okay, my name is Strawberry Shortcake. And it's the Strawberry Shortcake avatar, the girl from the 80s. And all you do is sit in here and you chat and you enjoy the streams. There's another thing entirely, if you're like talking to people, where you're trying to catfish them and you have a whole fake personality and shit. That's happened. That's happened to people. That happened once we had a moderator. An entire year, the moderator claimed to be someone that they weren't. And at the end of the year, they revealed who they were, got permanently banned. And luckily, we caught it before that person. That person had plans to not to try to get me banned from Twitch at that point. Okay? I don't care. I just It's not a big deal. As long as people don't try to do malicious shit, I don't care who you say your name is. Who gives a shit, right? Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you. Like this on my streams, okay? So no worries. Now, thank you all. Until next time, which will be in a few days. <clears throat> Keep in mind, I'm focusing on beating a game tomorrow, and then another stream is returning to mainstream status on Saturday. So this will be next coming up in a few days, but there'll be another major stream right around the horizon. Thank you to Barely Legal, who just did a super chat. said, here before we adjourn, here's a little sun. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you very much. All right, guys, I'm being told that this Berserker is an easy pushover, and I should defeat him on the first try with absolutely no challenge whatsoever. Let's take a look at how hard it is. What could possibly go wrong? Oh. What the? There's three of them. There's three of them. I got frozen! Oh no, I didn't! I used my areas of effect! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I'll try. I was doing all right. Oh, what the? <laughs> I was actually doing all right. I was doing pretty good. And then uh, I got instantly downed by something behind me. Let's try again. Oh, fuck. Shit. Oh, my God. So, I, all I need to do is learn how to parry his attacks. If I parry his attacks, I bet this is an easy fight. I really do. Yeah, that was stupid. I fucked up bad. I bet I could beat him. This doesn't seem that hard at all, actually. 
they, this, they take a lot of damage. The key here is, is parrying his sing single attacks, I think. I'm not feeling too bad about this one, honestly. The problem is he attacks right through my attacks with super armor and ignores them. That's not good. He shouldn't be able to do that. I just realized I have the wrong fucking rage. I do. I have the completely wrong rage. Oops. <laughs> I have to set the correct rage or I'll never win this. <laughs> Oopsie. I made an oopsie poopsie. I need to fix it. Let's fix that right now. Oops. Oh! <laughs> oops and oops. The double oopsie. The double oopsie. Oopsie poopsie. Let's try that again. Shitty ass, what the fuck? Wow. One of the sisters hit me from behind and he just went right into a combo I could do nothing about. Much easier to use rage against this guy because unlike the previous enemy, this guy doesn't teleport. But if they hit me from behind, I'm going to be fucked, right? That was pretty bad that they hit me from behind like that. Now, did it save what I had equipped, or do I have to change my Spartan Rage every time? No, it kept Fury equipped. That's good. Okay. I dashed, or I rolled, and it hit me anyway. Where did all my health just go? How did I just lose all my health? I, I don't understand. I lost all of my health out of nowhere and nothing was hitting me. That's pretty fucking stupid. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, he just stood right behind me to say hit, hit, hit. Could do anything. Yeah, I'm thinking I have to take. I, I hate to say it. I think I have to focus on the big guy. The big guy is gonna keep hitting me from behind. The the women are right, every once in a while to maybe projectile that hits me, but I think the guy has to be the focus here. <laughs> Now I gotta fucking run. Oh my god! Ugh. Annoying. Man, almost, if I get him, I win. If I get him, I win. And I was kicking his ass right there. Mm. Mm. And all his stun went away, which really sucks. Because it would have been great to have him at full stun right now. Wow, they comboed again. They hit me with the fireball and he hit right after. 
the combos are what's annoying here. When they get and it's randomized, it's not like they're 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 not synchronizing their attacks. It's random when they decide what to do. So they hit you with that. It's like, oh my god, they got so lucky. Let's try with the blades first. I didn't do that. I was do I was mid dodge. Yeah, I can't move. Yeah, dude, crazy. I couldn't move. Just let me die there. That's bullshit. Yeah, it's weird. I think the blades are the worst. The blades, unlike the other moves, other moves you seem to have, like poise break, the blades don't do shit. The blades will get his like damage and stun up, but they don't interrupt, so you take monster damage whenever you're trying to use the blades. So I feel like I should lead off with the blades and then immediately sw I couldn't I tried to dodge the red He didn't come out Now at that time I dodged The dodge had no iframe And the area of effect still hit me I don't like that they ignore what I'm doing That's so dumb How did they not get hit by that? I can't even see. What the hell was that? The whole screen is filled. I can't see anything. <laughs> I mean, I'm fucking them up. I almost got them. But man, that is super annoying. I can't even see what's going on. Like I said, I sadly, I don't think I can kill the women first because he's just too much of a tank. He's going to attack you from behind when you're trying to hit them. <laughs> Wow, you can't I'm telling you I don't think you can kill the women maybe maybe the rage meter But you see they don't have a stun the women don't have a stun meter and that's a major problem If the women had a stun meter that'd be good. They don't have one. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to Kill them fast enough quite frankly try again I'm pretty sure I can win this it's not it's not that hard to fight them all at once From under the cool. So I do no damage. And they have no stun meter, so this is shitty. It's like a waste on them. The rage is only good against the guy, not against them at all. They like no damage. I just got hit from behind. There's nothing I can do about this. I don't even know what hit me. I have no idea what hit me. Zero. Where did my rage go? It disappeared in the middle of the combo because this guy attacked? Fuck that shit. Why does my rage disappear because the guy hits me from behind? That never even happened before in the game. Right. That is really dumb. I gotta find the right combination of stuff to do on, on the women. To do Mac. Why? It showed health on the ground. It's gone. It showed. There it is. Oh my god. Yo, it was. It like disappeared. Him so low, and then I can't because he just keeps attacking from behind. You, nothing you could do about it. <clears throat> We're getting there. We're getting there, and here's some idiots fucking trolling, so just get the fuck out right now. Obviously, it's a tough fight, and you just have to keep trying. I'm getting closer and closer, right? Yeah, I know. Someone tip five dollars, so you need better gear because the health bar shows that you can't kill it. Yes, I can. I already killed purple. I already beat a purple boss like this. I don't care about the gear level. I know I can beat it. I already did. Basically, if you do it, 
when it's purple, it's a bigger challenge, but it's definitely doable. I would say the skull level is the one that's not doable. The skull level is absolutely ridiculous. Like, way over the top challenging, but this is definitely doable. So I appreciate the advice, but I'm going to do it. I'm getting it done. Okay? Alright, we're getting this shit done. You know what? Start with the spear instead. Try something different. So how the fuck did that hit me? What? Point blank. Wow, bullshit. That was bullshit. I don't want to fucking fight him. Oh, I'm running full speed trying to get the health. Her attack instantly tracks and insta-kills me. With no indication of where it's going to hit either. Bullshit. <clears throat> I got closer. I'm getting closer and closer. Yeah, this is bullshit. So they just decided to just float and all do area of effect, and there's no way I'm going to get out of that, so. Stupid. Try again. Try again. This is dumb. I can't move. <laughs> That's so dumb. Yes, all of a sudden you're hit with ice and every element. You can't move your body. Uh-huh. Right. What the fuck? At least I hit the other one. What the? <laughs> all off screen. All off screen attacks all combo on me at once. Right. Mm -hmm. Notice this wasn't happening before. And all of a sudden it's happening every time for some weird reason. None of this was happening before. I was able to, to isolate. Now they won't let me. I can do because I'm frozen. I'm slow as shit. I can't move. I picked up health, which is supposed to interrupt them, and it didn't do anything. Well, I do, what I really don't like is the health drops that are random, and you can't really see them. You never have an opportunity to look on the screen and see where they are. Because you always have to keep track of where the enemy is, and you can't look down. Like, that's really annoying. <clears throat> How did the fuck did I just get interrupted? Immediately already getting fucked up with the bullshit. I lost my entire health bar. You saw that, right? That was like a 60-70% fucking health bar. I lost it all. What the fuck was that? Immediately get hit. I'm fucked now. Yeah. Oh. What do you mean she's not taking any damage? Yes, she is. There's never a point where they're not taking damage, so what I can notice. If that's the case, I'll fight him instead. If you guys are saying she stops taking damage, then I'll fight the guy instead, but it looks like they were taking damage to me. Look 
my health. Oh my god. Why? I don't understand. I really don't understand why he was in the middle of getting comboed and he just walks right through it. Six seventy two. That's what I'm already doing. Thanks for telling me how to play the game. That I'm. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Could go. Watch your life. Wow. Yo, that is so cheap. What was I supposed to do there? There's not even a point in reviving. If they interrupt you with that ice shit, you're fucked. It interrupts your rage and freezes your body and takes your whole health bar all at once. What the fuck? How did he get that far away? Does it make sense? Oh my god. Now, see, that's both. Look at that insane piece of rage taken off of my meter because they hit me with that. That's just not fair. Look at that. I can't even get to the health. <laughs> they just rain down shit on the health. You can't even get to the health. Ugh. All right, after I do a fir my first wave of abilities, I'm not gonna keep using them. I'm gonna try to fight head up and see what happens. See if I can parry a bit. I tried to parry, I did parry the first one. I tried to do the push off, which would have punished him. And for some reason, it didn't do it. And the next thing I know, He's doing his second attack, and they're hitting with projectile. What? I tried to swap, swap. Yeah, I got fucked by the game right there. I tried to swap to the axe and use it. The game wouldn't let me swap. By the time I swapped, they already froze me. There was no point. Yeah, I'm not gonna win this one. No way. I wish there was a way to swap weapons easier. There's not. You have to actively not be like in another animation. You can't swap when you're in the middle of like one of your moves. You have to actively do it in the middle of the fight. And it sucks when you're fighting three people. There's not enough time to do that. I try to do it and I always get hit. I gotta learn his parry timing. I feel like if I if I block all three hits, I can parry the fourth and fill his stun like significantly, and then I could probably do major damage before I even activate a rage. trying to parry i the parry timing is weird you see how many attacks he's very like slow with the swing it's not like strike strikes like uh, swing uh, swing i think he does it on purpose it's kind of like a delayed swing to make it harder to parry at that point i had him almost on the 50 percent health i never even used a single rage yet that wasn't that bad <laughs> Rage! Right there, I said enable rage. Nothing. He attacked right through it. Didn't activate. <clears throat> Don't know where all my fucking health just went. Literally no idea. Must have been a hundred projectiles I couldn't see on the fucking screen or something. Yeah, they're doing it again. Look, my whole rage meter is gone. I, by the way, I had the fucking spear out. I pushed down. It wouldn't pull the spear out. I was trying so bad. It would not give me a spear. 
What the fuck? It still didn't give me the spear. I pressed down. It wouldn't give it to me. Because I wanted to do the spear charge and then immediately go to rage and see if I could finish him. It wouldn't fucking do switch to the spear. I did it three goddamn times. Stupid fucking thing. Just switch. Yeah, I don't like the weapon switching. I don't. I want it to be more active and I want it to work in a, in a, in a, a case where you need it to happen right away and you need that shit. On the fly, it should be coming out. What the fuck? And he axed me. Yeah, okay, give it to me. Well, look how much damage I just took. Oh my god! They never gave me an opportunity to do anything. I switched to the axe, and because the axe swap was so slow, they hit me with three fucking ice fireballs in a row that took 100% damage. I couldn't do anything. <clears throat> Great, wasted the ability completely. Oh. Well, I'm not winning this one. It's wasted. <clears throat> the ability was wasted. My rage is getting wasted. This sucks. Look, there goes the rage. He's punching the fucking wall instead of the enemy. Gee, I'm really going to win this fight. Right? I'm really going to win this fight when the game won't even give me the fucking move. Just restart the fucking checkpoint. <laughs> right. <clears throat> no, this is not nearly as hard as Elden Ring. Elden Ring is much harder than this. God, I can't dodge anything. I'm trying so hard. I can't get it to Hundred fucking projectiles coming in from behind. I'm not going to be able to avoid that. Dodge! It won't dodge! And I can't move! Yeah, this sucks. Well, they're gonna hit me with the projectile completely cancels out my rage. That should not happen. You should not get hit with the projectile and get cancel your rage out. What's the point of the rage? Now he won't stop attacking the wall. I dodge! I totally fucking dodge. Fuck this game. I dodge, it does nothing. It doesn't dodge when I do it. Get out of the fucking way, you idiot. Stop getting fucking hit by easy shit. Dodge. Dodge, 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 dodge. Moronic. Moronic. <laughs> Half my rage gone because of random projectiles coming from behind. Fuck that. Basically, whatever they decide to do, whatever they decide to do for their projectiles dictates the fight. If they decide to not do the tough projectile stuff, then I can win. But if they decide to do the tough projectile stuff, I can't do anything about it. I can't interrupt it. The game dictates how I win the fight. Because, see? The game dictates what happens. Sometimes I've got him down to almost no health, and other times I can't because they just keep chucking the homing projectiles and you can't get around them. That shit is just not fair. When you activate rage, they should not be interrupting your rage and ridic ridiculously reducing the timer of it because they're chucking fireballs at you. That is dumb shit. Look at my health. What the fuck, dude? I The other problem is you can parry and it doesn't work sometimes. Like, I did parry perfectly that first one. I went to burst him and he just w went right through. So I think you can only parry maybe the second or third hit of his combo and get the counterattack. The first one, he just ignores it, which shouldn't be. If you're parrying, you should be able to break his combo. Not, oh, you have to know exactly which one can be interrupted when the other ones cannot. That's really stupid. I, say it now. I parried and didn't count. And 
You see, that time he went through. Super on. I already lost half of a rage ball. You saw that shit? I already lost half of it. I just lost the rest of my rage and my health instantly. What the fuck is that? I had almost the full health bar. I lost my entire health health bar and rage bar instantly because of projectiles. <laughs> you stupid idiots. God, that is the dumbest shit ever. It's and it, the problem is it's completely RNG. None of it is, is like oh predictable. Just, they could just hit you right from behind and fuck you up. Come under the crew. <laughs> How did I get hit? Projectile hits me. Look at all my rage gone. Fuck you. Man. What a dumb game. It makes all your rage disappear because a random projectile hit you. I'm not gonna kill him, no way. No fucking way I'm killing him here. I tried to parry the second hit, but it's off camera. I'm really trying to time it. <sighs> Not my fault! Fuck this game! <laughs> Fuck this stupid fucking game! No, the problem is, you cannot prepare and t and get ready for their projectiles because it's random. It would be one thing if there was a pattern that they used. They said, okay, they time it and they do it in this order. It's RNG. Therefore, you can never prepare for their projectiles because they're not actually planned out. They just happen. Look at that. It just came out of nowhere. Can't see what's going on. Just out of nowhere, the whole screen is filled. And you have no idea what's going on because you can never see it. If you were just fighting just them, then you could actually learn what's happening. There's no way. You have to focus on him. All right, I'm going to try fighting them again. What was I supposed to do? You couldn't even see anything. You're just dead instantly. Oh, thanks. By the way, I was fucking her up, and she just decided in the middle of my combo, I'm going to fly backwards and invincible, invincibly hit you with projectiles, even though you can't do anything about it. So, it's pretty unfair. It's pretty stupid. You're from behind by the other sister. Can't move, can't block. Can't do anything. Guaranteed death. There was nothing that could be done at all. Nothing. Why is he attacking the fucking wall? He's surrounded by enemies. He attacks the fucking wall. Surrounded. Enemies every direction. I'll punch this ice wall in front of me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking stupidity, man. I wish there was also a way to, to quick charge your runes, which there is not. If you could quick charge your runic attacks, that'd be superb. Then you'd actually have ways to catch them in combos and stuff. Well, this is incredibly fucking dumb. Wait, 
Waste of time. Huh? <laughs> the invisible attack murdered you. You could not even see it. <clears throat> I have incredibly high cooldown gear, Scallop Potatoes. I, you know what you're talking about. I have way high cooldown gear. That's why I have the increased dodge ability. I can't even get to her now, so it's a complete waste of rage. Yep, it was. It was an utter waste of rage. But she teleported away immediately, and the game would not allow me to catch up there. I do crazy damage with the regular combo. You see that, right? The re just the regular combo on them does insane damage. The problem is you can never just do it cleanly. Because you get interrupted by everything. See, I just got interrupted from behind. I can't see anything now. And now I'm dead. <laughs> there, there's just a regular combo against them. This crazy, like, like a, a, about a, a, a third now. Nah. Maybe about 20% of their health. I dodged. It still did a giant chunk of damage anyway. As if I had never fucking dodged. If anything, the rage does nothing to her. It sucks. Like the rage is gonna do my health back, but it does like no damage to Jesus Christ, you think you're throwing enough projectiles? You think you're doing enough? Sure. Again, it does no damage to so this sucks. So, what I'm saying, the dodge spin move seems really, really good. The dodge spin move is doing lots of damage and hits multiple people at once. So if I can keep hitting that and then doing one or two hits and then kind of running away, that might be the way to go. I think I can upgrade the dodge spin move. I guess not. I already bought it. Oh, okay. It upgrades by itself when you use it 50 times or 30 times. So that sucks. Cause... From under the cool. Already, already get hit. Even though I'm dodging, look, it ignores that I'm pressing the button. I picked up the health, and the game hit me anyway. I picked up the health, which is supposed to interrupt the enemies around you. The enemy said, oh, fuck you, and hit me through it, and it just negated the fact that I picked up the health. <clears throat> Stupid. Oh, my God. I dodged, still hit me anyway. No health in the arena at all. Look, nowhere. Oh, 
I dodged twice, the game ignored the dodges, as if I never did them. What the fuck? Oh my god, it ignored the rage. Fuck this. Ignore the dodge. Ignore the rage. By the way, I almost had it. I was like, if I kill them, I think I'm good. What the fuck? Why I'm locked on him because I never locked on. I never locked on to an enemy. It the game auto locked on. You piece of shit. Oh, there we go. That's it. Rage is done. The auto combo. Nothing I can do. Cool. <laughs> Running full speed away, still hit from behind. I don't know why it locks on sometimes. I'm not doing that. I'm never using lock on in these battles, but the game is auto locking on, and it's incredibly frustrating that it does it. Fucking bullshit. I actually feel like the game is much better with no lock-on at all. I don't think that the lock-on is good good enough compared to other games, other action games. I can't do anything. He's going to keep slamming. Yeah, look. Why even bother? I can't do anything. I'm crushed against the wall. And the game won't let me move or block. Because I'm stuck in the camera. And the game won't let me do anything. I couldn't even move. <laughs> this stupidity. You don't need to decide how you don't play a video for this playthrough. Just fucking watch it raw. I can see how bad I am at this. Like, I'm sucking so hard, dude. What is happening here today? Usually I'm better than this. I didn't even mean to do this. You're wearing a lot of ice right now. Left side, incoming. Oh, I now, Blades, no, I already got hit. I already got fucking hit. Stop just standing there and going, in, 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 to my ass. I almost had it. Poking me. Little pokes. There's nothing I can do about them. Super frustrating. Couldn't roll. I tried to roll. Now I can't block. Look. Can't do anything. I lost... 75% of my health bar because the controls don't work. 
Can't roll, can't block. Well, there's nothing I can do. Stop putting the camera into the fucking wall, and then the controls will probably respond. I don't know why I'm locked on. Wow! I ran the entire screen to get the health, still hit me anyway. He literally just hit me anyway. He, he followed me the entire time and hit me after running the entire fucking map. I just stood up, he instantly hits me. Yeah, it's, the game is fucking bullshit. These fights are the most frustrating, unbalanced, well, worst design part of the game, by far. And of course, you just want to keep playing. You just want to keep doing it because you know you're going to win. It just has to be when the game decides not to be cheap. Right? One of these times, the game will not cheese me out. Not this time. Now the game's going to be ultra cheap. Now I can't block. Nope. <clears throat> Nonsense. So, of course, you want to keep playing. It's addictive. You want to keep going, right? From under the crew, I rolled past it and it still hit me anyway. No, if the game's going to have you fight three enemies at once, it needs to have controls that are actually, like, more forgiving. Like, the parry should be easier to do. Or you should have a, a invincibility during your roll. You can't... Why am I fighting three enemies that all have RNG? So I have no idea what any of them are doing at any time. Yet I'm required to somehow be able to avoid everything? How is that even possible? Like, it shows that no one thought it out. They just thought, oh, we want, we want the game to kind of be like, like Dark Souls. By copying them, although we don't have the skill to do a fight like that, we really don't. But we're gonna pretend like we do, and just throw insurmountable odds against the player, and act like it was fair when it's definitely not, right? I never locked on, game auto locked on. I blocked the fireball for the first time I tried. It hit me anyway. The fireball goes through your block. <laughs> it's an unblockable fireball. Wow. <clears throat> well, I guess I'm going to have to take a break because if I don't take a break, we're not getting a break this stream, which sucks. Because, you know, you're on a roll. You're trying to figure out how to do it. And I'm going to not be able to do it. Come under the crew. Can't move. I couldn't. I couldn't dodge or move. And now I'm frozen. Look, there's no way I can win now. This fucking kill me. Oh. Why on earth would I leave and try the one on the other side of the desert? I just did this one for an hour. I'm learning. I'm in the groove. Why the fuck would I do something different now? You want, do you want to talk about recipe for failure? Quit in the middle of doing something. That's how you fail, by quitting. <laughs> you can't win if you quit. There it is. Unblockable, unstoppable. Projectile move. I have no defense right now. Then I parry perfectly and the game says, fuck you, you still take damage anyway. Anytime that she does, they do those big projectile circle move, those big orbs, 
unless I'm doing rage and chasing someone else across the room, it's death. And that's the RNG problem in this fight. Right side, Too slow. Can't do anything. Couldn't activate rage. Because they hit me with ice. You notice when you just hit them with basic combos, you actually do lots of damage. Lots. So maybe, maybe the trick here is to try to focus on him, only fight him head up, dodge the projectiles when you can, and then when you absolutely need rage at the end, then do it. I'm gonna try it. I can't do anything because I'm, see? Once you get hit with the ice projectile, you can't dodge or block. The game doesn't respond. So you have to, I, if I can fight him head up and not get hit by an ice projectile, I'll be able to beat him. But I have to do it. And, that was just bullshit. Right off the bat, I got hit with the ice projectile. Like, well, I'm definitely not winning it. I <laughs> do no way. Now I can't see him. I just got hit by ice. Are you shitting me? He ran away. I turned just to find him. Immediately hit with ice. Immediately downed. What the fuck, man? How is that fucking fair, you fucking assholes? RNG is bullshit. Oh, the strategy's working. Immediately do something that's completely uncounterable. Oh, no, so if I interrupted, you can ask me how. Oh, that's it, the ice. Dude, as soon as they hit me with the ice, the moment the ice ball came over, that is the bullshit move, the ice ball. Every fucking time. The ice ball interrupts what I do, and that's the end of it. I had him down to half health. I didn't even use Rage yet. So this is definitely the way to do it. This is definitely the strategy. <clears throat> what could possibly go wrong? I activated Rage and the game ignored it. I wanted to do Rage at the last minute, punch him a bunch and get health back, and the game ignored the Rage activate. <sighs> and sometimes it works. Sometimes you can do Rage right in the middle of stuff, and sometimes the game says, oh, you can't do that. So, it doesn't even follow its own fucking rule set. Wow! So sometimes, that runic attack stuns everyone around you. Sometimes the enemy says, I'm just gonna walk right through it as if you're not doing it and punch you and kill you. RNG. Again, if it, the game doesn't do things that are consistent, then I can't consistently fight them. If the game changes... They're on fire, Zikon. They won't buy it. I was already gonna get comboed in dead. You believe that shit? What just happened? What the fuck? I was still had rage activated. I still had rage activated. And it started comboing and hitting me and taking damage. I still had rage. <laughs> the game doesn't even follow its own rules, dude. It's a it's fucking shitty. Fucking shitty. Oh, 
What did I do wrong? Nothing. They just decided to do infinite homing fucking ice spells on me. That all hit me from behind and there's nothing you could do about it. What the fuck, dude? What a fucking stupid fucking game. Incredibly dumb. He did a ground slam, immediately recovered from it, which he does or does. He has to have recovery time for it. Immediately does a free combo. Huh? Again, the game changes its own rules. Normally, he does a ground slam, has recovery. You can dodge, you can counterattack. Here, he instantly recovers, does full combo in the wall. What did I do wrong? Nothing. The game is fucking made poorly. These fights suck. What are you talking about? You. He ignored the attack. Sometimes he takes the hits. Sometimes he ignores the attack completely. It's our end. It's not fair. The fight isn't consistent. If the fight isn't consistent, you can't always win it. Why would you make it inconsistent where sometimes it works and sometimes he's invincible to it? I, it it's stupidity. <laughs> That time, the roll doesn't work. The roll doesn't get him away from the attack that he's dodged a million times before. It's just like... There's a difference, you know, madness is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. I'm literally getting close to the end, and every time I do it, the game gives me a different result because it keeps changing the rules. That's the opposite of madness. That's called cheating. <laughs> You notice that time the sisters were immune? So that time I caught him with the move, but the sisters were completely immune to it and acted like I never did. I couldn't die. Are you shitting me? I saw her move. I pressed it. Immediately hit. No chance to fucking die. This sucks. It's so fucking stupid and unfair. Oh my god. <clears throat> Yeah, move! I'm frozen. Dude, immediately they start wailing on me with moves that are invincible. I can't do anything about it. Right after me fucking them up. Here we go again. Now I can't attack him anymore. Where is he? He's off the fucking screen. Can't die. Look what I'm doing. The game ignores it. Yeah, I get, I'm about to give up on it. It sucks. I know I can beat it. <clears throat> I had him down to nothing twice. Remember when I had him down to this much? And the game says, oh, two tracking fireballs. Right? No, you can't throw your axe at the orbs. You cannot. Imagine in this fight where everything you have to do is momentary because everything is attacking you at once. You want me to actually aim and try to throw slowly throw an axe at a fireball. You're out of your mind. It's never going to happen. You're going to get hit by ten other things if you try to do that. <laughs> What happened? It stopped spinning. He's ignoring it. He's ignoring my attack. Unreal. I already lost half my rage. The game doesn't work. The control doesn't fucking work. One, 
untra- I never locked onto a fucking enemy! Never locked on! Why is it locking onto the enemy on the other fucking side of the fucking arena? You stupid fucking game! God damn! What a stupid game! Yes, log on to the one on the opposite side, not the two in front of me. That's just genius level. Now I can't dodge because I'm in slow mo because they hit me with the ice. Yeah, this is terrible. <sighs> they did it again. You notice they did it again, right? They immediately, when I fucked them up, they did their double ice projectiles that is completely unavoidable. What the fuck? The game auto-targeted the, the woman on the other edge of the fucking arena. The game auto-targeted it on the other edge of the fucking arena and I lost track. How is that my fault? How is it my fucking fault that the game did that against Like, what the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? What a piece of shit! I can't do anything because the game cheated him. He was ice, so I couldn't block or dodge actively. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't fucking believe it, it's, it's auto locking and the auto lock system is fucking me in this fight. After how well I'm doing, and then the game just cheats. Like, oh, you're doing real well. Let's just interrupt your run with a fucked up, a fucked up thing, right? I, I'm, I'm definitely parrying it, and it's not fucking parrying. I'm parrying it, and it won't do it. Anyone notice it stopped dealing damage? You notice that, right? I didn't even do that. I didn't do that at all. I never did that at spin attack. I did it by itself. I was trying to just parry. Nothing I can do. Look. Look where they put me. They put me against the wall, and I couldn't move. It was just constant hits against my fucking body. Piece of shit fucking game. All right, we're just going right the fuck back in. We're getting so close to winning, and literally every time that I'm about to win the fight, the game cheats. The camera gets stuck on the fucking wall. The game auto-targets the woman in the other end of the arena, so all my attacks miss. It's pretty pathetic how bad this is implemented and that I keep losing because of bullshit. I really wish the game would fucking work, but all I can do is work with what the game gives me, right? See what it did? What was I supposed to do there? What could I have possibly done? Nothing. Literally, they do this, it cheats every time. I'm in the group, I'm destroying him. Let's do the move you absolutely cannot avoid and there's nothing you can do about. Nothing. There's no way you can focus on three at once, so you have to get into that headstrong against the one guy, avoid as much as you can, and if the game decides to cheat, you are fucked. There is no skill that will avoid that. Got hit by a random projectile I couldn't avoid because it's right there below on my feet, right? Now I'm iced. There's nothing you can do. Literally, there's nothing you can do in any of these situations. They're all unfair. 
I'm locked on again despite the fact never locking on. I can't move because I'm slow. There's nothing I can do at all. Once they hit you with the ice from behind, you literally cannot avoid the attacks. They hit you no matter what. Because you're too slow. Everything you do doesn't react. Not even worth it. So thank you, Mo I, for the super chat. He says, "Beat him now. We believe in you." And then thank you for a five dollar tip, anonymous five dollar tipper, whoever you were. Thank you. Again, I'm only playing this for about another forty five minutes. It sure would be great to get some support on the stream. I know I've been doing this fight the whole time, but obviously you guys like it, considering the viewership skyrocketed since I started the fight, right? So I know you guys like it, or else you wouldn't be here. So if you could support the stream in any way, I would really appreciate it. We actually hit our 100 likes goal as well. So let's do a silly bubble blow, and then we'll continue here. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. No, you haven't given me any advice. Your advice of quit and come back is not advice. That's, that's a loser's fucking mentality. When I know it's beatable. I'm not stupid. I know it's beatable. I need the game to not cheat. If the controls would work, the camera wouldn't get stuck. The camera wouldn't auto-focus on someone across the fucking arena I never focused on. You know, all these factors that a functional game wouldn't fucking do, if those things would stop happening, then I can beat this guy. I don't even know what's going on. They hit me with a slow fireball, a fire one, and it has exactly the same effect as the ice. You can't move, it slows you down, and I couldn't do anything again. <clears throat> I already tried the sisters first. You came in very, very late. We already tried that. It doesn't really work. The sisters don't actually take much damage from rage at all. While he will, because he has a stun meter, they won't. So you can't really kill them first. You can get them down really low, but then he always tracks you and fucks you up from behind. Look how close I am. No, look at that. I'm stuck in the wall. Can't move. Fuck you. The game cheated again. It stuck me in the wall. Camera won't move. I can't move. Just stuck in the wall, even though he has full stun meter, the game won't let me control my character. Not my fault. Make the fucking camera work. Don't get stuck in the fucking wall like Dark Souls. Oh, that's, oh, that's great. Now all of a sudden the attack won't hit the guy standing in front of me. He attacks dead air instead. Thin air. Right. Fucking right. <laughs> Stupid fucking game. There's nothing I could do. They just keep chucking fucking ice from off screen. Giant ice balls that you can't avoid. Nah, there's no way I'm winning this one. No way. No, here they go. They're going to do it again. Chuck their bullshit ice ball that I can't avoid. Now I'm auto-targeted to one of the sisters. Even though I never selected a target. Now I can't hit him. Now I just passed through his body. Zero effect. It's amazing. That's pretty amazing. All of a sudden, he's just I'm just here, and now you have no hit detection. Here you go. <laughs> Uh, 
So what they did, they just rained the ice spheres on me. They took my entire life bar. I had full life when I activated. They took the whole fucking thing. That is unreal. Can't fucking see. I can't dodge. Ice ball. Of course. Oh, I had him, and then what happened? They rained down the fucking projectiles upon me. Now I'm not gonna get my stun. Look how close I am. So close, but they just... Oh, he's doing his second rage. Rain down the undefeatable fucking projectiles on his head. Thank you for the dollar tip. Is he trying to play this like the... It happened again. It happened again where the game just decides that he won't attack the enemy. He'll just attack thin air instead. It's great gameplay. <laughs> That's top level gameplay right there. Basically, these fights have exactly the same problems as the Valkyrie fights. They're not well designed because they, they thought that they were making a different game. They thought they were making Dark Souls. These are not Dark Souls. Nor did it play anything like Dark Souls. They wish it did. But it really does not. I have to rotate the camera with my right thumbstick right there. And when I do, it allows me to actually keep him against the wall. Of course, look what they just fucking did. And that was the best run I ever had against him. So they cheat instead. They decide we're going to cheat now. And then, wow! Go for the health. Nope. Everything we do instantly tracks you and kills you from a million miles away. Everything. <laughs> oh my goodness. I completely was dominating him and was gonna I was definitely gonna kill him. They decide nope, we're gonna do the shit you can't do nothing about, just destroy you. We just ruin your ruin your good time for a bunch of fucking assholes. I parried his attack, but at the same time I parried his attack, one of the unblockable giant ice spheres hit me. So there's nothing you could do at all. There was literally an inescapable moment. There was nothing you could do. <laughs> nothing I could do about it at all. Dude, they won't let me do anything. Look how much ice is coming down. The ice is still coming down. They had endless ice raining on my head. Oh my god. Endless ice. Ice here, ice here, ice here, ice here. Endless ice. Battle X Man did a super chat saying he feels the game was clunky as fuck. That's why he stopped playing it. The camera's messed up, blah, blah, blah. The truth the truth. The game works fine except for these fights. Like, everything else about the game is fine. The normal combat is okay. The normal bosses are okay. But the moment that they stepped out of their comfort zone and tried to do something that was, you know, challenging Dark Souls S, they failed. They failed in the first game, too. The Valkyrie fights were broken. 
they were irrevocably broken and you had to really like bash your head against the wall to get through them you know i'm gonna beat this fuck this so let's see here i got another tip For some reason, the move stopped coming out. And now, they do the unblockable combo. 100%. Unavoidable, unblockable combo. 100% damage. Nothing you can do whatsoever. <laughs> Amazing gameplay. Absolutely amazing. I the dodge didn't work. I don't even know what happened. I went from doing one move into having no health and frosted. Like, what happened there? I guess they did a dual ice attack you couldn't see on the screen. And it fucked me up. That's the only explanation I have. Look at this. There's ice on my ass. There's nothing I can do about it. They just keep doing it. They just keep chucking the orbs you can't avoid. That is unbelievable. They just keep chucking the orbs. Like, what? Not even a cooldown. Just keep doing it. So, right in the middle of my combo, they decide, oh, all super armor moves. That time I couldn't stagger him at all. Multiple times I've staggered him. In the beginning, this time he won't stagger at all. He's just super poised. Super poised. Hit by a projectile. Hit by a projectile. Nothing I can do. That was rage activation. Game says, no, we're not going to give it to you. Okay. Whatever you say. No, you cannot throw the axe at the fucking orbs. If you do that, he will kill you. You can't stop to start throwing axes at orbs when you're trying to fight him. What a dumb thing to say. You should be throwing the axe at the orbs. How? I'm fighting the guy. <laughs> you can't do 10 things at fucking once. You don't have 14 arms. You're not fucking Dr. Octopus. the fuck out of there. Stun him. Fucking stun his fucking ass. Good fucking shit. And now I get hit by a million ice projectiles I can't avoid. There they all are. And I die instantly. 100 ice projectiles raining down. Nothing you can do. No way. I'm not going to get his stun up again. If I get his stun up again, I would say yes. I'm not going to get his stun up again, so therefore, no. Look how close I am, too. Look how close. Oh my fucking god, I go to get help, they do that. He has no health. His energy bar is empty, but he won't die. See, I 
can't do anything. I'm stuck on the wall. He like, yeah, all his fun back. Nothing could be done. How do I avoid the ice ball? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It follows me through the entire arena. I dodge, I run, it still hits me. How the fuck do you get away from that? It hits me every time. That is so stu complete stupidity. No, the shield doesn't work. The shield does not work against the ice ball at all. I parried perfectly in the game. He let him hit me anyway, even though I perfect parried it. If I can stun him here, I'll kill him. They're not going to let me stun him, though. It's going to run out. Wow. Wow, I dodged the game and acted like I didn't. It acted like the dodge never existed. Even though you saw it, <laughs> the game says, Oh well. Oh well, no dodge. Oh well. I don't want that. I did it completely by accident. Yeah, I did it completely by accident. Did not want that. It did good damage, but they took all my health too. It's a bad trade-off. Okay, the game decides not to track the enemy standing in front of me and attacks thin air again. Again, a mechanic I'm not doing wrong. The game just decides to not work sometimes. So I'll just ignore that. The game didn't give him any additional damage at all. What the hell was that? I filled his stun bar. It didn't do any damage. You noticed that, right? It took no bonus damage. It just did normal damage. Will you all... Uh, I guess I'll we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Wow. Even if I perfect carry him, it doesn't matter because I'm going to get my projectiles anyway. Even if I perfect parry him, and I am perfect parrying him now, it doesn't even matter. You just get hit by the projectiles on the side anyway. So you could play really well on him and just get fucked by them regardless. Oh, 
Literally, nothing can be done. Literally. Combo, combo, combo. Can't avoid any of it. Unbelievable. You're on fire, Kratos. It will pass. I'm tired of you. It's so stupid. What the fuck? It untracks him. It still fucking hit me. This is so stupid. It really is. How the fuck? I dodge across the entirety of the arena. The thing keeps following me. There was nothing I could do at all. They had hit me somehow with ice. It was invisible ice. You couldn't even fucking see the ice that hit me. What? I activated rage, and then a rain of ice came down, and it, it acted like I never did it. I activated rage right there. I got nothing. Nothing. No fucking rage activation. Fuck this. Every time I'm okay, here's a good strategy. It's working. Now do this. Doesn't come out. Now do this. Doesn't come out. Okay, then I can't win. Can't win if the game doesn't fucking work. Sorry. Well, then I can do because I should have had him, but they keep raining ice and their ice tracks. And I'm staying away from it. It still fucking hits me. She ass fucking bullshit. Dodge! 
Why'd he block? I fucking dodged and he parried. I never even fucking pressed that. God damn. Well, this sucks. He's not gonna die now. I had him. I had him at a, exactly where I wanted him. And the game fucking parried when I didn't even press L1. I dodged. And it gave me a fucking parry attempt, which I didn't do, and it fucked me over. All I needed was the dodge. He was going to go down. I didn't do that. I tried to switch. Oh my god. That was completely inadvertent what just happened. Nah, there's no way. There's no way I'm winning this one. No. no. Now the dodge has no effect. Zero. All of a sudden, the dodge doesn't work. Amazing gameplay. Nothing hits me and I lose my entire energy bar. Can't even see it. Nothing connects whatsoever. Lose your whole energy bar. Attack the wall instead of the guy that's standing right in front of you. Attack thin air instead of the guy standing directly in front of you. Side. We're just going to do all tracking ice now. All tracking ice that you can't do anything. Get the camera. Rotating with right thumbstick. I literally have to press ones with left thumbstick and mash with right thumbstick. Nothing I can do because it's off screen. Nothing I can do. I have to dodge. Immediately hit with a fireball from off screen. You can't dodge. Immediately. <laughs> as soon as I revive. No chance. Still hits me even though I dodge. Still hits me even though I dodge. Fucking thing still hit me. Dude, 
ice and fire behind me at once. Ice and fire behind me. Two balls at once. As soon as I finish the combo, that's it. Here they come. Ice combo into his move. Nothing you can do. Yes, now the dodge back move refuses to work twice, so I can't dodge back and punish. It just won't work. I get hit anyway. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean I didn't mean to do that. I totally didn't mean to do that. This is gonna be a waste. Likely gonna be a waste. There's no way he's gonna stun from this. The way I see it, there's literally no point to pick up health in the fight. Every time you go for it, it's bait and they always just hit you. I don't think I've ever cleanly picked up the health. I don't even know what's hitting me. I just got hit by something and all my rage is gone. Even though I don't even know what it was, it was off screen. Instant aerial rain of ice. Nothing can be done. Absolutely nothing can be done. And he takes so long to revive, you lose all of your stun. Not happening. <sighs> well, one or two more goes in, I'm done for the day. I'm already gone late. My dinner's probably already getting cold, and I still have to upload, so I'll play one or two more times, and that's it. I try my damnedest, and I'm getting closer and closer. But until the game decides to not RNG me with complete random bullshit, I can't effectively beat it 100%. I can't get away from yours. It's ridiculous how good they are. How did I just... Oh my god, I lost some... I don't even know what's going on. I didn't do... I literally did none of this. I never... I never activated the wolves. I didn't do the spin with the axe. I never did any of it. It just happened. It's fucking weird. No way. No way. Fireball hits me in the back. Nothing can be done whatsoever. Hit blatantly in the back. Nothing can be done. 
And of course, I will shout out contributions, but you guys knew I was gonna focus on this in the last half hour, and I wasn't gonna be stopping to shout out every contribution. So, <laughs> thanks for the money, stupid fuck. What is going on now? Now they're attacking me. See, how am I supposed to throw the axe at that exactly? It's in my face. We'll throw the axe at it. When are they when are they ever throwing it from across the arena when nothing's happening and you're just wide open? Oh, I could just throw the axe now. Never. It's always in your fucking face. There's no way you'll ever effectively throw an axe at that shit. It's fucking bullshit. It should deplete over time. It should be infinitely following you around. What was I supposed to do? He was tracking me. He was tracking me with the jump attack. And she throws the ice attack. No, I can't throw the fucking axe then. It's impossible. You're going to get destroyed. It's an unescapable situation when they do that. Inescapable. Because if they're... Oh, the solution is you're supposed to throw the axe. You can't, you fucking idiot. Whoever designed this is a moron. No, you can't fucking throw the axe. Can't even see anything. No, Carliga, you're wrong. I already fought the sisters. I already fought them head up. They don't take damage. You're saying, oh, they're glass cannons. They're not. When you do the rage, it does no damage to them, almost zero. They don't have a stun meter, so they can't get stunned and you take extra damage. And you barely do any hit damage to them all when you hit them. <laughs> Why is that unblockable is my question. I really want to know why the orbs are unblockable. It doesn't make any fucking sense. How is that fair? Can't dodge them, can't block them. Oh good, WWE 2K22 is getting down. Excellent. Good time for that. No way to dodge it. Literally no way to dodge that. Alright, one or two more times, then we're done. There's the ice ball. It's unavoidable. Now, because I'm frozen, I can't dodge it. That was all my rage because they hit me with the giant fireball. The giant fireballs are the only thing that's kind of bullshit about the fight. If they would just do normal attacks and not the giant fireball, it would be kind of fair. The giant fireball by far is the most unfair part of this. Nothing I could do there at all. Unescapable. What am I doing? Rage activation. As soon as I saw the swing, I said rage activation. Doesn't come out. All right, this will be the last one for today. Then I'll do a quick shout outs and then we're out of here.
I tried my damnedest. I know I can do it, but the, the fight is just not fair. It's not as consistent as a game like Dark Souls, which even in its right is not super consistent. But it's much better than this. This is just inexplicably, inconsistently bad. What they're expecting you to do here. Two, three v one. Look at this. Now I'm on the camera. My camera's stuck on the wall. Three v one fight. And you can't control it properly. All right, one more. This is not. It's, it's again. It attempts to do something and it fails miserably. Unblockable projectiles. Camera gets stuck. Moves don't come out. I would have beaten it today multiple times if the moves were. Still got hit anyway. Now look at the combo that they get. Doesn't work. Once again, dodge doesn't work. Why? Oh my god, the game untracks him. Right in the fucking middle. Right in the fucking middle of my combo, it untracks the enemy. This is officially the last try. We already did a bubble blow, Professor Brain. Shut up. We already did it. You're a liar. There is no, just, there is no way to stop that ball. When that ball is out there, you're done. Like, you might as well just not play. When that ball comes out, you don't have time to throw an axe to stop that ball. So once it's out, the fight is literally fucking over. What dumb fuck made this and thought that this was a good idea? You have to be a fucking moron! <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> fuck this game. Yeah, I've had enough. I mean, I tried for two hours. You know, I genuinely give my honest, hardest effort. I learn patterns. I learn. I try fighting both of them. Can't beat the women. You try, it doesn't work. He'll always track you down because he can literally teleport across the entire screen. So there's no way you can ever beat the women. So you get him down to his last health over and over and over. And the game refuses to let you play. It just cheats every time over and over. I mean, that's un unbelievable. The amount of cheating that that just did to me. I mean, even in, again, even in Dark Souls... You can usually say the fights are fair. That's not fair. In this case, this is a situation where the game does what it wants, right? Sometimes it interrupts things. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you can interrupt them. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes your move comes out. Sometimes you parry and he stops and gets stunned. Sometimes you parry and he attacks right through it. It's, just, it's completely inconsistent. So what it ends up being is you have to be lucky. You have to play and knock and get lucky. Let them not rain down the orbs that you can't avoid. Because, again, you can never throw the axe to stop those orbs. If you do, you get hit by someone else, the other two people. You have to get stun him against the wall with the rage. Keep him going, keep him going, keep him going, right? It's nonsense. So, really, what are you expected to do? Not do it like I'm doing it. They want you to leave. They want you to go play further in the game. They want you to upgrade your stats more, get better armor. I shouldn't have to do that. I shouldn't. I should be able to beat it now. Because I understand the patterns. I know what's going on. There's unavoidable situations. Whenever there's an unavoidable situation in a game, all right, that's bad game design. And there's multiple unavoidable situations in that fight that make it pathetically inferior to anything that's been done in most, most from soft games. There's been a, a couple situations where it's been kind of messed up. But for the most part, like, compare that with a high-end battle in, like, Elden Ring, right? Just compare it. Melania, insanely overpowered, but fair. And once you learn what to do... Right? Moog. 
both forms, you know? Those, those are fair fights. It seems like at first they're one-sided, but once you get down to it, you can beat them. This is just, hey, let's put three random AIs in one room and just let them do whatever they want. So there'll be completely unavoidable, unstoppable combos that you can't get away from. You'll always be getting hit from behind. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't... Oh, the way to beat the, the energy orb is to throw the axe. You never can. You're not far away from all three of them. One of them is always in your face. The only time you'll ever see the orb coming is when someone else is already attacking you. You can't throw the axe then. So, again, if you were fighting those guys one-on-one, -on -one, that would be fair. Two-on-one, -on -one, maybe. Three-on-one, that's just asinine. That's just we weren't thinking. You know, we didn't really bother. Even when you look at the three-on-one -on -one fights in Elden Ring, for example, the... Uh, what do they call them? The Crystalline Soldiers? Sentinels? Whatever they're called? They all have easy patterns. All you gotta do is learn their easy pattern. In this case, at any time, they could do a random attack that's unblockable, undodgeable, unavoidable. Huh? <laughs> Idiocy. Alright. Well, thank you, Mr. Freeze, for the super chat. I received a series of tips here. I got another $13 tip. Sadly, you know, I was in the middle of the fight. I didn't get to see it, and I didn't get to put on a vest. Uh, I got another dollar tip here from a troll. Let's see here. Flubby wanted to know, do you know the definition of insanity? And of course, as you know, I wasn't doing the same thing. I tried multiple different tactics, including fighting both the women first and the guy and both and going back and forth. I tried different orders of weapons. The guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, an anonymous tipper had said, you put in a good effort today. Try again later. Thank you for that. I got another tip here from the same person. Phil's a scammer. Phil is scamming his viewers in this video. Go check it out. Every time Phil says that he needs money, he's scamming you. World's Fair Hotel. Wow. He's got a scam. A, what? A, so one little uh, scam going there. So thank you all for all of that. I appreciate that. Two hours of that shit. And can't beat it. It's disappointing. You know, I want to beat it. And I know I'm going to eventually. I'm not going to give up. You guys know me. You saw my Elden Ring run. I'm not giving up on it. It's just frustrating that two hours and I get so close and every time the game cheats. Like literally every time. Here it comes. Wail on him with the balls of energy he can't dodge and can't do anything about. Right? Just keep doing it. It's fucking stupid. Okay, guys. Next time. I guess what we'll do next time is we'll, we'll continue on. We'll look for the other side content in the area. Right? Um... You know, we'll try We'll try to do other stuff and have to come... Again, another boss that I have to come back to. I don't want to. I want to do it now. But the game won't let me have fun. Basically, the game is preventing me from having fun. And that's not cool. Let me have my fun. Let me learn and win. No, it has to be random because the game cheats. Okay, well, I guess then I'm not going to have fun with it. I'm just going to have to go grind in the rest of the game, get higher level, come back, and then beat it because I have more health, which is stupid. I should be able to beat it, and I can't because the game cheats. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for your support. Sorry I couldn't beat it today. I tried my damnedest. All right, guys. It's time. It's time. It's Vanaheim. Oh, we beat the Dragon Go Team Venture. Yes, we did. Jade is having lots of fun watching this. I'm glad, Jade. I'm glad we're finally making progress, unlike last time. Last time, two and a half hours of beating my head against the wall was really stupid. So, okay, stupid. <laughs> Ladies and gents, welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. Last time when I played this, I made a grave error. I spent two and a half hours trying to beat this berserker. Come to find out, it's literally one of, if not the hardest thing in the game. Some people have actually told me since I spent that entire stream trying to beat them, that this is the thing that they did at the end of the game last. <laughs> Before they literally did anything else. This is the, like, this is the, they did everything in the game. And then they came and fought this Berserker. So basically, I'm not even in a situation where I should be fighting this thing. It's just way too high level for me. Man, times are bad. And then? Hmm, oh really? And then? Hmm, oh really? Okay. But I'm going to give it one final try right now. Only because some people said last time I was so close that if I would try, I would beat it uh, if I just cooled down. We're going to try it once. That's it. Once. That's all I'm giving it tonight. And then after that, we're going and doing other stuff. We got the rest of the desert to explore. I know we got the troll statues to fight. There's another Berserker Gravestone. But fuck this, you fucking piece of shit. That's it. I've had enough. And now, I must make the I must make this Berserker pay. Oh, 
Oh, you fuck face. Oh my god, already. He's gonna do zero damage to her, seriously. I'm already interrupted, too. Wow, I'm getting pelted from behind. I don't even know what's hitting me. I can't see it. Oh, uh, the game just locked on him for no reason. I did. I totally did. Oh, I tried to get the health next to me. I tried and I missed. Oh. Uh. Go. Here she is. No way we're winning this. No way. Doing, again, no damage. You don't do any damage to these sisters. Zero. Okay, ice ball. No, I didn't want that! Oh my god! I totally didn't want that. I wanted to throw the axe and I was holding R1 instead of R2 and I did a spin. <laughs> I completely blew it. I completely blew it. I, I had a chance. I actually had a legit chance. I fucking blew it. I did completely the wrong move. Oh man, talk about blowing it. Adam Sandler, you blew it! Oh my god, dude. That was so... So maybe I should go after the sisters now. Now, now I really don't know what to, how to beat this. I really don't. I don't know how to go about this. You saw I almost had the sisters that time. And I feel like if I fight head up against the guy, I'll be able to beat him. The guy doesn't seem that hard. Yes, from Billy Madison. I swear I, I could have... Man, I can't believe I fucking... <laughs> Jesus. All right, one more time. <laughs> one more fucking time. We got to do it. Come on. All right, if I do pathetic, we're not doing it again. If I do pathetic, we're not doing this again. Okay. <laughs> fucking, yeah, I hit, I mean, look, he's hitting me from behind constantly. Look. Oh, my God. He's, he wasted all my rage. There's no way I'm winning this now. No fucking way. All the rage is gone. <laughs> Oh my god, a fireball! Oh no! I went to throw it. See how hard it is to hit that thing? How are you ever supposed to hit that ice ball? And people say, oh, just use that. Use your axe to hit the ice ball. Like, are you fucking out of your mind? How the fuck do you expect you're supposed to do that? It's like nearly impossible. How are you going to do that in the middle of the fight, right? There's no fucking way. Again, if you were fighting just the high sister, maybe you would have a chance to hit it. How the fuck is it that hit her and other people are gonna hit it? Yeah, right. That's just insane. What just happened? There, that's what I wanted. Did I kill her? I did kill her! No, I didn't! Are you shitting me? She has zero health! She had no health and she didn't die. I don't even know what hit me. God damn it, dude. I'm getting so close now. <laughs> I'm getting so close! Come on! Come on! You so little damage with this. <laughs> Oh my god, you do so little damage with the rage. It's a pain in the ass. I did rage right there. Yeah, that's bullshit. I should use the ice frost buff more. I didn't even know I had the ice frost buff. 
I didn't even know I had it activated. He has to charge up, remember. Wow, I can't even move. Look at my health. What just happened? Well, this is way worse than the last run. Seriously. What happened is he came in behind me and started hitting me. And I couldn't get out of the way of it. And so it fucked me up my positioning and everything. I want that help. Okay. I didn't want that. Oh my god, again, I can't see where he's coming from. He just, he traps and attacks across the entire screen. It's so ridiculous. What happened? I couldn't even move. I tried to run and I tried to grab the health and then I was going to activate rage. I, he started swinging. Like, uh, I didn't want to do that at all. Do the other rage attacks? Why? The other rage attacks suck. They don't do any damage and they don't give you any additional health back. You want to be doing the rapid punch to get as much health back as possible. The other rage attack won't do anything. Yo, she got her ass beat. Did you see that? Held right here, but I can't get it. I can't get the fucking health. He's standing in front of it. Oh my god, that's okay. I'm gonna kill them. I'm definitely killing them. Yes! Yes! Fuck you! That's how it's what done, baby. Woo! I got my revenge. Personified. The sooner we are done with it, the better. That's what you guys get. That's what you guys get for making fun of me for 10 straight years saying I'm bad at games. Now it's all coming back. <laughs> Comes back to bite you right in the butt. Take that. Enemies to cause massive damage. I don't even remember equipping that. I really don't. I thought I had this. I don't ever remember having that because I don't have Wrath equipped. I literally don't have Wrath equipped. So that was worthless. Can I admit to fans and LARPers I used a guide? I didn't use a guide whatsoever. Only your advice on stream and what people had left, of course, comments on the videos from last time. Some people just strongly recommend that I go for the, the, the sisters first. They said you'll never beat it if you don't beat the sisters first. So there you go. No guide used. Well, we did it. Thank God. Now we'll go back to the blacksmith and uh, and level up. And then we will uh, continue in the desert here. Very good. Holy shit. I'm glad I got it done. Man, that was insane how it beat me last time. I'm, that's like redemption right there. So what? Uh, uh, it's true to you meant when you asked about... Thank you, Venom Snake. You good job. Thank you, Venom Snake. Yeah. I mean, Man, that's relieving to have get that done after getting specific. owned so badly last time. And... Well, Skilder likes to, but she's only interested in becoming a Valkyrie. She's focused. Okay. Woo. 
Come here. I'm not sure how to ask this. There are stories Odin told me. Like how he lost his eye. Where the details are different from stories you told me. And I trust you, of course, but they don't seem like things you'd have a reason to lie about either. One thing to remember about liars, lie. They lie. <laughs> they do it on principle. No issue too big or too small. They lie about anything they can get away with and some things that they can't just to demonstrate their power over reality. Leviathan Axe. We can upgrade the Leviathan Axe. When did we get that? We got a frozen flame? Now that's out of something similar. Unnameable. He was called Soma. Let us find the final ingredient. There's one ingredient left, but I don't think we've ever found it. <laughs> it was somewhere that we never we never discovered yet. All right, I do believe that the final gravestone should be coming up over here in this area. There it is. Oh boy. Gravestone. Prepare for another fight. Oh brother. Wait a minute. Oh shit. I didn't buy a revive. Oh, I didn't buy a revive. You think I could do this without a revive? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I guess it depends on what it is. The Alpha is stolen. At least look at my health back. Same attack pattern as the one I just fought, actually. It's the same attack pattern, except it has that unblockable attack that takes your whole health bar. Yeah. So if I can just stop the unblockable, I think we're good. It seems pretty simple. Oh, new attack. I didn't know what that was. And it stuns you and you can't do anything about it. It's a stun into an instant kill. <clears throat> Never seen it. Didn't actually parry because it was yellow. Sucks I have no revive. <laughs> this sucks. I interrupted it with my rage. That was hilarious. The rage interrupted it. I couldn't dodge. I tried. It's fast. It's like real fast. A real fast tracking projectile. So you got to roll to the side for that. I definitely dashed back. I did double tap that time, and the double tap, I guess, would have avoided it, and the regular dash did not. I should have double tapped. Okay. What the fuck? All right, how about this? If you're here to just sit here and bring down everyone on the stream, leave now. Seriously. There's someone else. Oh, it's a shame all Phil's playthroughs are duds. Why are you here? Why are you here? Leave. There's people here having fun. I'm having fun. Leave now. Don't come back. No one's here to see you be here doom and gloom in the fucking holiday season. At the height of all the new releases, you're going to sit here and be negative. Just leave and never come back. No one will miss you. We're not here to see you be a fucking a, a, a Grinch and a stick in the mud. We're having fun. Oh, that sucks. Oh, this sucks. I got fucked up. Oh, no, I didn't. I interrupted it. Fine. Oh, my battery is, controller is low. How? It was plugged in. Wait, the fuck? How could the controller battery be low? It was plugged in. 
What the fuck? It doesn't even make sense. Why did they hit me? Now, wait a minute. How the fuck did that just hit me? I rolled into it and it still hit me anyway. It's still dumb. No, oh, come on. As soon as I activated it, of course. Carry it did nothing. Great. Where's the hell? Carry that shit. Oh, the health interrupted. Oh my god, I thought the immolation would interrupt it. It didn't. I thought, oh, I can immolate and then completely destroy her. No. The immolation gets interrupted. I'm like, oh, man. I couldn't die. So dumb that you can't dodge that. It's a yellow move. You just think you should be able to easily dodge it, and it just comes right down on you, even if you're dodging and it hits you anyway. Maybe you have to do side roll because I'm trying forward. You think I'll just go right under it, and that hits you anyway. It must be a tracking move. Do it, wolfies. Got it. Very nice. The wolves. This kingdom. No revive needed. You all see the style. With the, with the trolls, they had the things they were holding. I guess maybe I just activate it and it comes alive. Fantastic, Max. Thank you for talking to me. All right, I guess we're going to try it just to activate and see what happens. Ready? Oh, shit. The Everlasting Dragon. What the fuck? I couldn't even see what was happening. The problem right now is the camera. The camera sucks. Oh, I fucking flew away. You coward, get back here. Incoming behind you, brother. That hit me? What the fuck? That hit me. Well, great. Fly away again. I have no health. Oh, here's some health. Focus up. 
Oh my god, can you... It just tracks you and blows smoke or blows fire on your head and you can't see. Oh, that's a great. I dodge and it's still helping track me hit me anyway. What the fuck? No, fuck this. That's not fair. It starts hitting me with fire and then also combos after the fire and you can't even see the attacks. I'm trying to hit with lightning first, then I'll go to fire, then I'll go to ice. Did that fucking hit me? I rolled and no roll. No roll. What the fuck? Go for the throat. Yeah, look, I dodge, it hits me anyway. What's the point of dodging if it's gonna fucking fall on you and still hit you? It's pretty dumb. I'm rolling, I'm fucking, dude, this is bullshit. Why does it, why does it still hit you? It does a red circle, so you dodge, and then it turns and still hits you anyway. Incredibly dumb. Why does it turn and still hit me? What's the point of the... The red circle doesn't even do anything. The red circle is supposed to indicate it's about to attack and then it doesn't. And then it attacks late and turns to hit you after you die. I can't do anything. Right now it's a combo. It was a three hit combo. Nothing, did, nothing you can do to it. Yeah. It just keeps comboing me now. It keeps hitting me once, and every time it hits me once, it hits me two to three more times, and I can't do anything about it. <clears throat> it's really stupid. Why is everything combo into each other? <laughs> what the fuck? I know. I Jeff, I know. He says the chat's always off topic and shit. I know. Here I am. Here we go. A pretty epic, unique fight in the game. Everyone talk about something completely unrelated like idiots, right? Everyone just fucking be completely distracted. Talk about nothing. Like, I'm not playing a game or anything on the stream right now, right? Like, what the fuck? You pay attention, at least? Why are you on the stream if you're not here to watch me play the game and talk about it? I don't understand. I really don't. This is me off. I, do <laughs> I died in the middle of comboing it with no attacks on the screen. Yes. <sighs> Nothing attacking me on the screen, but lose all your health. Okay. Why the fuck is there area of attack fire I can do anything about? He fucking flew away in the middle of my attack, you stupid pussy. And why they allow him to do that? That's so dumb. I could throw this at him. What the fuck? I, I couldn't move. I couldn't even control him. It wouldn't let me control the character. again so now I can't heal oh my god this is so annoying and I can't see and I'm gonna die oh my god
Oh my fucking god. How is this a fun fight? In the middle of you fucking him up, he could just fly away because he gets immediate super armor, escapes, and then instant hits you with a move you can't dodge and can't see. Amazing. Again, this game is great, except every one of these fucking optional boss fights sucks. They fucked them all. Oh. 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 Fuck him! Jeez! Got his ass. Did I even use the revive that time? I don't even know if I did. Jesus! Blue runic arrows on his neck. Damn, the everlasting that, that thing was surprise. called. What did you expect? That's a fair point. I still, I didn't even re uh, resurrect. Sweet. All right. So we did so much side content and we did a ton of progress tonight. I think it's time to continue on with the story. We have an hour left on the stream. Let's do an hour of story tonight, folks. All right. Cool. We suck of a bull. I did the wrong. I don't have the relic. Oh my god. What is this? Oh, this is completely different. Whoa, he teleports. Oh, he's similar. He's very similar to the one I've already fought. He's the same as the one I've already fought. The guy that was with the, the all projectiles. He's the same. All right. Fuck this. We're going to start over. He's the same as the other guy, but this guy summons little minions. That are going to be annoying because they're going to distract. So you know what I should do? Immediately hit the area of effect ice attack with wolves. And try to take out all the fucking minions at once. <clears throat> get the shit out of them. Shall we? Let's get back while we do it. Oh, I punched him out of the sky! That was fucking insanely cool, dude! Goodbye! Nice! That was cool, we did a fucking rage punch out of the sky! Is that everything here? I think that is. I think we did everything, right? In this area, anyway. So we can un unset that. So you can go through a tree? How do I go through a tree? I don't know. I don't know, but now we have the waypoint to go to the story, so... That was good. This is good. We are now steamrolling all of the optional boss challenges, which is really good. We want to talk about the opposite of the last stream. Holy shit. I don't think we could have, have done any more of an opposite. This here. I thank you to the anonymous $25 tipper. I really appreciate that. That is very nice of you. With that tip, we are at $91 in tips. We are only $9 away from a festive hat tonight or a Viking hat. But we're running out of time. I'm only playing for about another 20, maybe 25 minutes. So... Basically, last chance to hit the $100 goal for tonight. Thank you guys for your support tonight. I appreciate that. <clears throat> okay, so that optional area is cleared now. Like I said, now I feel like the God of War. I'm not feeling like a wimp anymore. You know? Spear for anything throwing. Ain't how you are ahead. What did you say to me? Oh! What did you say about my malele? Oh, come on! Take this! Take it! Who the hell? Coming for you! Oh! Time for ice combo spin to win. Oh no 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 Oh they die, now you die. You son of a bitch. You fucking hit me in the middle of my epic lululuing. Okay. Woo! 
Oh, there's an item there. Welcome. Who's this yell? Okay, nothing special. Right in the middle of my Lulu. What you say about my Malele? Who remembers that? Anyone remember that shit? I just pulled that one out of my butt. There's there's a 14 year old reference. What you say about my Malele? <laughs> Oh, oh, never mind. No one's paying any attention. Seriously. No one's paying any attention to what I'm saying, so no one Did even heard what I said. Never mind. I didn't know they could do that. Missed something. Damn. I wonder if there was a secret over there that if we were taking our time and looking around, you could have swung and got a secret item, and I didn't get it because I was so enraged, right? I was so enraged by the stolen moon piece thing that I chased, and now I don't think we can do it. Well... That's what happens when you let your rage take you over, you know. In life, you should always be, you know, level-headed and, and thinking clearly. Oh my God, it won't, it won't trigger the storm. Now we're not doing much overtime, guys. We're just gonna go back now, and we're gonna probably adjourn because now it's late. I gotta get out of here. We're gonna my day off tomorrow. We had a good night, though, right? I hope everyone enjoyed the stream tonight. I hope you enjoyed the progress we actually made for once, right? right? I guess he doesn't want to... He says... It says the stream's over. Okay. All right, Atreus, thanks. Everyone, thank you so much. What what progress tonight? We we beat, what, three different Berserkers? We bought... We beat a dragon. We beat two different optional troll fights. Um, You know, major, major progress in story as well. So, we want to talk about night and day from <clears throat> the last time that I played God of War. This is like the complete opposite experience, which I'm very pleased to say, you know, thank you guys for, for being here and uh, obviously for supporting the God of War playthrough. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. Execute clown mode. Derek wanted to give a personal thank you to Slayer for financing the pa patron. Uh... Private React videos. I guess he's really been enjoying them. So there you go. Good evening, Iron Man. Two of them. I'm do. I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. I'm doing very well. Now I do this. I freeze all of them. La 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 la. And now I frost. And now I do combo, combo, combo to Jackie Face. Oh no, you did that. No, you don't. <laughs> Punch the Drekki in the fucking face. Drekki so challenging. Oh no. I'll never beat the Drekki. Oops, I already beat the Drekki. I already beat the Drekki. <laughs> oops, oops, oops. I kicked your monkey ass. I did not mean to. I swear I didn't mean to. Uh oh. Lightning. And now I do this. Oops, you missed. Oops, you missed. Spinny, spin. Two wins, spinny, spin. And now I slam and slam and slam. <laughs> you never fight me. You never get to hit me. Now I attack you. La la la. Oh look, I already won. Wow. I was. <laughs> Yikes. Damn. Okay then. So much for the dragon. When you're heading to the end of the game, I don't think that these things are much of a challenge anymore. Like holy steamroll shit, right? That was the definition of a steamrolling. I wish someone would chase the clowns out of here. Oh, well, yeah, I wonder who's gonna do that. They set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Good. Anyone paying attention to this? I'm not really. To be honest. Wow. That's the way. Here's what I heard. We're gonna go rescue your brother. That's what I heard. And that's like that's all I really care about. Like, I don't care how we're gonna do it. Let's just go do it. Kratos is not a planner. He's a doer, right? What? Wow. We know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. Uh, but don't worry, Frigg. 
I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Yeah, he's about to get body. No. What you got? You sure you want to know? Motherfucker! You sure you want to know? You stupid son of a bitch! You sure this is what you wanted, huh? This is what you fucking wanted right now. This is what you fucking asked for, huh? This. This and this and this and this. Stop. Why? What's, what's your problem? I thought this was a boss fight. I thought that I was going to be facing a, a, a rousing, challenging. Look at this. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, is this, this supposed to be a, a giant beast of burden? It was really going to fuck me up, huh? Man, I was real scared of you. I mean, I'm totally not just a god of war or anything that could just fucking completely interrupt all of your attacks with 400 of fucking mine, right? Totally can't do that or anything like this right fucking here. Or how about my special where I just stand here and I freeze you in a deep freeze with the powers of Helheim, you stupid son of a bitch. And then, <laughs> hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you trying to dodge? Is that what you were trying to do? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Did you not want to die? Is that what it was? Alright, so now we beat him. So now we're just gonna go to the Having fun yet? Okay. You do not get to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine. You stupid idiot. You're not going to kill Kratos. You're, you're totally not going to kill Kratos, all right? I don't believe you. You're this stupid. You way over your head. Oh, I, oh, I want to heal. I fucked up. My fault. Hit the wrong one. I parried and it's still fine. It's time for raid. I parried and uh, it did parry, but then he hit me again anyway. So for some reason. I am the watchman. Oh, I can't move at all. I am going to find that little mockerel of yours and beat his face into a pulp. I need help. Oh, okay, there is health around here. Oh! He decided to do an unblockable attack when I was running for hell, which is lame, because it was unblockable area of effect. That's that's pretty lame, honestly, because I wanted to beat him on the first shot, which I know I could have. But the game just decided to do something stupid right there. You want to be? True. It was his arm. He killed him. Sucks that I didn't want to have to die and restart, but basically what it is is they, they made you start the fight in the middle with zero health, and the health is on the ground when you go to do it. Oh, now I'm going to do an area of effect you can't dodge. So like, I know I know I could have beat it without getting downed. Annoying. Well, he didn't want to kill him. And the guy basically forced it on him, right? There's this stupid fucking horn. Why don't you go play a tune for us? Wait, <laughs> just... I don't know if we are breaking fate or fate's breaking us. How are you breaking fate? You did exactly what you said you were going to do, right? Come up and like literally exactly as as everything was predicted is happening right now. What a stupid idiot. The guy's just too cocky. He's an asshole, right? Emblem of the Nine Realms. Did you hear a Twitch streamer went off on his mod because his mod was gone for a while? The streamer asked where they were. He said their mom died. Then he berated her. The streamer is a piece of shit. I, I don't care. I, what? Why do I care about another streamer? Why do I care about what they said or did? What does it have to do with me? We are aware there's a lot of shithead people on this planet. Why do you know? Why do we care? What does it have to do with tonight? <laughs> what is going on? <clears throat> were you aware that? Somewhere on the planet, someone, you know, is probably horrible to their family. Are you aware that people are doing heinous things? Yes, I was aware. I, I don't really care, though. I do appreciate the tip, though. Gee, thanks for the tip. Okay. Anyway, so he's dead. I mean, big deal. We knew he was going to get killed, which is stupid because you didn't want to kill him, and he basically willed it. So was it really you or was it him, honestly? Right? 
you gave him mercy. He decided he wanted to push it further and die, and it's his own fucking fault. <clears throat> yes, Derek. I'm pretty sure I saw the movie. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen it. Okay. Well, so much for pushover Heindel, right? Big deal. I've never gone in line to meet someone. I've never paid for an autograph. I'm not that kind of guy. I don't really care. <clears throat> yes, Derek, we did beat the incredibly difficult 3v1 uh, battle. What is that red glowing shit? What is that? Is that a Atreus? Oh, that's my teammate. What's going on here? Some weird stuff happening. I'll cover him, but we can't get through the door. But I guess Atreus was down. Hands off my boy! Hands off the boy! He's <laughs> flying. I can show you a world. I knew it would do that. No, no one fucks with burgers. Holy shit. Holy shit. That was badass. I mean, it sucks because he's going to die, but that was pretty fucking badass. Who the hell was Burger? When does he get to spin off DLC? Your name isn't Subway Sandwich, is it? Because you'd be going next. <laughs> Oh, shit, my name's Chipotle Mexican Fiesta Bowl. I guess I'm going, woo! <laughs> Damn, I really have no clue who the fuck Burger is. Who was Burger? I don't know, but he was freaking... <laughs> he sacrificed himself pretty badass, and no one says shit. Everyone's quiet. Look. Damn it, Burger. Damn it, Burgers. Oh, come on. Hello, Chantel. How are you? <laughs> No. This guy has ultimate super armor. Like, none of my moves interrupted anything he did. So it seems to me like I need to dodge and counter hit. I can't just, like, overpower him. <clears throat> okay. All right. Have it your way, asshole. Wow, the blades are doing insane damage. You see this? I think the blades are his weakness. The blades are chopping the fuck up bad. Oh, that's some crazy rain, asshole. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, he's got crazy range. Absolutely ridiculous range. Alright, now, now, now. You literally can't interrupt him. Like, I thought if I overwhelmed him, I could interrupt him. He just doesn't care. So, I guess they're they're going to sadly make me play a boring, slow, either parry or dodging fight. Which I don't want to do. But they're going to force me to do it. Because they made an enemy that literally cannot be interrupted at all. There's no stagger. There's nothing. So, now I have to play it really boring. Okay, fine. Play a fucking... You got no helmet. 
His helmet's gone. Well then, fuck you. Try blocking this now, you son of a bitch. He has no helmet. Uh, nice. Oh, guard this. Chop your own fucking head off with your own sword. You piece of shit. And, uh, you know, next time around, we investigate this ginormous side area of content, which I'm really excited for. It seems pretty neat, actually. All right? Guys, thank you, God of War. Ragnarok's still continuing. It's almost Christmas. We're still playing. We're going to probably be playing until 2023. It's great. All right, guys. Thanks until next time. Yeesh. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. We're going to do a two-hour late-night stream. And for the record, for those who have been watching this playthrough for all 46-plus parts so far... This is the last time it's going to be a night stream after tonight. After tonight, I'm focusing primarily on this being a daytime stream because we need to finish it. It's literally late December, a few days before Christmas, and I am nearing the end but haven't gotten there yet. If I don't beat this game soon, how on earth am I going to do my year-end countdowns and awards? So we're working on it, but it will be mainstreams moving forward. No worries if you're a fan of this game. You're like, man, he really isn't giving it enough time. It's going to get more time very shortly, right after Christmas, okay? So there you go. Now, sadly, our first tipper of the night, Kern, just told me, hey, uh, if you find one of those mystical deer, you should go right through the gate and go talk to Ratatasker because he's going to give you a quest to feed them. And you should have that quest because you might run into deer and not have the quest and not do the quest. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that that was what it was. The game didn't explain it. So I figured, oh, it's not a big deal. We'll do it later. And I'll come to find out, I kind of screwed myself. Um, problem being, I already passed several rooms since then. I don't even know how many rooms back it is. So I think what we're going to do is just pro progress forward for now. Looks like it, right? I don't think there's much going on here. But it looks like... Oh! Rebirth, renewal. Oh, I've missed the smell of those flowers. I'm sorry, kid. Just come back already. This sucks. Now I don't have the things to feed these. Because I didn't know there was a quest for it. So that's... I hate to say it. That's pretty poorly done. As soon as you reach the first one... The game should insist that you go to Ratatasker. So you should now that you found this mystical, you know, creature, you should immediately go to Ratatasker to get a quest. It should just say that. It doesn't tell you that. So you don't know you need to do it. And now I'm gonna find them all along the way and I can't do the quest because the game didn't tell me. That's bad design. It absolutely should have done a better job at explaining that that's what was going on. Another one of those mysterious crystals. Because now here I am, I'm gonna miss out on a whole quest line that I easily should be able to do. I'm going along the way. You really am going to walk through the Is entire thing again to do it? Of course not. Crystal? So I'm probably never going to end up doing it. Now. The lands of Vanaheim are certainly more. Okay. Anyway, I received a thirty-dollar tip from Haseo X5. He says, "Like some, I'm still enjoying your God of War Ragnarok playthrough. I hit the like button on it when I watch the videos and I leave comments whenever I can. Thank you, Haseo. Thank you for keeping the playthrough alive despite the fact you know we're 47 hours in now and." uh you know, the interest has waned. And now, if you guys would obviously like to know my full thoughts on what happened with this playthrough and why I don't get a lot of attendance and why there's not a lot of views moving forward, please watch the Level 1 podcast from this morning, December 20th. I basically cover it in full, explaining that basically content creation and, and the way that these games are promoted and released has changed a lot. It's not like back in the day 10 years ago when everyone had the game at launch day and there was this element of hype around it and everyone would be so excited. Instead, there's people who get it so early and the plot is released so early. A lot of the hype is ruined. And then most content creators, quite sadly, rush through these games within two, three days, sometimes just a week, in order to do just, oh, I beat the whole game and they can move on to the other new releases of this time of year so they can make this. Instead of worrying about the quality or taking their time to fully enjoy the game, they got to get through it for maximum views. And I'm not about that, and you guys know that. I hope you appreciate the fact that I am taking That's my the time. That's the missing schematics. I suspect ah. you've got some new sword help in your future. Really? I see this when I was playing Ragnarok, I took my time. I loved every minute of it. It took me about two weeks doing all the content. You know, I, I really... A lot of times, there's times when I wish... You know what? I'm going to go get this Eyes of Odin item that we didn't get yet. Sometimes I do wish that I'm not a content creator because I probably would have been able to enjoy this game and beat it within two weeks. And, you know, been on to other things. And here I am a month and a half later and I still don't know how it ends. I don't. I haven't spoiled myself for anything. I have no clue how this game ends or anything. And I'm way behind you guys. And there's nothing I can really do about that. I had to balance everything to, to kind of appease everyone, you know? All right, so we have another reward. 
Derek, I'm glad that you, you love my urine countdown stuff. But like I said, I gotta finish this first. So here we go. What's that? I got Oh, I didn't see a couple super chats. Okay, so under the bridge, there's a super chat talking about Jeffrey Epstein. I don't care. I'm not going to talk about that. And Kevin did a super uh re upped his membership for 15 months. It's Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Phil and Chat. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. Gee, do you think, do you want to, gee, what do you think is the reason why I didn't, uh, didn't talk about it? He's fucking, talking about fucking Jeffrey, Ep Jeffrey Epstein. Way after the fact of it being anything pertinent, Christmas week during a fucking God of War fucking playthrough. Why do you think I ignored it? What a dumb thing. I <laughs> shut the fuck up. How about that? Okay. Special Ready items. You are. <laughs> oh, under the bridge, allow me to offer you this refund of everyone's time by banning you from the chat. Now we don't have to bother with your idiots anymore. Thanks, stupid. Okay. Very good. <sighs> Dad, what are you doing? Nothing, son. Shut up. Showboating. You know what it is? I'm trying to look good for the camera. Now shut your face. All right, where is the stupid... You're all looking at me. Right now! Okay. I can hear the animals. They're afraid. A soul eater. Look out for other kills. Soul eaters hide in plain sight. Dragon's back, and it's angry. Oh, how flattering! Oh, missed. Lightning, it's coming. Who said I want? Now wait a minute. Who said I wanted to fight? Get the Fire fuck out of here! What the? Oh! oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, that goes somewhere. Here's something here. They're trying to distract you from being able to get everything here. Having a million things going on at once, you notice that? Else for the claims in Paul, Warpers, eh? Albert, did a super judge ever, ever removed asbestos professionally? Yes, yeah, so you see my job. I was a professional bother. asbestos removal. How'd you know? If you stop asking me dumb questions, that'd be great so I can hear the dialogue of the game. I already hear the damn thing. Ugh, where is it? Where are you, you annoying fart? Well, we're, we are where that bird Walker, was earlier. Can't get through with that bastard trying to bludgeon us. Then we must get closer. I can't get closer. Bloody thing can't be hard. Something must be casting a spell on it. No okay. I hear, but I don't see it. Watch the ogre! What am I supposed to do here? They won't let me climb. Look, I'm supposed to climb. They won't let me. Because this stupid oak. But I don't see the no. I think we're out of range. I have no idea what to do. It seems like a dead end. I can't go down. I can't go this way. I can't attack anything in this direction. Maybe we can't do it from here. Maybe we have to go in the boat. It seems like I can't do this right now. I guess we can't do it now. At least we, we took down the, uh... We took down the shortcut here, right? What if we do day to night cycle? Will that change it? Let's find out. What are my plans tomorrow for my day off? Errands. You know, running errands, grocery shopping, which is a lot of Christmas shopping for our meals for Christmas and stuff like that. I'm gonna get some, uh, some uh, presents for Jasper.
Okay, guess what? I can see the Noken. working though. <laughs> Bullshit. Basically, they defied their own game's rules, which is really stupid. The game should always work the same way. But they have a port here where you can outsmart the game, but the game won't let you because of the design of the game. That's lame as shit. You should be able to kill the Noki from there if you feel like it. Nonsense. Okay. I will say something to Jasper for you, Jade. Sounds good. Involved remains unclear. I knew that was going to be there. We saw it from afar earlier. Okay, that's where we came through. <laughs> God of War is good, Mark. As always, this is a really cool side content area. I'm really uh, enjoying this. Yeah, the God Bacchus. That's correct. There is a God Bacchus who ha always had infinite liquor, I believe, right? Exactly remember. Well, I guess we're going across here. Yep, looks like we're going across. Can't do anything else. It's all dead end. We don't have a boat here. So I guess we're going to go through here. Okay. It was my first God of War playthrough 3 HD? Yes, it was. That's the earliest one I did. <clears throat> uh, oh, this is not the right do time. If it were daytime, this would be grown and I could go across and I could get this. So now they're literally expecting me to go all the way back with the bow back to the other area to come back here and get that treasure. Wow, that is stupid. <laughs> wow. That is tremendously annoying. I'm not going to lie. So now we've got to go back, make it day, come back, and then we can continue on. That is tremendously annoying. The snow shouldn't be a problem. The sale, yes, I would say this game basically has the same kind of situation as Horizon Forbidden West. This game also has the same situation as the first God of War, where it doesn't retain a ton of viewership only because it's such a long game and it, it came out, you know, at a time when there's a lot of other games coming out, people were more interested in watching. And if they wanted to follow this, they wanted to follow it quickly. They didn't want to watch it over a month and a half, which I had to do if I was going to cover all the other games. So, you know, it is what it is. Guys, we're in the home stretch, probably the final 20 minutes of the stream. Last chance to support in any way as simple as giving a like on the stream or any other contributions would be greatly appreciated. Yup, look, now we can do this. We found the third deer. Unless my eyes deceive me, that seems to be the stag of summer. The stag of summer. Where the hell are we now? Bones. Are we gonna fight the second one? The Drake fed here. The creatures here aren't that big. Drake must have been constantly eating to survive out here.
Oh my god. Uh. Uh. The footprints pretty much go every direction. Right? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. So now it's frozen for good. But now what do I do? This way? Yes! Uh, some sort of cage. So it would seem. Lure the Drake. How the frick am I gonna lure the Drake? Good find. Might justify a quick visit to the cleansing pool. You've got a few crystals. Why not pay the pool a visit? You just said that. City of possibility. Perhaps this is frustration over the state of Vanaheim. The writer likely thought of the location would be safe from Einherjar eyes. For their sake, I hope it was. What the hell is an Einherjar? <laughs> no idea. Okay. Excuse me. One minute Sam did a super chat. Thank you, one minute Sam, for the super chat. Oh, we did it. We finally found the last piece. Now we could have nine amulet fragments. We could finally do upgrade it. Okay. Let's say boy for you, Jay. Boy. Boy. I don't have a deep voice like him. I can't really do it. What the fuck? Shh. Oh, shit. I don't get it. There's gotta be a way to set the cage, but I don't understand how to set it. How do you set the cage to catch the thing? I think what I'm supposed to do is get it to come in the cage and then run out and then pull my axe so that this will drop and trap the creature in the cage. I think that's what I'm doing. But how would I do that? Wait, I just killed this thing. What? I just killed you. You're so full of crap, man. Why do I have the axe now? Find space. It just feels like I'm missing a ton. No matter what I do or where I go, I feel like I'm missing stuff. Where am I going now? I was supposed to lure the dogs in the cage. How the f How was I supposed to know that? I wasn't supposed to kill the dogs. I was supposed to lure the dogs into the cage. What? We're back here now. Oh, this is insane, man. I'm going to be honest. I think they went too far with this, this area. I'm doing it for two hours. I'm confused. I don't know if I've done everything in each area. I don't know if I've missed content. Um, This stuff getting too convoluted. And quite frankly, it's tiring me out. It's making my brain feel like exhausted and that's not a good end you know what i mean oh, nasty head. You are right, brother. oh my god i don't have the fucking oh my god no no i'm stuck in it you fucking idiot no what you 
I trapped one of them. <laughs> Hopefully I only need one, right? Cool, man. What I will say is this, guys, for those who were here, thank you for chilling with me. Thank you for engaging, and thanks to those who supported the stream. Sadly, it was pretty much Hiseo and maybe one other person who tipped and, like, a small handful of Super Chats. Um, I do appreciate those who did support in any way, but as you guys can see, <clears throat> um, basically we're in a situation here where we're just not getting a lot of attendance and support for this game. But we're also, at the end of the year, I have to finish it, you know? I have to wrap this up so I can do my year-end awards. So you will see this as a major stream after Christmas, which is this weekend. You'll see this as a major stream moving forward on day streams that I will alternate between other games and this every other day so we can get far. Because it looks like we got another major stream just to finish this side content area. Then we probably got another major stream of story and side content, then maybe another major stream of story. You know what I mean? Like, we're talking another week to two weeks at this rate because the game is so long. So, jeez. But, thank you all <clears throat> for being here tonight and those who continue to watch uh, On Demand. Thank you for that as well. Any engagement, liking of the videos, comments, super thanks, all appreciated. Thank you all tonight as well. Until next time, peace out. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. Last time around, we were in the basin, and we did a heck of a lot of stuff here. Ulger. Once we approach the dragon, we will kill or be killed. Understood? Yes, Father. Oh, I choose to be killed. That sounds like a good plan. I'm trying to dodge and he's doing these stupid moves. I didn't even want to do those. I was just trying to dodge and he kept doing these fancy spin attacks with the fucking, with the axe I didn't want. That was really dumb. Focus up. What? Wait, what? Come on, Kratos. Uh, sure. Maybe I'm wrong. <clears throat> Maybe I'm wrong. Last time we played this, it was two hours, and I got pretty confused. I still fight these assholes, and then we'll, we'll change day to night. Fuck you. What's your life? Yeah, just keep hitting. Oh. Oh, my cat. How oh, nice. Of course. <laughs> I gotta waste my revive. Of course, he ignores my attacks. <clears throat> Wrong way. We gotta go around again. I think there was a lure if you go to the right side. Right side of what? Oh, come on. Do you see why I hate this area? I don't want to just run in circles because I missed a little piece. I missed a little piece and they're not apparent where they are. It's, bo it's fucking boring and annoying. They really... I feel like this area should have been much earlier in the game. <clears throat> And it should have been far less confusing. Why are they doing this? Why are they making it like this? Just make it straightforward. Not run in circles, being lost, being fucking confused and shit. I don't see any lore, by the way. I see nothing. We already read that thing. That tablet there. We already did this. Right? So, 
Forget it. I give up. <clears throat> I see no lore here. This is nothing. Right? <clears throat> Next to the river before you take the boat where you see blue blood of an animal. Oh, my God. <clears throat> There's the blue blood. Oh, my God. <laughs> this game is something else. I love it, but at the same time, I really feel... I was just saying this to Kat the other day when I was doing it the other night, and she's like, how long have you been in the basin? I'm like, two and a half hours, and we're not done yet. <clears throat> and she goes, Jesus, that's so long for the end of the game, because she didn't do all this. She did some of it, but not all of it. Um, I was like, yeah, I really feel like if you're going to have a side care area this long, it shouldn't be at the end of the game. This should have been like midway through. And then if you did it, at least you'd have a long time to enjoy the spoils of whatever you explore. Like, I feel like we're going to do this area, and then we're going to go into the end of the game, and that's it. So there's no point in doing it because I should have been enjoying it or getting getting the rewards so much earlier that I would have benefited from them. I really don't feel like we're going to get a benefit out of this. And on top of this, I've already done this for two and a half hours. How much longer is this area? How much you want to bet it's insanely long, right? And we'll be doing this for like another three hours. I don't know. We still didn't do these rifts. I don't know how to do any of this. The Dragon Quest is past the Berserker marker in the sinkhole. I highly recommend it. I don't know. I guess we're just going to go this way. It seems like this is where we're meant to go. I see Watch a dragon. What the fuck is this fucking bullshit? Fuck you! Is you have to fight every little crappy enemy? Get the fuck off me. Piss me off, you fucking piece of shit. Oh, I'm level 5. You can't ignore me. Yeah? Yeah, you fucking scumbag. You fucking hit me. You've got to be joking me. What even hit me? You tell me what hit me. It just becomes tedious at this point. Like, I don't want to do this. I just want to fucking run around and do the quests. I don't want to fight every little annoying enemy in the way. I'm in the midst of an insane flowing combo. Oh, I just hit you, boop, and I kill you. Like, fuck this. <clears throat> Again. This, this would have been f way more fun earlier in the game. <clears throat> Okay. This would have been way more fun earlier in the game. Not end game shit. I'm 50 hours in, dude. Planes. Now let me make sure I didn't miss anything over here. Ah, oh, I would have, see? What the fuck? Volley the oath guard? I'll fucking show you my oath. Where is he? The fuck? This guy? I got an oath to show you. Let me show you my oath. I got an oath to keep. I'll beat the shit out of every big dumb doofus on here. <laughs> There, oh! Here's my oath. Fucking body blow, body blow, body blow. Here's my oath. What? Give me the up what the fuck is that? What the hell was that bullshit? You're wearing a lot of ice right now. On, you fucking piece of fucking shit. An instant move and you can't dodge. You fucking sucks. Fuck. Fucking fuck face fucker fuck. You know what? Ba humbug! I know Christmas is over. Ba humbug! Good thing you learned the runes, brother. New lore marker. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What the fuck? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. I'm really sorry about being sorry, so sorry for you. I'm sorry, too. Thank you, Crasco, for that super sticker earlier. I fucking...
I got a delicious Eden's apple. Maximize my health. Delicious Eden no. apple. More HP for myself. All right, I guess we're done. I guess we cleared the area. Okay. And let's also get Burgermeister through here. All right, Jasper, it's time to get off me, you nut. You nutty I cat. Need for this. Maybe I'll see you back at the camp. And under different circumstances, one hopes. Burger the badass. He's a super badass, man. So, for Vanaheim completed, Burger is rescued. I think we're going to go back and, and do the stag safe. reward as well. We can get out of here. Or explore some more. Well, we got tons more to do, I'm sure. What, what the? No, Jasper, he laid on the capture device. Jasper, you can't lay on the capture device. You cause a malfunction. So now I don't even know if I can get it to work again without restarting the whole stream. Seriously. The only thing I can think of is... Uh... Hmm. I don't know if there's a way I can get it to work again without restarting the whole stream. Nope. Nope. Uh, well, guys, sorry. Jasper sat on the capture device. Jasper, you can't do that anymore. You can't. This is the second time today you did it. He basically, it's warm, and he wants to lay near something warm. I literally have a blanket sitting on the floor for him, and he sits on the capture device. Jasper, come on. You can't beat it. No, you can't be on this capture device. You made it malfunction twice today. You got to stop with this. All right? Anywhere, go anywhere else but there, okay? Literally anywhere else. So, guys, I'm sorry. If you're watching live on stream, you're good. All right, but if you're watching on demand, you just watched a three-minute video that now has to end, and I have to restart the whole thing. <laughs> okay, apologies if you're watching on demand. I'll be right back. Okay, okay. All right, so everyone, welcome back after a day of anticipation and uh, testing. Not even that much. We only tested for about maybe a half hour. It is time for us tonight to do a thorough two-hour test of my new capture devices, the Avermedia uh, Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus. This is an external capture device that does 1080p. It does pass through to 4K, so if I wanted to play on 4K on my TV, I technically could, but I really don't want to do that until we've got all the bugs worked out of this device before I even want to start messing around with one resolution versus another resolution or anything like that. All right, so here's the thing. Visually, I think this is looking nice, and we're going to test that. We're actually going to boot up God of War, and we're going to do some testing. However, audio, I believe, is desynced, and here's what I mean by that. Let me give you an example of what I mean. So I got my PS5 controller, and I'm on the menu, and as I press left and right on the, on the D-pad, immediately I see the menu move left, right, left, right, and it syncs totally with my thumb. When I come over here and I look at my new my new device going through my OBS uh, studio and I press left and right, there is a the noticeable... Here we go. So I am going to make this a very small like video in the God of War playthrough since there is God of War gameplay and it's going to be part that you haven't seen yet. If you're watching the God of War playthrough, you're like, what did we just see? That was just a very slight test of my new capture device. So here we go. You guys ready for this? Watch this. I'm fully spinning, okay? I don't see a single frame drop in my setup right now, which is unprecedented. I don't think I've ever been able to do this in any 60 frame game and show you guys the full 60 frames. It's always chopped up. It didn't chop up at all, right? So that's a huge improvement. As long as it stays at that level, that's like a giant improvement, okay? Now that being said, let's go to Muspelheim. Let's see how Muspelheim looks. I haven't even been there in the game yet. Let's see how this looks. 
waste armor, girdle of undying pyres. <laughs> undying pyre. Increases the gain rate of permafrost immolation and maelstrom skill gauge. He has a burning... Do, do I really have to say that it ha he has a burning crotch? I mean, it's what it is. His dick is on fire. Oh, look, Phil's, Phil's making that joke about poop and dick humor. Let's try this, okay? Really good. His dick is on fire. Oh, my dick is on fire. Oh, fuck you. Another what a who? Another was that. Oh, now we got Bothrock. The Bothrock balls are back. The balls are back in town. Damn Bothrock, boy, be back in town, son. The fuck out of my circle, you bitch. Go back. Okay. Oh shit, yeah. He walked right into it. Good job, Atreus. You dunce. What a dunce. Ready that shield. What? He hit me. What? <laughs> Dude, he never attacked. He came out. I went to do my ability. It just acted like he hit me. He never even did an attack. <gasps> Come on. Last time after this, I'm giving it up. Dude, this yeah. seems to be a, a freaking capture pass. This is getting annoying now. I knew these trials were fucking annoying. Dude. What the fuck? He came off the screen. Oh, fuck this. Fuck this. He came. He literally came from off the screen from the right. And walks up and gets a cheap hit. And I'm supposed to know that he's coming from that direction. The game doesn't even warn me. This is so dumb. I've one last attempt and I'm done with this for tonight. This is the dumbest challenge. And this is only the, this is only what, the fourth one? He sucked ass. Nice, right in there. Shit, I have low health. Get him. There we go. Oh, what the hell? Come on, man. He's going right behind me. Yeah, the way I'm doing it. He did way too much damage. Oh, there we go. I got hit again by a fucking projectile from someone who's not on the screen. How do I do this? How do I try tripping enemies near sloped ledge? What? Oh no, there's too many. I have no health. What? Attack from behind. Oh, come on. I always get hit from behind in these challenges. This sucks. This sucks because there's no health in the whole thing, right? That's what's hard about this one. Zero health. Here we go again. I lose all my health. There's nothing I can do. Look, when they do those combos, it's completely unfair. This, this sucks. I don't like this at all. I can't knock them in. I can't. They get stuck in the corners, and I can't knock them in. See, they won't go in. They seriously won't fucking go in. Yeah, this sucks. This challenge is terrible. I hate it. I absolutely hate this challenge. I'll try one more time, and then I think we're going to do something else because you guys were trying to test this tonight. And now I'm getting stuck doing annoying challenges that are designed to be annoying as fuck. Be ready. Got to knock it down. Am I 
I supposed to do? I'm getting hit from three directions. Look, three different fucking directions. And it trains is worthless here. He doesn't do anything of use. Stop fucking hitting me from behind. I, I'm trying to block nothing. I already lost half my health again. Fuck this. There's no point if I'm losing half my health in the first three seconds. I'm never gonna win. Win. It's fucking cheap as shit. All right. Play Tower of Fantasy. What are you talking about? What you're saying is not English. He says, "Notice will be different to last time you streamed this." What does that mean? Earlier today, when all I did was stand still and not move. Are you sure your capture settings are the same? Choppy in parts, but not pixelated like it's buffering. I mean, basically, this should be much better than last time that I played it. For what I'm seeing, I'm not maxing my CPU at all, right? So you shouldn't see. Is it gonna ch get choppy every once in a while? Of course it is. It's not gonna be perfect, but it should be way smoother than it used to be. The color should also be better. Like there should be things that are much better. So, but it should be much better than my previous capture card, correct? Please just tell me it's looking better, please. <laughs> okay, so that's it. This is a very quick part. It was not my intention to play this all night. I just wanted to do like an hour of it. We did about 45 minutes to see how it looks. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. So yesterday, I did a 45-minute new capture device test, and the purpose of that test was to see how my new capture device was going to hold up um, playing this game in Muspelheim. So far, you guys are giving me nothing but positive feedback, okay? It's good. Apparently, the colors are better. The frame rate is smooth and better. Everything's, everyone's loving the upgrades, all right? However, there was one distinct thing now that's standing out because now my gameplay looked so good, my webcam looked terrible. When I play games, I use a webcam that's 480p, but then when I do vlogging and the like, I go to 1080p. Why? Because if I do 1080p when I do my gameplay, it actually makes my CPU max, <clears throat> and that causes a bunch of frame rate drops. But that was with the old setup. So what I'd like to do today, as we play God of War, is to test. And see, now, this camera you're looking at right now is 1080p, but I crushed it to be a 4-3 aspect ratio. So I want to test this. If this works today, great. If not, if this ends up being choppy for you guys when we get to action, please let me know. And I'd be more than happy to just go back to what we were at. Um, and that's fine with me, all right? But let's see how it goes. I don't want to immediately write off the fact that maybe I could do an upgrade. But it really is going to depend on CPU use. And we don't know what's going to happen until I actually get into action here. Okay, so let's find out. Let's run over here. So now I need to do whatever the third one is. That's the one I haven't done yet. I did F. Yeah, so I need to do the third one. Which I guess would be this one right here. I did FN. I know for a fact I did FN. Excuse me, stupid posting is okay. Here it is. You snort! You mean this? There you go, thank you. Like, what are you. <laughs> I'm looking for feedback. I need to know how it sounds. Is it, does the quality look good? Is the gameplay synced or delayed? I need feedback. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so this will be... Whoa! What the fuck? What the hell, dude? I can't fucking do nothing! Oh my god, I'm getting cheated. I tried to roll nothing. This is bullshit. I'm getting robbed. At least I can revive. But I can't react to her shooting shit. It just hits me, which is fucking nonsense. There's health over here, I need it. I got it and immediately it fucking hit me anyway. Fuck this. This is cheating bullshit, man. 
It's not hitting her? Why is she invincible? The stalker is invincible, it's glitched. Why is she invincible? What is going on? What? This doesn't even make sense. The other guy was the boss, not her, and then she became the boss? How is this possible? I can't- Oh, come on! Look at the fucking combo, man! I hate this shit! I hate this shit! Look, I can't get out! Filippos! There it is, it's Filippos. Lover of horses. She wasn't even the immune boss. All of a sudden, the game changed the immune boss from the other guy to her. For no reason. For literally no fucking reason. Oh my god, again with this? Look! Again with this shit. Why is the stalker immune to damage? So the captain is no longer the boss. Yeah, the captain is no longer the boss. She becomes the boss when she comes out. No, don't hit her, hit him. Where is she? I don't know where the fuck she is. She fucking runs away! Fuck this, man! This is so unfair. She just keeps dodging. You can't get to her. I dodge. It still hits me. This is fucking stupid as shit. Now she's fucking immune again. Come on. This is dumb. <clears throat> Alright, so we go up here, we can go left here. I don't know which way to go. It looks like you can change day to night over there. Is this one of the rare dudes? Yes. I need to hit him from behind. So I probably need to do it from up there and hit it from behind to get him. Oh my god, my throat. Excuse me. Excuse me. There's something in my throat. No, 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 no! Don't 
for the throat. Ass. What the? He took my entire health bar. He took my entire health bar. Where the hell am I? What the? Oh, okay. I should have beaten him. It's bullshit. I was kicking his ass all of a sudden. I will take one third of your life bar with one hit. I also, I really don't like how you can't dodge properly in this game. Um, like, I dodge forward and it still hits me anyway. Like, so I always have to dodge sideways. It seems like forward, backward rolls suck ass in this game. They're always expecting you to dodge like the... Uh, they're always expecting you to dodge to the side. Incoming! <laughs> Kill him and then I'll probably beat her one on one. Why did you try to parry? I wanted to block. What? I attacked once, just once, and then I dodged, and the game fucking committed me to a combo, even though I only pressed the button once. That is incredibly stupid. Can't see. How was I supposed to do anything? You couldn't see. Again, the camera's in the fucking wall. Wow, what a great fight where you put the camera in the wall. Right? Like, I can really do something about that. Why can't I hit him? He's right in front of me. Look, I can't hit him. They're doing it on purpose. They literally kept telling him, oh, teleporting him away from me on purpose, so I couldn't hit him, so I couldn't finish the fight. He literally just kept teleporting backwards, so I couldn't ever reach him. What a stupid fucking fight. Like, how, do, why would they make it like that? I just, teleport, 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 endless teleport. All right, guys, thank you so much. Until next time, which likely will be Endgame Story, God of War Ragnarok. Peace out. Hello everyone and welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for God of War Ragnarok end game. And what I mean by that is we are finally about to wrap up the game. Still a pleasure to see you anyway. No gate? There's a gate down here. Where's the gate? Yeah, I know. We already found the secret area for, for her. We could probably just teleport right there, right? You want to just teleport there quick, do it fast, and then and go to the story? All right, people are like, ah, you have a loose end, Phil. Phil, you have a loose end, Phil. How could you leave a loose end, Phil? This is it right here. How could you leave a loose end, Phil? Loose ends. Good. Dangling strands. The realm has need of us. Bound to be even constantly whining. 
Shut the fuck up! God damn! More dangerous beasties with valuable resources. Let's do it. It's like eating a, a string cheese snack. And you had one piece of string cheese you tore off and you accidentally dropped it on the floor. And instead of picking it up to finish it off, you leave it on the floor. That is absolutely disgusting. All right. Since this is fast, we'll do it. She should be in here. <clears throat> She's not in here. You fucking son of a bitch. See? We fought her in the middle, but that's not the end of it. There's another one. See? She's not in here. This is bullshit. She's in the poison bit you drop down in the jungle with the troll and then a blood trail to follow. What does that even mean? So this isn't it. Guys, this is not it. And I don't know where to go to do it and I don't really want to waste a lot of time doing it. So unless you know how to do it, we're not doing it. I'll change day to night if it doesn't work, or night to day if it doesn't work, fuck this. Hand-held fat guy. This is the, the stupidest mission in this whole basin area because it doesn't explain how to do it. You just randomly bump into the things to fight her. Like, no. I explored the whole area. I cleared it. Why should I have to retrace my steps to go through the whole fucking area again because the game doesn't make it clear what to do? That's dumb as shit. Just tell me where to go to fight her. Don't waste the gamer's time, right? Why are you wasting my time? Yeah, she's not fucking here. Look, this is bullshit. Fucking bullshit! Santa Monica, what the fuck's your problem? Alright, you guys tell me where she is and I'll go there. You tell me where she is right now. The entrance on an island. This is the entrance. Do I go to the entrance? Opposite where the dragon steals your troll kill. I don't know where the fuck that is. You gotta tell me. Not, don't reference something that happened two weeks ago on my stream. <laughs> I don't, I have no clue. I don't have the brain of a fucking fish. I remember what we're doing. I received a super chat from King e Ezo saying, did you hear about cheaters using AI to develop undetectable aimbots for PC? You think this is part of the reason why PC gaming remains inferior? I don't know anything about it. You're asking me You're asking me to talk about something I don't know about, which I'm not going to do, okay? <clears throat> By the way, just for the record, we've not wasted 10 minutes on this. I, I feel like I should call that out, that we're wasting time doing this stupid shit. So here I am at the entrance portal, to the right of the entrance portal. Here's the right of the entrance portal. <laughs> <laughs> Huntress? Hello? Hi, hu Huntress, hi. Where are you? You need to go on the boat, fight me. Oh my god, you... Did you say you have to go on the boat? You said go to the right from the portal. You did not say go on a boat. What the frick, man? Now I have to go on a boat. Okay, now I have to go on. Here's the boat. Okay, here's the boat. <laughs> we'll go on the boat. Go to the right. Okay, we're going to the right. We already did this. We're going to the right. Here we go. We just did this. Now where are we going? Over here? Okay, we'll go over here this time. Let's do this this time. Alright, so now we're here. Hello? Huntress? Hello? Huntress! Hello? Oh, the Huntress! The Huntress! Execute clown mode. Oh, yes! That's a lot. Oh, wait, I was in the middle of blowing those up! Stupid. I was blowing that shit up. Now you take this. Oh, la 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 
Finally. Deactivate the clown mode. George DeSantis says, I ate too many quarter pounders with cheese. My stomach is about to explode. You ate more than one? You ate more than one quarter pounder with cheese? That's, that's bad, dude. I mean, a quarter pounder with cheese, I'll be honest, one of my favorite things at McDonald's. And I don't like a lot of McDonald's, but I don't know if I'd be eating more than one. That's pretty bad. That's pretty rough, dude. That sounds like you better clear out your path to your toilet in about an hour. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> okay. Oh, it's an idiot talking about scat, so I'm just gonna ignore it. It's the dumbass. Okay. So you're gonna ignore the fact that you control a giant godlike wolf that could probably help you. He's just your pet now. Okay. Is my new capture device on the floor? No, I actually, it's kind of unique. The capture device is uniquely shaped. It's, it has this weird kind of like, like triangle edge. So I can fit it perfectly between my butt cheeks. So I keep it warm okay. between my butt cheeks. And it's really nice. Yeah, it's really warm. It's nice and comfy. It'll be a little hot during the summer though. A little swamp buddy. But I think right now it's working out perfectly, so. The mask, but also make sure he doesn't get any answers from it. Easy, right? It's probably in the study. <laughs> I couldn't keep a straight face. All right. I don't think we could do anything in this, right? I think we've upgraded everything here. There's nothing to do here. It's one of the Bifrost crew. The Bifrost, boss. Shh. Quiet. He's standing right there. The boy. This isn't you. This is depressed oh, him. He's depressed. Hugin is waiting outside. Please, let's just. I said that was my depression. Dead. They can't really die again. Oh my God! There's so many. Oh boy. Big man with a big hammer. And a little penis. <laughs> I have a micro penis. One last time. I will pick up my spear and I will lead us to Asgard. Excuse me, but if you got a way to Asgard. Where's that idea been this whole fucking while? <laughs> Not that a fair question, brother. You would have held us good. You would have gotten us all killed. And we needed to give Loki time to find his destiny. Here it is. It's all led to this. If we can get inside, I'm going after Odin. I will not stop you. We can do both. Spot on, brother. If the mask doesn't give us an out, we'll still have the drop on him. Works for me. Let's do it then, and quickly, before he sees us coming. He does hate surprises. Slow down, you damn spruce. I still want to hear the details on this uh, new way to Asgard you got. Spill it! It's an ancient path. We can't reach it from here. Where then? Let me collect my things and I'll show you. You ain't got no things. <laughs> and where are you going with that mask, Brock? That belongs to the kid. He earned it. All you done was make passable dirt soup. Brock, it's okay. No, it ain't. This ain't right. All the pieces ain't welding together true. Hmm. Like, what's with him calling you Loki anyway? You know that ain't his name. Hey! I'm talking to you! Oh! Shut up! Odin? Oh, oh shit! Let go of the boy and face me! I'll tell you. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! 
He still got the fucking mask though. Too bad, son. Looks like war after all. Oh! Wait, what? I'm confused. Did he stop the mask? You have to. You can't. You can't. Oh my god, he died again? Maybe if they go back to the lake. Stop it. He's dying again. A second time. Fuck. I know what you've done. And I forgive you. But you gotta stop. You gotta let go. Oh, shit. Wow. Bro. He was the smartest of all of them. Even though he sounded like the dumbest with the way he talked, he was actually the smartest of every one of them. He knew what was going on all along. He knew it was all bullshit. He knew that the whole tear thing was nonsense. Just like we were, I was saying all along too, right? Oh, where'd they go? He teleported Brock away. Maybe he's going to try to save him again. Kratos has had enough of their shit. Damn. Leave. I mean, yeah, I could see where he's coming from. So, let me get this straight. The whole game, Tyr was a lie. Tyr never existed. That was Odin all along, tricking them. And it's funny, because you, you always noticed how Tyr would disappear and reappear magically out of nowhere. And, like I said, the whole game, he never did anything. He never fought. He never actually really added anything of significance. He was a very special character. Fighting berserkers. Why am I killing fucking Valkyries? Fuck these people. They're all so dumb. It actually makes me so upset that they're so dumb they didn't know that that wasn't really here. Atreus, violence changes us. You are not weak. I'm no more fake tear to twist our minds around. Oh, what a mockery he made of Tear's desire for peace and mine. Yeah. And you all fell for it because you're all suckers. You're all stupid. Again, I gotta say, how could they all have known the guy and not known that wasn't him? They're all morons. Wow. This was where he was. This closet. Why won't they let us in? Let me see where the fuck he was staying. They won't let me they won't let you go in there. That's bullshit. <laughs> Get the hell in there. Ransack his goddamn room for clues. 
What's his favorite chewing gum? It's very critical. Shove some bubblicious in his mouth during the final fight. Maybe he'll distract him. Right? That, mm, watermelon. Wait! <laughs> you gotta look for clues in there. <laughs> Come on. No, it's blocked off. We didn't render that room. Happy 2023 to you, Kevin Keys. How are you? So we're going to Muspelheim for story, of all things. Here we go. The Burning Cliffs. You said you know where to look for Surtur. Yeah. I unlocked the secrets in his shrine when I was in Muspelheim with Thor. Thor? Don't uh -huh. worry. He didn't see me go in. That was not my worry. Now look. When we find Surtur, we'll have to convince him to combine with his wife, Sinmara. Combine? Yeah. When the two of them, uh, join, <laughs> they'll create an enormous Asgard-destroying monster. Oh, my. Interesting. They're going to do a, a Dragon Ball fusion. Gogeta. Sir, what's the name of his wife? <laughs> Darn, I don't remember. I can find their names. Oh, he fell in! He fucking fell into the lava. Amazing. Those Bifrost boys don't do so well here in Muspelheim. Bifrost bitch. <laughs> what? Right in the of my combo? Fuck you. Fuck you, Bifrost boy. Yeah. All right, we did all this whole realm is done. So really, the only things left to do would be the realm tears, of which there's three left, I think, that I missed. Um... The Muspelheim Trials, of which there's six quick trials to do. Maybe within an hour I could finish that. And then the end of the game, and then the post-game content, which would be the remaining uh, Berserkers, right? And maybe like a, a post-game lore or something. So we are definitely in the end game now. I mean, next time around when we play, we're absolutely beating the story. And, you know, some optional. I definitely want to beat the rest of the Berserkers for sure, being that that's been the ongoing challenge of the game. So that's it, guys. Thank you. First of all... Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone else, I would like to say welcome, because we are about to finish the story of God of War Ragnarok after some almost 60 hours of gameplay. Yes, the playthrough has definitely been that long, and it's been that exciting. Like until you beat the game. You must quiet your mind. I can't. I can't. I have gas. <laughs> I can quiet my mind, but not my stomach. <laughs> Tell you a story. Oh, great, Dad. Your stories are just genuinely great, let me tell you. Once there were these three Valkyries, I, I ripped their heads off, shoved them up their asses. And then there were these Hydras, and I tied their heads in a knot. And I shoved my hand up its ass, causing it to their heads to explode with feces. Oh, I'm sorry, son. Were you trying to sleep? No. Oh, look, Phil's, Phil's making that joke about poop and dick humor. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. <laughs> Hey, don't, uh, don't take the British literature class I took in high school. It was an AP British literature class, advanced placement, and we read a book. I don't remember which book it was, and the whole book, there's a mystery going on. You find out at the end of the book that the character in the book was a necrophiliac having sex with the dead body of his beloved. I'm serious. Circumstance, yeah. But not on purpose. Imagine learning about necrophilia for the first time from, like, a 50-year-old teacher in a classroom trying to explain it to the class. I'm serious. Sure. I, uh, what the fuck? Well, we got work to do. That was his sword all along. That's cool. Atreus. Freya, with me. Watch our flanks. To the war machines. All right, let's do this. Fuck this shit. Charge! Oh! oh, we're going straight for him. Let's get him. I got to take a shit. No, I'm just kidding. That's what happened during uh, Call of Duty uh, Infinite Warfare's finale. I actually don't have to take a shit. We can just keep playing. Okay, here we go. Oh, look, Phil's, Phil's making that joke about poop and dick humor. 
the hell where'd you come from? I don't know where you're about to die to. Fuck off. Oh, I got a dragon breathing on us. Son of a bitch. Oh, look at the Bifrost boy. Return of the Bifrost boy here to end game. <laughs> Whoa, no, you know. Oh, you hit me anyway, you son of a bitch. Bifrost bitch. Bifrost boys. I don't like it when the Bifrost boys come up behind me. I like to whip them. I like to whip the shit out of them with these big old chains. <laughs> Execute clown mode. <clears throat> I appreciate that. Okay. Let's... Oh, we got 100 likes as well. Let's do the celebratory bubble. Let's get it all out of the way. That way we can focus solely on the end game here. Okay. Celebratory bubble blow, everybody. Jasper, here it comes. Bubbles. <laughs> Jasper's looking at the bubbles like, what's that? Look out, there's one coming straight for you, Jasper. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Is everything good? Do you like the Bifrost blue or should we go with deep blue now? Let's go with deep blue. Let's swap it from Bifrost blue to deep blue because things are getting very serious now. All right? Serious lighting for serious combat. Here we go. I wish someone would chase the clowns out of here. Oh, gee, I wonder who's going to do that. All right, everyone, so this is it, the beginning of the end. What I like about this, Luda says, your objective, the realm's at war. It is time for Odin to face justice. Now that is a cool objective, right? That is one cool objective. Let's do it. Who is the girl? Okay, that was great. <laughs> Hi, Thor's daughter. Thor's daughter? She's my friend. Get it, Thor's daughter, Thor's, Thor's daughter. Really? Oh, really? Oh, boy, he's choking me. Ooh, now he's impaled in the same wound again, too. Oh, man, there was nothing I could do about that. There was literally nothing I could do about that. What was that bullshit? That would totally was unfair. Sir, won't be me. That's kind of lame because I feel like there's really no way around that. They just expected you to revive, which is stupid because what are you supposed to do to beat that? I don't need this to make me whole. Right, because they all grew. This madness. That's all that matters. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Good shit. Yeah! Seal clap! Because whenever I clap on stream, it's a seal clap, according to my detractors. Duh. It's good to see you about a trick. Who are you? You too, Hildas Vini. Hildas Vini? Who the hell's Hildas Vini? <laughs> Job or supporting character? I don't know who the hell you are. Oh, I heard that. No one cares what happens to Hildas Vini. Ignore that plot line. Just keep moving. Ignore him. It's don't stop fighting the Muppet fight. I have no idea what the fuck that means, but thanks for a dollar tip. Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. Both of you. Where were you? I was eavesdropping. I'm sorry. I'm very rude. <laughs> you little son of a bitch. You were listening to the whole conversation. How dare you, Kratos? This is for you too. Very inappropriate. Wow. Two demerits for Kratos after that, man. Eavesdropping on that personal conversation? How dare he? Wow. Atreus. Okay. It's time to ban people, because I've had enough of people trying to cause drama, and they're just gone now. I just don't care anymore. All right, so goodbye to you, and goodbye to you. And it's the end of the game, and I, I literally talked about it on my podcast, people trying to cause drama, so I'm just kicking them right out, and they're not coming back. All right? I'm glad you did it now, before I was in another, like, action segment, too. You know, here we are at the end of a 50-plus hour playthrough trying to enjoy the ending. Here's people in the chat. Let's cause some drama. Let's talk shit. Let's cause drama. No.
No, you're gone now. You're never coming back because you're an idiot. Okay? Anyone else? Would anyone else like to go? Can we just get rid of you now so I can enjoy the end of the game and everyone else can too? You know? You love these people, right? These fucking idiots. Like, oh, here's our, here's our chance. Let's cause more drama. Okay. Now everyone, now well. they'll shut up because th those I'm two are gone. Everyone are else too. will be quiet about it now. Thank you. Stupid idiots. Okay. Let's enjoy the end of the game, shall we? What we're here for. <clears throat> two months of gameplay. Yeah, let's see the end and enjoy it. And I have morons derail everything. So. Banned, 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 banned. Gone. Forever. Well, shit. What do I do now? Time to retire. Right? About time to lean back at a nice pipe. Smoke it up. Right? Have a nice mead. Celebrate. You've done it. Like, damn, wait a minute. Peace is boring. Let's go back to war. Oh, no. There's another board on the back? Oh, come on. There's a hidden board on the back. Oh, no. What is this? There's the boat. There's them together. Look at this. Him fighting Thor. And now what is this? It's not rendered. It's an unrendered piece. Uh-oh. I don't get it. I don't know. What is it? What was it? That was a crucial thing and it didn't show it? It really was a glitch? It was a glitch? You're serious? Wait, what? That was a glitch? People are saying that's a glitch. That's supposed to be a big reveal moment. It's ruined for me. You're fucking serious? You're kidding me. That was a glitch. It really was supposed to render. Come on, you're kidding me. <laughs> it's a huge glitch. Now I don't know what it is. What is it? What was it supposed to be? <laughs> Come on. Upload that as a YouTube short. I mean, I might as well. It doesn't spoil anything. I have no idea what the fuck that was. I literally have no idea what that was. I couldn't tell what it was. <laughs> if I hit restart, I have to watch the whole thing over. Oof. I don't want to watch the whole thing over. Ugh. It says up the next part of the game, and now it didn't render. Oh, come on. I don't want to redo the whole scene. Let's see how this ends. <sighs> So now she comes with him, Atreus is gone. When I had never imagined. When I had never imagined, what is it? We didn't see it. What is it? What now? What now? I don't know. I didn't see it. What now? There is much to do. Much to rebuild. Oh my god. We'll Are we ever gonna fix Mimir, by the way, so he can actually like walk around? Eh. Kind of fucked up, no? So Kratos and Faye become friends. Mimir stays with them. Atreus goes off on his own journey. Odin's dead. Thor's dead. It's kind of like a perfect happy ending, isn't it? I actually wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting a perfect happy ending at all. Wow, the music is amazing right now. Now hold on, go back. Let me look at this again. 
Open this right now. Open it. Go ahead. Open it. Open it. Open it, you fucker. You god of idiots. Open the fucking thing so I can see it. The fucking glitch. I'm tired of this shit. 15 fucking years of my life playing games. The end of the fucking game is ruined by a glitch. Fuck this. No. Fuck this shit. <laughs> this is bullshit. Tell me what happened, you fucker. Open it now. Damn it. He's not the god of doors? Well, fuck this door. Open it. <laughs> fuck. 15 years of my life. For this. Are we going? Are we coming? God damn it. Oh. Cool. Apparently this isn't it. I was actually told there's a second ending. That we're gonna want to see. Pretty darn good ending though. Super happy ending, which I was not expecting. It was Sindri as a villain? Oh my god, I missed that! No, I don't wasn't. I'm just making that up. <laughs> Is the game glitched! So, we will do some post-game today, but then there will definitely be uh, more content coming, a few more hours, to do all the leftovers. I don't know if we'll do any of those leftovers today. We'll have to see. Like, obviously, I want to do the Berserker fights. That's one of the biggest things that's kind of left over for me right now. So, all right, excellent. Thank you all for watching the playthrough. I really enjoyed it. Uh, definitely one of the, my, my favorite games of 2022. And, uh... In my opinion, much better than 2018. Seriously. The variety of enemies, the, the variety of combat, the plot was better. Like, everything about the game was just outstanding. Uh, but this is not the end. I don't want to say goodbye. I want to say end of mainline story, more coming. But thanks for watching up to this point, and thanks for your support. First, I guess. So now Jasper is sniffing the new capture device. I'm not kidding you. He's, he's investigating it. He hasn't seen it yet. It's between the two consoles there. He's giving it a thorough sniffing. Hopefully he doesn't break it, like the last one. <laughs> I don't think he will. This is not... I don't think this is a touchy one like the last one. I think we'll be okay. It's still touchy. It's still touchy. It really is. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Sorry, Freya. I, I murdered Freya. Shit. murdered her. Can I name 10 books? Yes. Can you name 10 instances where you weren't annoying? No. <laughs> Why would you ask me that during a stream like that? Like, can you name 10 books? No, absolutely not. I've never read 10 books in my life. Absolutely not. Not even in my academic studies that I ever read books, obviously. How do you not know that? Don't you know I'm a dunce? Hmm. Hey guys, if you want to cause drama in the chat, I could easily get rid of you too. Because people are here just to cause drama, so now they're talking about people who were banned previously who caused drama, and you're going to get banned next. So everyone just shut up about drama. This is not the drama stream. It never was, never will be. I don't play your games, and, uh, you know, it's wise to just use your brain and move Careful, on. Brother. These prisoners may not be as great. I've been, I've been bamboozled. There's no crevasse. I've been made an ass. <laughs> You've made an ass of me. There's no crevasse. Maybe the crevasse is the crack in my ass. Because there's no crevasse. <laughs> it's northwest. You have made an ass of me. How dare you tell me the wrong direction. Now I'm incredibly upset with you. Carliga, you're, you're definitely in trouble today, buddy. How could you? Here Look it is. Here, Freya. All right. So remember, this doesn't exist. This is just a pathway to a place she likes Paytas, to look I at. Look for someone who can watch over him. You should. I agree. Permanently. Who can who can watch your turtle permanently? Anger Boda. Anger Boda is a good a good animal keeper, right? So maybe that's what it should be. Maybe we should go talk to Anger Boda. It must grapple with sooner or later. If you can't tell, we don't have a lot of time know. left. I trust her. My son. You can't argue with that. 
Let's uh let's just do odds and ends today. Next time we'll do we'll do uh Brock's funeral. We'll do the final Berserker fight. We'll do the final uh Valkyrie fight. If we have time, we'll even do the Muspelheim trials. Like we'll try to like wrap up all the odds and ends when I play this again on Friday. <clears throat> and let's save up. Ladies and gentlemen, we have finished the story. Next time around, it is the true conclusion of God of War Ragnarok. We will do Brock's funeral. We will do the remaining realm tears. We will do the remaining uh, Asgard remnants. We will do the final Berserker fight. And we will do the final Muspelheim challenges. And we will do the ultimate final Valkyrie. Next time around, three hours of awesome to end the game and give it a send off. And see if we can even maybe get the platinum. All right? All this will be this Friday. For those who are watching live this Friday. For those on demand, wait a few days and you'll see more videos. All right? Exciting. I'm excited to actually see it all end and get all the trophies and everything for it. Pretty darn good game, man. I mean, holy shit. The ending was superb. I, uh, I was honestly expecting something different for the end. And it ended up being quite interesting. So, guys, thank you for watching. Whether you watched on stream or you watched on demand next time around the ultimate conclusion of god of war ragnarok i'll see you then ladies and gentlemen welcome back to god of war ragnarok yeah. you may tell a story if you wish no <laughs> anyway um again thank you there's echo today if there's echo today likely it's because i was leaning towards the microphone you know, it happens whenever there's just dialogue and no atmospheric sound. You're going to hear an echo. That's the neck phones. There's nothing can be done about that. Um, it's always been like that. But I probably leaned forward a little bit too much. Excuse me. Woo! Uh, I received a $20 tip from One Minute Man. Thank you very much, One Minute Man, for your ongoing daily support of my streams and content. I really appreciate that. That indeed is our biggest contribution so far today. Let's get the animation. <clears throat> Let's get one minute man here on the leaderboard. Keep in mind, guys, this is likely the final God of War stream. If you wanted to see a silly hat, uh, like the Viking hat for the last time, or, you know, a silly vest or whatever. I mean, keep in mind, we have a new vest in the Pokemon vest that could be worn today. Um... <clears throat> Now would be the day to contribute via tipping to hit those goals. Because after this, this is the send-off for the game, man. Okay. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Where the fuck is it? There's no beach anywhere. Look. Oh my god. What the hell? This sucks. You know, you know what? These Platinums are shit. They always are. Why do I need every fucking little piece of shit to fucking Platinum a game? This is so dumb and it's a waste of time. So this is the dock I'm supposed to go to. I'm going in circles and I can't find it. Look. Jade is asking, will I ever play the Sly Cooper series again? It's always possible. There are certain games that people just love to see me go back to from time to time. And I think the Sly Cooper series very well may be one of them. Ugh. Oh my freaking god, that was absolutely revolting. I'm very sorry, everyone. I did not mean to do that. I'm very sorry. Plum Girl, please stop complaining about every little thing on the stream. Thanks, I'd appreciate that. I, I've only been streaming for, you know, uh, 10 years. I've been doing content for 15. I've always burped. At this point, it's not going to change. If you don't like it, I can't really help you. Uh, if you're not used to the person in 15 years, I think that was more than enough time. So, Okay. <clears throat> Press, drunk, stupid. No, in reality, like, I really feel like my my real intelligent life didn't begin until, like, five years ago. Seriously, like, I feel like a lot of my life was just kind of going through the motions and, and going through a haze and kind of being dumb and young, you know. And finally, when I got older and wiser, that's when I actually started liking life a lot more, you know. I guess this is where we do it. If only you were smart when you were young. That's the problem. You're not. You're not smart till you're older. When you're older, you're wise. You know all the stuff you need to know. But you're so old, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> That's what happens. If only I was as wise as I am now, back when I was young, that would have been great. But now I'm old.
Yes, Derek. But when I, when I was younger, I did a lot of, I hate to say it, stuff that wasn't very smart and or was kind of destructive. You know, my whole life was at, in the early days of YouTube making YouTube videos. And a lot of things suffered. My personal life, my friendships. Um, and it was really stupid. Like, here, why am I sitting here playing games all day, every day, taking no time for personal relationships, personal life at all, and instead just worrying about making content every day, right? And so I'm overworking myself, I'm playing way too many games, I'm drinking constantly to really kind of get through it, and it's like, why am I doing that to myself? Today, I have a work-life balance. I have a great, you know, life here with my family, while I also work a good amount. And I feel like you need that balance in life. It doesn't really hurt, help yourself to kill yourself doing something, even if it means excessive amounts of views, excessive amounts of popularity, money, which I had back then. I don't really feel like it was it was worth what I put myself and my body through at that point. And, and you know, again, long term, look what happened to the relationships that I have. A lot of those friendships I don't have anymore and stuff. And it's my fault for basically being an idiot in the way that I conducted myself, right? You know, because definitely the best thing to do with your life is to stay up all day playing games, drink yourself, dr you know, into a drunken stupor at night, and uh, and then cook like breakfast sandwiches at 4 a.m. in the morning when you're drunk as shit to negate the amount of liquor you have in your body, so you can pass out and not vomit all over the place, right? Well, that's a great way to go through life. I mean, everyone knows that. So I mean, like I was a complete moron. <laughs> Have we? We have hit 100 likes, everyone. Thank you so very much for the engagement on this finale stream of God of War Ragnarok. I really appreciate it. Let me go ahead and do a celebratory bubble blow for you all. Thank you. Bubble time. All right, bubble time. Then people can stop asking for it. We had 100 likes. Thank you for the likes, guys. Bubble time. Thank you very much for the engagement. Any other support would be greatly appreciated. As simple as more likes would help the channel. A super chat, a super sticker, a membership tips all's great since this is the final god of war ragnarok stream it sure would be good if we could maybe have uh the viking hat for the final time after that likely i'm not going to be doing the viking hat on streams for a while it's been very pertinent for this playthrough in particular though so uh thank you in advance to anyone who supports the stream thank you there it is Yep. All right. Well, before we jump down and enable it, I'm going to use the restroom quickly. So allow me to mute my mic. I'll be back in like two minutes. I'll be right back. Well, Jasper ran into the office again. <laughs> Defeat King Hrolf. King Hrolf's gravestone. It's reformed. Yes, there's only one thing left to do. They actually already put health drops in here? Or is it because when we were here previously, there were some enemies, and I just happened to leave the health drops, maybe? E either way, it could be to our advantage. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what King Hrolf is down, down to do here. All right, Hrolfi. You can't have it. Oh shit. Uh what was I supposed to do? There was a giant area of effect and no way to avoid it. How was I supposed to avoid it? I was doing fine, and then he just instantly downs me. Like, uh, okay. Great. What am I supposed to do that? There's no dodge that will dodge that. Do you just block? Oh, 
I want to kill myself. This is bullshit. Because the, the thing is that stun is great, but you have to be like fucking right next to him, which is shitty. That you have to be like standing right next to him, especially guy like, you know he's going to teleport away. And when he teleports away, you're going to get screwed every time. tried to dodge and it hit me through my dodge as if I had never dodged so I guess you cannot dodge again I have to remember this is so different right basically um it's not like Dark Souls you have to dodge sideways it's the only way you can really do this right that's bullshit I think I have the wrong rage equipped, because remember, I had something that made it not as good. I think I want to go back to the old one. The one that you get more health, this one you barely get any health back, and I need way more health. What the? What was that? He has, another, he has all these instant death moves from full screen. I don't know what I was supposed to do there. Tell. I'll try Bolt. I'll try Crest of Desperate. Or I'll try. First, I'll do this, and we'll try the other one, too. Of course, immediately hits me with something I can't avoid, right? There's nothing I could do about it. Oh, yeah, look how much health I'm getting back now. I'm stuck. I can't rotate the camera right now. There we go. What the fuck do I do to that? I couldn't see. That's not fair. I couldn't even see anything. Try it again. Try it again. I gotta put the right amulets on, though, to start. Because I have the wrong ones equipped, for sure. Some shitty amulets. <sighs> Mr. Freeze, you're out of here. Because you're trying to basically do conspiracy theory bullshit to people. I don't even know if Carliga is anyone else, whoever was on the stream, but it's none of your fucking business. And, uh, you're banned permanently. Don't come back. You're an asshole. Okay. Um. <laughs> Oh, that was totally fair. There was absolutely nothing I could do. It was two unavoidable hits that did insane damage. What a dickhead. What a fucking dickhead, man. I rolled again, it didn't work! Yo, it did a double double combo! Did you see that? He did lightning, I rolled, the roll didn't come out, his count his lightning hit me twice, because I had him dead. His lightning hit me twice in a row. It said hit hit and took my whole health bar. That was a bunch of fucking bullshit.
Bullshit. Yeah, this sucks because it's taking you so long, and I'm probably not gonna be able to do it and then fight the Valkyrie. It's too much time, it's too time consuming to do all this grindy shit, and it pisses me off. There's so much in it. But why is there so much grindy shit? Right? What's the point of even doing these bus time trials? It's not like the first game. In the first game, it was like a big thing. You could get a big reward because there was a boss at the end of it. Right? I don't have time for overtime. My wife will make you dinner. There's none of that shit, man. No overtime. The game should just fucking end. Let me do everything and not fuck around with me. There's a trophy for the platinum. That's it. What a waste. In the first game, it was worth it to do these. You know, it really was. You get that op optional boss fight against the Valkyrie and everything. It was fun. This is just like stupid. The way they made this. Oh, I know you can fight her now, but the pro point is, if I'm trying to do all the content, right, then I have to do this. Let's see what this is. And, and, and. Ah, oh, you missed, stupid. What's the what this does? Oh, now it's gonna, oh my god, now it's gonna die and not count. Fuck. What, what, what the fuck? What? I had full health. I think what happened is the poison just decided to take my whole health bar instantly. I think we're gonna do the other content first. I think after this challenge, we're gonna go do all the other content in the game first, and this will be the last thing we do if we do it. Because this is so Enemy pointless and grindy you. and stupid, and literally has no reward, right? Like, what's the point of even doing? That's life. That's my fucking life. This is how I make money, you know? It's my job. Alright everyone, so basically here's the deal. I have an hour left. I'm gonna try to do all the optional shit uh, as fast as I humanly can here. But at the same time, I don't think I have a revive stone. So I think I have to go back, which is really dumb. Go buy the revive stone from, from Lunda. Come back here, do all the stuff, fight the Valkyrie. If we have time to do the Muspelheim stuff, the challenges, I'll do them. I don't think we do. They seem way too time consuming. Like each one of those multi-level challenges is at least 15 to 20 minutes. They made it way too grindy, and they make you redo the same challenges over and over for literally no reason, for no reward. Like, I don't care about the armor and shit I'm gonna get. I'm never gonna use it. I do I do not like how they did the Muscle Behind challenges in this one. They were much better in the first game, where at the end, there was an end boss that was worth, you know, doing it all for. In this game, it's too, too grindy and not no real reward, so. Look at this. Arena of the final big baddie of the game. Oh. Hello. Traitor. Good. I'll see you pay for what you've done. Not good. Thanks, Freya. I guess we fucked up there because I was doing real well. And I blew it by taking a bunch of big blows. And I don't have to win it now. And I gotta start over. I know start with the, the uh, you know when you start with the lightning, the lightning is the way to go there. Oh shit, I couldn't know what was happening. I was doing fine. I was doing fine, but I couldn't see what was going on. The problem is there's so many effects on the screen, I don't even know what's attacking. <laughs> That's just way too many effects. Let's settle this. I, can't I can't see, see shit. shit. Right 
What the fuck? Give up already? There were no attacks on the screen. I just died out of nowhere. That was stupid shit. And by the way, I had the wrong arrows out. That didn't make any sense at all. I lost my whole health to nothing. Nothing attacked me. There was nothing on the screen. Great. Come on, what the fuck? She has this full stun bar, man. Bullshit. That's bullshit. You got a full stun bar and she wouldn't fall out of the fucking sky. Complete nonsense. Can't see! I, what the fuck? You can't see anything! They did it again! The only reason you get take any hits is because you can't see this fucking screen. What the fuck? You gotta be kidding me. The only reason the boss ever hits you is because you can't see any attacks. You literally lose your whole health bar to attacks that are invisible on the fucking screen. What do you want me to do about that, you fucking dumb game? Look at that! What? Dude. She's completely overwhelmed with attacks. Her whole body is enveloped in attacks. Just oh, attack right through it, insta-kill. That's not challenge. That's stupidity. That's bad game design. Nothing I can do about this. I couldn't even see it. Again, it attacked right through. So literally, it's a terrible boss fight. The only reason it's tough is because the enemy can at any time interrupt this insane attack onslaught you're doing to it with its own bullshit attacks no and you can't stop you it. Try. There is good. I'll see you head for what you've done. The alpha. Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. How am I covered in bifrost? What do you mean hit me? What the fuck is going on? You can't see the attacks. Give up already? You can't see the attack she's doing, so you can never counter any of the attacks, and she ignores your attacks and just does whatever she wants. It's stomping time! Stomp! Oh yeah! I love to stomp. You know you make me wanna stomp. Get my heels out and stomp. What? What's going on now? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, I tried to grab the health and then activate rage. He just stands there, wouldn't grab the health, and then the rage also wouldn't activate. I had to say it, I think what it is, is there's so much going on on the screen at once, the game can't hold, can't keep track of it, and therefore stuff doesn't respond. Look at my health. Roll! Can't roll! No response when I press the button. None. Finish him! What the f- Wow, that's fair. Can't do anything about it. This is incredibly stupid. It's an incredibly dumb fight. The only thing dangerous about the boss is, at any time, instantly do a move that grabs you from the whole screen. Can't avoid it. Can't do anything with it. And your controls are unresponsive. No wow. 
Fuck you. No revive. No fucking revive. You would judge me. The ogre died. enemies that just spawned out of nowhere. What the fuck, dude? Come on. That's cheesy shit. Look, I can't do anything right now. I can't block. I'm dead. The game is fucking full of shit, man. That is so bad. I get hit by all things you can't see on the screen. That's great. Yeah, after this, we're doing fucking Fuck this. Look at that. What? What? Dude, fuck this game. I'm doing the funeral. This is terrible. Who the hell would want to do this? I just want to punish myself by doing terrible challenges that are really frustrating. That sounds good. They're poorly designed. There's no reward. Yeah. Fuck this game. So, here's what I will say. Story outstanding. Combat pretty darn good. Graphics great. But when it comes to the side content grind of the game, the exploring, the optional areas are great. But the Muspelheim in this in this version, in my opinion, is actually way stupider and worse than the one of the first game. And I hate to say it, you know, the, the, the Berserker fights are very similar to the Valkyrie fights in that they're not very well designed. And the only reason those fights are tough is because everything hits you instantly for death. Instant death. Or because you can't see what's going on. Which is not well designed at all. Uh, they definitely could have done better with those fights. They really didn't even really improve them um, since the first game. But outside of that, the game has so much content, it's kind of hard to argue that those things are detriments when it's just content you don't have to do. You never have to touch the Muspelheim challenge. It doesn't really do much in the game. I mean, once you get that first spark for your blades, that's really the only necessary thing you would want, right? You can still do all the other content, so still amazing. Interesting. Is that really the final line of the game? It is. Whoa. Whoa, that is foreboding. That is incredibly foreboding. Essentially, the final line of the game is we fig figured out Brock's riddle. A hole. Like, you just dug yourself into a hole you can't get out of. Right? Alright, I'm going to skip that so that way we don't get content ID. Like, a funeral for a friend. Attend the funeral. Cruel, cruel world, we got content ID. Cruel, cruel world, stole my money. YouTube system sucks. If you make videos, you're out of luck because you will get auto-matched by content ID. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is it. Thank you all. Over 60-hour playthrough of God of War Ragnarok. We did everything. The one or two things we didn't do. Those Muspelheim trials are just not meaningful. I tried today to get them in. There was no time. But we did every challenge, right? Every optional boss yet again. Just like I did God of War 2018. We got all the good stuff done. We saw all the story elements. Man, that was good. Good game. Great game. Outstanding. Loved it. Loved every minute of it. And the thing is, I'm well aware that there were many people who did not join me for the journey. At first, they said they were playing the game by themselves. Then others were like, oh, you took too long to beat the game. You know? It is what it is. I can't please everyone. If you were someone who was here along for the entire ride from start to finish... I appreciate that very much because I know a lot of people kind of said, oh, I'm going to go watch someone else play it or whatever because it takes too long. But, you know, I'm a variety streamer. I got to balance everything. And if I had just played this game nonstop for two weeks, which tons of content creators did, if you go look, a ridiculous amount of them just played this for like two weeks and then they, they said, oh, we got to rush through. 
They did not do all the side content. They certainly did not do all those optional boss fights. They just rushed through to finish the story, and that was it, and then they're on to the next game that prints money for them, right? To me, I'm going to take my time with everything that makes sense to take time with. This game had so much meaningful side content and fun stuff. I wanted to give it a chance to experience all of that, and I hope that you guys felt that I did and you enjoyed the playthrough. Sorry it took two months to get through because I couldn't just play this game, but I also didn't want to rush through it and miss stuff. So thank you all, anyone who attended a stream, who watched On Demand, who supported it in any way. Do not do not put Allah in a game like this. Oh no. Okay, not Islam. It will not be Islam. Definitely not. It will be something else. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, it will be definitely something else, but whatever it is, I feel like it will be something. There's so much to draw upon that you just don't know. I almost thought at one point that Atreus would just look through that crack with the mask just to see what was through it. You get a little you know, view of something, but no, we didn't get any hints, right? So, all right, guys. Thank you so very much. God of War Ragnarok, insanely cool game. I hope you love this 60-plus hour playthrough, and the thanks to anyone who supported it in any way along the way. I really appreciate you. Until next time, whenever that may be in a few years, signing off, thanks for watching. Oh, 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 Derek, 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 Derek. Shut the fuck up, dude. Derek's not here. <laughs> See you later, Derek. Alright, Derek, see you later, man. <clears throat> My god. See you later, Derek. Yes, hope to see you for Fall Guys tonight. Alright, Derek. See you later, man. Enjoy Thunderdome if you do get into it. Surprise, Cuckfag! Devour!